Hey, uh, people on the YouTube side, I'm not recording this, so you might notice this is going up where a princess should go up. Uh, the reason for this is Aaron's not feeling well. Uh, we're, we kind of decided to record this a bit late, so I'm, this is being very hasty with this. Instead, we're hanging out, I'm playing Ninja Gaiden, and the chat is asking us questions, and we are a answering them about princess stuff. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, princess will be back at uh, the normal time next time around. Heckin'. <laughs> Alright, cool. Woo! Continue. Woo. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that, Brett. Oh, it's all good. Um, the reason that I ended up doing Maxine the way I, I ended up playing her was just like, you know, I don't play, uh, tanky classes. All of my characters are kind of glass cannons, and <laughs> it's crazy having the amount of hit points I have at this level. I'm shook. <laughs> I'm never going back. <laughs> it's gonna always only be barbarians from, from here on. on. <laughs> only barbarians, <laughs> only fighters, only... Cause like, half casters I'm living for. Like, I think half caster is definitely like my safe space. Like, where I sit comfortably. Cause I like spells, I like the flavor you get with them. But doing a lot of damage feels real good. It's a good time. I get that. <laughs> you cowards, why won't you give us the d20 hit die? We gotta get you on the, get you on the Eldritch Knight then. Uh, just notice oh. one of the questions there. We're up for answering other questions, but let's try to keep it to, like, chat 19, or nat 19 and whatnot related questions. Because if we branch into, how did you start voice acting, it's gonna branch into, what do you think about this abridging thing, which is gonna branch into YouTube stuff. Let, let's try to keep it on topic for what we're doing. Yeah! Mm -hmm. And Max has a carrot. Big, buff, hot, ha. Huh. There you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> Girl. Big hot hot buff Who, huh? whose art does not accurately Did reflect you know, what they're Did you they know were. that girls are pretty? I had That's, thought that about that. Me. Recently, I thought they might be. Yeah. End yeah. of thought. Yeah. End of thought. Girls pretty. I was with a fool. I, I and I thought like it's all right. It leaves what Max is really wearing up to whoever imagination. I love the gladiator art. I love the gladiator art you got yes. done by Monty. Mm -hmm. It's so mm -hmm. good. Yes, yes. Um, yes. I love it's it. My, it's, it's my screensaver. Mm -hmm. It's my computer saver. Monty's incredible. They're stupid. Not stupid. They're stupid talent. <laughs> She's so talented. I love her. She's wonderful. Love you. You're wonderful, got him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. How did you end up choosing, uh, Circle of Spore Druid for Tekken Regan? I saw that question and I wanted to ask you myself. So I knew I wanted to play a Druid, and Circle of Spores was something that I just kept looking at. Like, you know when, like, you go look, you're like, okay, this is probably the next class I want to be, and you look at shit, and you just kind of focus in on one thing. That kept being me with Circle of Spores. I kept going back to it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, and it kind of fit the vibe I was going for with her, and it was just something that I knew I'd wanted to play at some point, and it just felt like the right time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I felt like once I picked that, she just kind of cracked it herself in my brain. But answer, it was honestly just like, no, I just kind of want to play. It was just, it was the good class I wanted to play the most. What a correct choice. I'm. I'm having a good- I really like it. It's- it's led to some interesting things with her. So, yeah, I'm- man. I'm about it. I'm very happy with it. I can't wait it. for you to get to endgame and never have to die. Right? <laughs> yup. <laughs> I, I, I can't I wait for you to one day forever. decide you're done and turn into a tree. I think mm -hmm. there's- I think it's like- cause like, endgame, you don't have any, like, limits to how many wild shapes you can do or something like yep. that. And like every time you wild shape, you get your 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 shield, like your like your extra HP. Mm -hmm. So like you can just lose that HP, then immediately wild shape again, and then lose it, and then wild shape again. Yeah, <laughs> and have it's like hundreds wild of and extra it, HP. So yeah, cool. and you get like arch druid and shit like that. Is like, there man? Is there reasonably no cap on that? On there is not, wild not shape or on the... when you hit twenty, yeah. you just get infinite wild shapes. Mm -hmm. And do you get infinite mm -hmm. uses of the thing that gives you temporary hit points? It takes up a wild shape. It takes you use a use of your wild shape to use a uh, symbiotic entity. Okay, I I okay. So I'm pausing because you piqued my interest in this. I'm gonna have a conscious <laughs> focus. If yeah, so, oh my in. god, it is yeah. amazing. 
I'm like, I, I can't see why not. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's one of the things. Cool. I, had, it... I had to talk my way out because, like, yeah, there was an yeah, idea yeah, that if yeah. I ever brought Stonewalker back, I wanted to change her druid thing. And I had to talk my I had to talk myself you out of doing you that because I didn't want to do sport. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll be too invincible. <laughs> okay, I can't play Dead by Daylight while I'm streaming. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to start posting. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I know. That As for Tasha's, it just works. Hold on, hold on. I, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to rules layer this, but I'm just, I'm interested in where these exploits are in the game. So I'm like trying to, I'm tracing this back. I need to know. I need to know how so tenable good. this is. Cause this, the thing is, if this is tenable, this is another one of my cases of if anyone ever tries to like look at any of the stuff I make and be like, I don't know, that's pretty broken at Endgame. I'm, I'm gonna start, stop being like Hexblade Warlock and be like, Circle of Spores Druid, they're immortal. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hexblade Warlock and Spores Druid. Yep. Uh, Hex, Hex, Hexblade Druid. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hexblade Druid. Hold 20 on. levels in each class. <laughs> Wild Shape, Wild Shape. Da, da. Man, Wild Shape has one of the longest, like, ability descriptions of any class yeah, feature. Dude. That's why I always fall back on when you talk about, like, hard to play classes. I'm always like, in my opinion, Druids are the most complicated mm -hmm. class in the game. There's so mm. much to it. <laughs> but it's really fun. Ugh. Uh, while you have that up, uh, let's, I'm going to jump to this. Um, I'm going to get you just for it! And Kyra, <laughs> oh. Once you finish your tasks here, what are Whoa. your plans afterwards? Will you keep looking for Baxter? Oh, we're not mm. looking for Baxter. He had to go off and do something on There's no, there's no mm -hmm. limit. There's no, there's no text. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, I love, there's I love that you found the this limit today. does not exist. I love that. I love that I was here whenever you, whenever you seen this. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, so Druids good. are broken. What, you like, your, your Druids wild. are my favorite class. They're the bomb dot com. your wild shape. Yeah. Hold on. I got to get like information. Druids are ridiculous. I gotta look, I gotta do like 5e sleuthing. I gotta be like, no, it says, it says and and not with in this sentence, so it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Um, Back into the hook yeah. with you. Fucking Krusk plans after, after this whole adventure. Uh, relax. Uh, chill the <laughs> hell out. Um, uh, <laughs> seek therapy. Seek therapy. Play work. music. Uh, just be a chill dude. Yeah, he that is. Correct choice. Fucking. Plus ten, uh, ten minutes or until you expend your wealth. Kyra plans. Gosh mm -hmm. dang. There's nothing stop. I can. <laughs> if everything goes well, I guess just fucking hang out with Yuri and do magic shit. They're immortal. Oh, yeah. They're immortal. <laughs> they can't be killed. A leaf probably would. Yeah. Uh, probably would want to at some point return I do. to her, home, her homeland. And confront her old there master. That's about it. That's this is like mm -hmm. this is like where DM has to start being like, all right, this is what power word spells are for. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Like I'm not. I don't want this to be mistaken as me trying to be like, no, you can't do this. As much as this is just like, whoa. Like I just needed to know that it could. <laughs> I get you. Balancing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes. It's so good. Dude. Some between levels, <laughs> fucking sixteen and twenty is when the game stops being a game and starts being this nebulous high fantasy simulator where sometimes yeah. things just happen. Dude, I'm so like, excited to get there. Every time I talk to like Chase about D and D stuff, he al he always says that like druids are like underpowered and like kind of weak. No, I'm like not. fucking idiots. What? Yeah, you're, no. You're, you're not playing they the right druid, it. man. Well, mm -hmm. given how Chase plays D and D, I think maybe I think when a lot of people say that things mm -hmm. are underpowered, they're saying it from the, like the perspective of like what they like to play. Because there's people yeah. that don't think bards are useful, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What? They're Excuse the you? most useful class. Yeah, they absolutely are. Unless you know, <laughs> maybe not in a one-on-one -on -one brawl, but they make a whole party better. It's yeah. True. yeah. And I feel like that's also another thing that could be touched upon, which is, like, the strength of one character does not, like, a good character make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some some classes are defined by their ability to help other people. Like, yep. oh, well, my character could kick your character's ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that means party little. could then destroy your party. Yeah. D&D <laughs> classes aren't really meant to fight each other. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, PvP is not what D&D is made for. <clears throat> 
not unless you, like you have a part like group that really knows how to make it entertaining because <clears throat> you start getting into like all the cool things the exceptions you can make in D, &D whenever you're like you're like can i use this this way and your dm can be like sure in this case sure if you do that in pvp it starts to feel like favoring one person over the other so you end up having to go completely raw and it kind of sucks the fun out of it ow ow ninja room uh, i see oh, i see we are teabagging at the gate very mature Ah, all right. Of course. Yes. Question I'm... for the whole party. Yes. How fun is it playing a playing a party of only one wife? As in, how do we feel about Krusk? Is how I read that. <laughs> That's a. It says a party of only wife. But of only wife. I misread. Excuse me. I'm dyslexic. Krusk. Shit. Krusk is not <laughs> a wife. Krusk is a weenie. He's weenie wife though. Oh, like, how dare is you? that what it is? He's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's for... just anyway. I... Like, In how, the early I stages. Of only white. I see. Yeah. Of only white. It's pretty excellent. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Done with Green. this. Yeah. Green uh, male. Sure is torture for cross. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that girl's pretty. Right now, girls right? be pretty though. <laughs> But it's like, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I understand but, completely. <laughs> but girl's pretty, Crust. Girls, girls are, are so pretty. <laughs> I'm very aware. <laughs> 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 I'm so aware. Girls Have you ever so considered cool. Crust pretty? He's very pretty. Crust is oh, very pretty. Whole subclass. Crusk pretty. Eh. The, this yeah, whole subclass so... is about being pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I just really want That's there to be like fan art of Crust just batting his eyelashes. They're mm -hmm. ridiculously long for no fucking reason. Yes. Yeah. So every time he goes into that like that minute long like ability that he has where he can like use command uh, as a bonus mm. action, it's just it's described as like you're you're so goddamn pretty that the people <clears throat> look at looking at you like have they don't have a choice but to follow your command. <laughs> Yeah. Glamour, yeah. glamour bards are so good. Mm. Glamour bards are great. They're so glamorous. <laughs> I forgot how unforgiving the camera angles in this game can be. Yeah, they oh. look yeah. pretty unforgiving. Yeah. Yeah. This game I'm is like I think that's this game probably rough. what makes the game so. Them perfect. older games though. It, it's rough, but it's like honestly, it's like fun rough if you're there for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right. Me, me, that. Me, me. Putting that away. Ah. Oh. God, I'm super like interested in heckin' Spirits Bard. Yeah. Spirits Bard? Yeah, it's one of the newer Bard subclasses. I forget where they added it. Um, mm. It might have been Tasha's, but it's basically you just like, I sing a song about certain spirits and they give me a, a, a certain ability with my Bardic Inspiration. Oh. Or they might, oh. or I, tar I target someone with it rather, That's and they neat. might either do something for them, or it could just be a, a firebolt. And it's like, you really don't know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Every class is getting a wild magic. <laughs> Apparently. Um, the College of Spirits is Van Richten's game. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. That makes perfect sense. Heckin. I should throw the. I'm already going to throw it near like the way of everybody on the drive through because they like. That was the last donation goal. But speaking of everyone getting wild magic stuff, the heckin. The monk that is one of the, the minor magecraft things I made is the Surgeon Soul Monk. That's basically what it is. It's a wild magic <laughs> monk. Yeah. I'm so oh, excited for it. I love that. Right now, I'm just waiting to get art back for the cover of that, which will probably be next week, and then I'm gonna put that up on Drive. Yeah, I'm excited for the new nice I like the, your the new dragon. Like the, the one that's coming yeah. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you saying, Cody? I really like the one you put in recently, Logan. I don't know how much to say. <laughs> uh, you really like the the pedal knight? Yeah. I, I've said its name out loud a okay. bunch, and we've said it like in DMS. But yeah, no, uh, uh, that being, being like, I want to release. Yeah, I, I, I literally I really, posted I really on Twitter like earlier, it. being like, I want to put it out. The only thing stopping me is I don't have the art assets I need, which may, could be done as early as tonight or this weekend. Um, I but yeah, fucking. Um, oh, so and the. the I can't, obviously, we haven't shown it, but the cover art for it is so pretty. Yeah, it's so it's pretty. Pretty. It's, This is unrelated to the quality it. of the class, but the cover art is, I think, my favorite cover art of any image that we've like ever gotten done for a class release. It's so beautiful. Hell yeah. 
I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, did you guys get my note about me changing the saving throw proficiencies for that? Mm -hmm. In case you yeah. want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I, there's two things I realized. One is that I had made it. Fuck! I, fuck, fuck, fuck! I had made it, um. <laughs> I had made it the same ones that the Sword Saint has, because they made sense for it, but I was like, I want to change that. Also, uh, the two I picked were too useful. Because the basic yeah. philosophy of saving throws is you should do one from the common one, the three common ones, and one from the uncommon ones. And by the time I realized that for the Sword Saint, I was already so deep in it, I was like, nah. But I had time to change it, so it's fucking, um, what, dexterity and charisma now. Yeah. Heck yeah. As opposed to wisdom and dexterity. The problem is, like, for magic e, for magic e, like, melee classes, dexterity and, and wisdom always feels appropriate to me. Is yeah. the problem. <laughs> it's an impulse, I gotta fight. Charisma saves Army of One, thing. thank you so much, oh, and woo! hey, Scandal Gif, how you doing? Hey. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, baby? But yeah, I've got a lot of class stuff that I'm. Saving for books, but I'm willing to release on individual documents right now, and I'm very excited to get them out there. Uh, the fucking the, the donation goal one right now, the Beast Possession Fighter. Um, I can't talk too much about it, because it's not out yet, obviously. But it's kind of like the Totem Barbarian, in that, like, at certain levels, you pick effectively, like, spirits of creatures that you can use, like, to let possess you to give you abilities. Mm. And the capstone ability for it is choosing... Like big boy creatures, like heckin', you, like you can let this little like an ancient dragon possess you, or you can let a leviathan possess you, or what have you, or the Grim Reaper. Um, that's one of that's oh one God. of the ones of those that I'm most excited to see because I really like that thing from Fate. So yeah, it 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 doesn't quite resemble exactly him because it's like an but when it levels up, it's like an advanced <laughs> version of him. Cool. But yeah, um, that one's fun looking. Its capstone is a bit bonkers, but, you know, the Circle of Spores Druid becomes immortal, so I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna live forever, it'll be fun. How much, it's four times your level, right? Yep. So, four 80. times 20, oh my gosh. 80, yeah, 80 as an action. Mm -hmm. That's... You can just do that every turn. It does yeah. take your action, though, that is. Yeah, but it takes you... my action to wild shape. So I'm like, and I, right now, I'm like... Hey, so you know what you do. Day. You uh -huh. cast, you cast Storm Sphere, and yep. then you do that every turn, use your action to keep buffing, and Storm Sphere to mm -hmm. keep doing the lightning bolt. No, <laughs> my and have God. Ward Caster so that you maintain concentration. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, and then multitask caster, so you can have two storm spheres. <laughs> oh, you can't do. <laughs> no, oh, you can't actually I wouldn't that. help, but then you're just styling on them. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb uh, Canadians in the Okanagan are getting in trouble because they're getting on boat to go into the middle of lakes to take pictures of the wildfires, and they're getting in the way of helicopters and skimmers trying to get water to put out said fires. Oh. People be dumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. heckin', to prevent us from riffing too much, people at home, you got any other Nat 19 there related questions? questions? Okay. Oh. Real quick, I want to tell everybody about a, uh, a TikTok I saw last night. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's ready. so goddamn frustrating. Ooh, gimme. There's some uh, some lady called into like a radio show. Uh, she's like, I wanted to comp I want to complain about something. I it's saw like, this. Sure, yeah. You, oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I'll explain it for for. Uh, for yeah, Jeff. yeah, yeah. I have it. Tell yeah. me. Uh, it's so bad. Uh, this lady uh, like calls in a radio show, wants to complain. She start, uh, radio host is like, uh, what do you, what do you want to complain about? It's like, well, you know how like uh, well, let's start over. Yeah. Um, so I've been in like three like traffic collisions very recently and they've all been around these like ar around areas where they have those deer crossing signs you know those cross like deer crossing signs like yeah it's like i think i i think that the government should like put those signs elsewhere because <laughs> they always put those signs in like your high traffic areas like and the the deer always like uh, and that. Oh and my the god. The deer crossing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't see this. There. It, this might not be yeah. what I saw. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I'm dying. Oh god. But I want to die. <laughs> the radio host is like, 
What? <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a joke. That oh can't my. be real. Maybe, but I don't know, but <laughs> it sounded pretty genuine. It was like, no, ma'am, that's a, we have that's to a let warning. Them know those that signs are warnings for people. It's like, no, those are there to so that the deer know where to cross. <laughs> I think oh, that they should put those somebody the should signs in yeah, like, yeah, more secluded no areas, like, less traffic areas. Just like, oh, oh fuck. No. wow. I don't know if you guys saw what just happened, but it was really anticlimactic. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, just like, just, <laughs> yeah. just <Top> setting. <laughs> okay. Um, no, no, if, it, if it helps you or maybe it'll hurt you, but think about it like this. Think of the most average person possible. The most average person you can think of. Half of all people are stupider than them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have been, here's a good question. Besides Logan's amazing homebrew, which they are, what homebrew classes, races, or subclasses have interest you guys or have you seen online and loved? Um, I like the, um, uh, I like the pugilist, uh, sub, uh like, class yeah, that's cool. that I found on the yeah. Guild. It's really fun. Mm. I like a lot of, um... It's got so much flavor. I am in love with the amount of flavor that the the whole class has. It's so fun. That's what Ox was, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, briefly. <laughs> yeah, that's what he like, was. A second. Whop, whop, whop. <laughs> a second. Yeah, that, that, I, I love a lot of uh, outlandish adventure production stuff. Um, I, uh, I can't say I get that much into, like, online stuff i haven't played all of the regular stuff yet <laughs> i'm trying mm -hmm. to get through that first i mean yeah i'm mm -hmm. really having a lot of fun yeah. with the uh, i guess the, the revised four elements <laughs> i uh yeah. i've always the damage is crazy i like all the core stuff and there's a lot of core stuff i like but i guess i've just been making my own stuff for so long and like enjoying my own like other people's stuff for so long that i'm like I don't really register a difference between homebrew and non-homebrew. It's just all stuff mm -hmm. to me. The only thing being, obviously, when I look at homebrew, I do give it a scan to be like, okay, does this person seem to know what they're doing? How to make things? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I try to avoid being too critical about that, because then you get into that weird, like, extra level of scrutiny that homebrew often gets that is often unnecessary, mm -hmm. where people can start to come off as kind of superior about it, as opposed to fucking, again, Circle Spores Druid Immortal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, that Heaven. stuff just happens sometimes. I've, I've really been enjoying playing the Time Cleric and the uh, Shadow Fae. Yeah, that's a Kobold Breath. Those are both uh, Kobold Press things. Those are super cool. Yeah! Yeah, I, I can't wait. Those. I can't wait to, fin to, to start um, Elijah like a Oh! <laughs> well, he's. I can't wait. It's also a Magus. Yeah, well, like, you know, he has, he's a Mogus, but he also has, like, the, the wizard yeah. subclass, if you have that, yep. which is really fun. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh, he's just gonna be a ton of, a wizard. ton of different crazy yeah. things. Yeah, because press as well. Oh, you're doing, wow, oh, you're gonna be cool. You're oh, it doesn't let me skip cool. cutscenes. Oh, no, it does, okay, thank God. You're gonna be like, is this from that era of games where you can't skip cutscenes, so hard bosses become so much more annoying? Oh, also, remember the questions that we're aiming for are more like princes based. Yay! Well, I can think. I mean, I think or as long as they're 19. not 19, it's yeah. fine. But like, you know, erring on the side of princes. But if we narrow it down too far, then yeah, you know. then there won't be. Yeah, sorry. I'm just don't want it to. My God, he's so strong. I just don't think it should dip out into like VO stuff. Is all. Yeah. <laughs> You are upsettingly strong, and I hate you. Uh, I like he is a big what's boy. your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite character interaction you've had in D and D? Um, my oh, that's hard. I like it's the really the one I had with uh, with David talking to. Oh, I forget her name. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I knew the one. I knew you know. what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna DBZ really, you, friends. Really oh, fuck, he blocked my DBZ. I think I really enjoyed the uh, the puzzle, like the very first puzzle thing in, um, in uh, uh, Incinerators, where uh, oh. we had to get to this path. <laughs> when I was that like, was I don't fun. know, Cody, help. 
<laughs> I sat in a corner, waiting for help. <laughs> Thank you again for that. <laughs> that was super fun. I mean, hey, you ended up getting up somehow anyway. Ah, the dragon sword. Mardark! So your father is still in the <laughs> No, I refuse yes. to believe. He has entrusted me with the sword while he continues his training. Heckin, I still think back to the first interaction in Fate when Diane and Heckin Lancer talked for the first time. Also, Lancer threatening Ian. Those are two of my favorite character interactions. Because the boy is so tense. Such good. They will ensure that the sword remains untouched. Mm. So wow. Oh so, wow. What about you, oh, Eric? The devil this game it's so, so hard. Mm. It's so hard. No, Eric, we're talking about DD stuff. <laughs> that little <laughs> black too. Put that away. Put that away, Eric. Penis. Eric. This, but this stuff is bad. It's really bad. <laughs> oh no. Can I have multiple? Well, it is a points? game from that era. So. Yeah. If you pick multiple, it's fine. Yeah. Mm, I really. One that just forever sticks out to me. The more the merrier. It, it's an Avi one, obviously, but it's like when Miriam, Avi, and uh, Lexi talked at the manor. Like that whole interaction was just really good I, that was really juicy to me Ooh, i like that shy. one a lot um let's see there's some there's a lot of good ones i loved um <clears throat> like princes wise uh the conversation that ajisai and regan had in the tree last game mm -hmm. oh. yeah that was a good one that one's so really good. good that one was really really good <laughs> As far as Princess um, is concerned, I love the many yeah. times I've died and people have said sweet things about me. <laughs> well, that hasn't happened to Princess. That was Waterdeep, but... Well, you know. I love that when I die in Princess, it's not so much saying sweet things about me as much as, well, this is an inconvenience. Oh, let's wait. <laughs> Excuse me! There's, there's less people saying sweet things okay. and right. people getting really upset and angry. <laughs> mm-hmm. Rightfully so. I'm playing a barbarian. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hayden driving a character. You think I'm not gonna cry? No, no, no. It's it's the right thing to do. Oh, there's. Oh, sorry. I, I wanted to attack the tree because I I found a potion in your vase, so oh, I thought there might have been a potion in your tree. Sorry, master. Uh. <laughs> Heckin, um, that's a hard one, man. Just because I'm on the DMing side so much, I don't know if I have an answer for this question. <laughs> Mm hmm I like for a, as for, for for Logan uh, stuff. I like uh, the many names that Bax ended up getting by the end of the campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, uh, if we're just talking moments, I know it was like totally a self-driven thing, so it's kind of cheating. But my favorite like combat moment has been when I got to like he was like hasted and had a bunch of other stuff going on and got like his four attacks. So I like got to fucking fighting a thing, use a different one of his names for like yeah. each of the attack. Yeah, yeah. Was just, it was, just, oh, it was yeah. just really fun to do. It was just I was very hype in that fight. I had a good time. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite cross like moments was just the fucking the very end of the Dragon Heist thing where I got to interview Torin. Yes, I was, was about to moment. say that. That was great. I yeah. loved that a lot. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> It was a good heckin' like scene closer. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, tell me everything about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what I think Feet up you on heard the me table. Was, tell me a lot. What I said <laughs> yeah, what yeah. tell me everything about yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was so fun. Uh, it was one of the I moments where I'm just like, I love Krusk. <laughs> I, dude, I love him so much. He's so good. Yeah, I think he's. I like. I, I like uh, everybody uh, like uh, going after the big dragon underwater, and then Krusk and Elif just having their little pool party. Yeah. I want to say I think <laughs> Krusk is my favorite character you've made, but I, it's, as soon I as I say it, I'm Krusk like, so I don't know though. 
I really like He's all your mine. characters I, for different I, I, reasons. I think I can say yeah. I love a lot. I love a lot of Spencer's characters. I love mm -hmm. Krusk. Krusk. I think I fun. have the most fun playing as Krusk, like mechanically, and just I love his attitude and everything. <clears throat> yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's just the most fun I have. I, I get that. The, He's also yeah. in a game that lets you be the most upbeat, and he is generally yeah. the most upbeat. A lot of the other games are very dark. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I put him in Vestige, it'd be very different, probably. God. Uh. Krusk and Vestige. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Prince's character in Vestige. What a world that would be. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, do you guys want to hear? Uh, so we... I won't go into why for the chat, but... Uh, I've told you all pretty much independently why Agisai may not have been coming back, even though that's been kind of rectified. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to hear one of the things I talked about with Aaron about, like, maybe what to do to make a new character coming in for a while easy? <laughs> hmm. I, we were briefly, briefly talking about the possibility of reconciling the timelines between the two games. I was like, what if Velosi <laughs> showed up for a while? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the main issue we'd bump into is if we if we decided that they all happened around the same time, which we could easily do, the main issue would be that she ended off on being like level 11, I think it was, somewhere around there. Yeah. So I was like, that's the main thing? It'd be like, do we care about her being well, overpowered? I mean, other Velocity. There are three different Velocities. Yeah. I'd want that one, though. It's, it's also, there's also the issue of there would be two Volos in the same universe at that point. So? Well, there! We really, didn't, can do we really didn't talk to the other one well enough to... I don't yeah. I don't feel like they have to be different people. One was a gnome and the other's a human. Yeah. That's true. Strange. That's fine. Clearly, <laughs> one was lying about being vulnerable. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that could be it! I guess that's not too hard to fix go. then. That's how you rationalize it. What a great thing we just don't talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Are you implying that even the real Volothamp Kadar might lie about being Volothamp <laughs> <laughs> That lying, lying gnome slash human, depending on which game you're in. That lying, lying, Logan, liar. were you having trouble climbing that ladder? <laughs> I was having a moment where, because this game teaches you to wall run everything, my brain wanted to wall run the tower in instead of use the ladder. <laughs> And then I realized there was a ladder, and then the whole thing got a bit more simple. <laughs> the short answer is yes, I was having trouble climbing that ladder. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that, I forgot about this mechanic. If you stay moving on water, you, like, water skip. Oh, nice. Because you're a ninja. <laughs> That's cool. I think... Uh, incredible. I can... One of my favorite interactions is a really small one, and it's yeah. very recent. Yeah. It was the heckin' uh, Gino and Fio thing, Hayden. The, like, heckin' oh. at, the, at the strip club. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Which is a weird way to phrase that. It's like this emotional thing <laughs> happened at a strip club. God, <laughs> like, what was Listen, it that I said Lots of emotional stuff happened at strip clubs. That's yeah. true. It was, it was just the heckin', I think it was like, I think it was Gilligan that was asking about do you know and like art being armor and stuff like that and yeah. you were trying to like cheer him up by telling him like oh this you're exactly as you should be and he's like oh, no yeah. <laughs> oh, chat has just oh no i know what my answer is now okay what i have two answers um i have a recent thing answer to this question or eric do you want to that you have more of a thought to finish before I get into this, or? Uh, really, the only the other one that's coming to mind right now is, like, just the, the heckin' uh, Kresk and Kyra talk that we had. Heckin' yeah. Spencer, I like that. That was fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Such good. So wow. Mm. Love. Yeah. The, yeah, what's your thing? So I have two. I have one that's for me, <clears throat> and I have one that's uh, kind of just a recent things that really stuck out to me that are, like, just were a lot of things coming together in a way that I found really neat. Um, so, ah! Invisible Mage! Ooh, where'd oh, you go? Uh, I also enjoyed the Invisible Mage. So, uh, the first one, <laughs> just because I assume we're talking about kind of our own characters in this regard, um, was heckin' Hadric strangling the mayor. 
Oh, oh yes! yeah! Yes, yes, Will yes! always go down in my mind as one of my favorite <laughs> moments for any character, just because it was a side of Hadric the party continued to not really ever see, but to me, because I don't really plan things at all, it was, to me, something that taught me a lot about who Hadric was and what he was willing to do if he wasn't with people. Um, which I think feeds back into a lot of talks Aaron and I had about if Hadric had lost certain things. The direction in the Domain of Dread he could have gone, which could have been much, much darker if people hadn't been around. But that was an absurdly dark moment that even afterwards I was like, where the fuck did that come from? I become feel Dread like... Lord Hadric. Because that's right, that's what we were talking about, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I know that this is so stereotypical of me to say, but God, do I love Hadric. That was such a... <laughs> that, followed by immediately talking to fucking Strahd, and Strahd being like, I know who you are. <gasps> oh! Yeah. So good. The other... I know we've said this several times over, but I'm, I'm bringing up that area in particular, where so just after I... that was the, the big Black. moment for the party. Black. Back then in Straub, where like everybody kind of clicked as well. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. I think that was that was mm -hmm. great as well. My other also, moment. Like... That several times over though. My other moment is uh, not to give a spoil. I think everybody's basically heard about it, even the people that weren't there. But was from the heckin' second last vestige was the universe coming together to have the Crystal Queen and the Feignant <laughs> appear oh. and start fighting over Mariam, not fighting fighting, but diplomatically <laughs> deciding who had the claim to him. And then both of them basically be like, no, you don't get to touch my stuff. We made a deal. It's like, well, oh, he, he me, has what my the fuck? stuff. He has my yeah. stuff. So that makes him my thing. <laughs> he so, is uh, my stuff. Heard about this. So excuse yeah. me, what the fuck? Oh, you didn't hear about this. <laughs> That's great. Oh, excuse me, what the That's fuck? That's great. Well, you will. Uh, you'll you'll, you'll, you'll hear about it more in game. But yeah, ah! no, the f also will you, though? the fact the fact that I will go back and you might you may or may not. But part of what uh, is kind of my DM brain that makes me love that so much because uh, it's set so that every night around 10, uh, 10 p.m. I decide whether or not uh, whether or not the Crystal Queen is scrying for Mariam, which nine times out of ten she is, uh, specifically on the armor. And usually he has the amulet on, so it doesn't work. But in this particular time, he took it off, and I looked at when their rest was, and he, his watch started at 9, which means it would have gone till 11, and I was like, yeah, this is exactly when it could be, which is why I had you roll one of those 1D100s, and it got a thing where I was like, yep, she's crying, cool, because you wanted to talk to the Feignant. But it was at the exact time of night that I was like, mm, okay, this was bad. This was a bad idea. <laughs> and so she showed up, and then because she showed up, heckin' the Feignant showed up, and then that was, as much as I don't, it didn't get out of control or anything, like I don't think that I, I couldn't keep up with it. It was a thing of me and my, like, me in behind my DM brain, just being like, I have no clue what's going to happen. This is like <laughs> second to second my brain figuring out what they would both do and being like, I hope that one of them doesn't just kill Mariam. That's my main hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that was, I think, my favorite most recent thing, just because that was, I guess as a DM, like as the, the, the DM at the table, that took me out of my comfort zone and I had absolutely no idea what was going to come of it and that's really interesting and hard to do for me so I like that a lot mm. I don't know how to ninpo um I should have it's okay I don't either I should have yeah, listened have to the, it you have the <laughs> what? oh you mean you don't know how to act I don't know how to ninpo uh I, I know I have the fire wheel I just don't know how to turn the boy on Are there any other questions? Really like yeah, more questions. Have we all said like our favorite moment? I'm like, I have, I just have so many, but I'm like, that, the one of the manners sticks out the most to the me, second, probably. The second you brought up Strahd, I remembered one of my favorite Gryar moments. Mm -hmm. Heckin, it was right at the end to like the, the like the last little bit of the last session. So Heckin, spoilers for Strahd if anyone hasn't seen it. But like, Heckin, the moment where. Uh, Heck and Griff and Era were like, yeah, we're basically your parents. And he's like, oh. <laughs> Math says, I mean, you're you're a black Arakakra. Black Arakakra. Yeah, like, Era was, was like, I don't know for sure, 
but yes. Like, and I yeah. was like, <laughs> that moment they, that those two specifically shared, I was like, oh. This I sword, love that. this sword right here in Ninja Gaiden is the source the of so sword. many game memes. This is like nope. <laughs> the original video game useless weapon that if you get it up to maximum is the best weapon fucking yep. item. <laughs> like this is this is kind of is one of the original like prolific cases of that happening in video games because if you get this all the way up to a, like 100 like all its levels, which is hard to do, it becomes this massive like enchanted wooden ore blade weapon that is just bonkers. Hell yeah. That sounds fun. It's super cool. Do it for this playthrough. Uh, I mean, if I get into playing the game, I might. Logan, how did it feel when Xanthric died? Um, Listen, necessary. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't yeah. like. I didn't like killing another player, obviously. But as if we remove that element from it, then it was a really neat moment. Um, it was very tense. I think it said a lot about the story and how we all felt about Xanthric. Because kind yeah, of all. It was very in character as well. Yeah. It was very much. And again, that was also uh, that was also a big for me a big tell about Hadrick didn't have to think about that for very long, or at all, really. Yeah. Is the thing. Um, it also, as much as I didn't want to be like the face of the group, that moment, literally had everybody turning to Hadrick and being like, "What do we do?" And I was like, "Ah, okay, so I can't get away from this." Yeah. yeah. We I were all in the same there. boat. We just didn't want to be the ones to do I it. I, think. I mean, to be honest, you, yeah, you say that, but literally, some people were saying like, "I turned to Hadrick." Like it was yeah. explicit. It wasn't just that waffling. Was very, that was a very political moment because I kept my mouth shut, but the Jolene in my brain was like, "It's time to fucking kill Hadrick." No, Xanthric. Okay. I died. I'm down to <laughs> Hadrick. <laughs> no. <laughs> but Hadrick too. She's been no. planning this all her life. Oh, well, man. as as knowing <laughs> <laughs> that this was there was in my mind, I always figured that there was going to be a moment where either Xanthric went or Jolene went because of how <laughs> how they were built. Because Jolene <laughs> was a draconic sorcerer who, you know, somewhere in her lineage there's a golden dragon or whatever it was, and then. Xanthric hated dragons, and so either that thing was going to come up, or it wasn't. And or and if it did, it was either her or him. And I remember having a moment with Hadric, where Jolene basically <clears throat> was like, "Hey, um, if it comes down to the two of us, you'll kill you'll kill Xanthric, right?" And yet he participates in a game that has dragons in the title. How glorious! <laughs> 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 but at that point. Uh, Jolene knew that not only her and Hadric, like, were prepared for that choice, uh, Devin also had beef with Xanthric, so it was just letting the pieces fall into place. It says a lot that most people in the group kind of had a, if I have to kill Xanthric, I will scenario in their head. Like, mm -hmm. he was very, um, he's a very adjutant. Yeah, Good. that's what and happens when they're too. <laughs> it's true. I remember those days well. Question for Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What, what inspired you to make Kreska half work? What? A... Oh, I was just thinking of uh, races that don't belong in the Bard class. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah. That don't that's belong where? Much it. In the bard the, class. Like, the oh, bar, like when like you're thinking of bards, them. you don't think of half orc. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a cool way to do it. Yeah, yeah, that can be a really fun one. I mean, I get a half orc wizard. What a gift we got. I mean, that's how we got Scanlan. Wizard, just... yeah, Scanlan yeah. was like, "What's the lamest combination of things?" No bard. Like, okay, I'm doing yeah. that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm being <laughs> called out. Oh, my God, listen. Uh, that was that, that was that was that was fun. What was? I want to play a small creature again. I, I was fun playing Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking halflings, halflings are just great. fucking cool. I don't. Halflings are just good. I don't <laughs> remember how to. I just love. My halfling monk can just punch people in the shit. What is it? <clears throat> it's really an I think it's both some thumbsticks. It's been a long time. Nope. Maybe both it's triggers. Not both triggers. <sighs> 
<coughs> Does anybody in the chat know how to do Nimpo? If any of you play this game, can anybody help me out? I don't know how to- I don't know how to do my ninja fire arts. Have you checked your ninja info card? Uh, that's fucking- Pick that the that Nimpo. Sir, <laughs> okay. so what is it, Aaron? Let's, uh, press your projectile button and the heavy attack do button I have to together. Okay, actually, hold on. Do I got to- a... Equipping one would be step one. Yeah. All right, figured it out. I knew how to do it. I just didn't have one equipped. All right, we're we good. Go. We're good. We're good. There you go. <laughs> I looked it up for you. There you go. Thank you. It was. It's Y and B together. Once you have one, you know, on. He checked your ninja info cards. <laughs> that is old internet. That's very old. <laughs> That's how old enough that it got referenced in the original Naruto abridged. <laughs> yeah. That is old. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how do you guys go about incorporating character backgrounds in a module? Uh, I say fuck whatever the module says and stuff them wherever it seems fun or appropriate. Trying to incorporate things into it. Yeah, making stuff for like totally homemade content versus making stuff that's meant to jive with a module is um, a bit of an art. If you don't want to have mm -hmm. just entirely new stuff made, like with Agisai, I invented a lot of information, like where she came from. Her class, obviously, was progenitor and whatnot, like I made that. Um, my method mm. to that was be like, make the circumstances of her, of her home being attacked, and then put it on Eren to be like, and I know we're gonna, you know, Here's deal with <laughs> some sort of princess of the apocalypse, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. okay, it's, I leave it on you to tie in why they yeah. might do that. It's up to me at that point yeah. to yeah, yeah. rationale and change the universe as to why they might have chosen to do so. And then it, then it just becomes a matter of the DM reconciling, like, what are their motivations, how might they have tied into that, and then me just reacting to it. I think the yeah. best mm -hmm. way to do that a lot of time is to make leave the DM to do yeah. a lot of it. Yeah, I told... Uh, with like players, I I, I let them run as well. Like, the more I get from any of the players, the more I'm like, yeah, sure. As yeah. I write it mm -hmm. down somewhere, I can incorporate that somewhere, and I'll just be like, oh, you're here? That's what's <laughs> like. It can be a moment of the, <laughs> like, literally flying by the seat of my pants position, or sometimes I can plan to have it intercept them at some point. Yeah. Mm. The thing yeah. is, backstory, in my opinion, only needs to exist really in as far as to create motivation, and beyond that, you can basically make things up on the go if you need to. Um, mm -hmm. Agisai has a reason to go after the big bads, and that is basically all I need from her backstory. How about you guys? You got any thoughts on that? Yeah. I didn't need Heckin any backstory reason to freaking join the Obsidian Halls. That's just, just, just freaking go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, depending on like, if it's like for uh, like a campaign, like mod, like a published module thing. Yeah. I like to try and get as much like info about the campaign as I can, like without spoiling it, of course. Uh, but so I can be, so I can have my character would have a motivation to like go with like the what the main plot is, uh, just so I can be as involved yeah. uh, for, as I as I can. You can, you can put the target so reticle smart. in the same place the campaign wants it. Exactly. Yeah. It makes it easier on the DM and everything. Just so. Uh, That's so smart. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know for Vogan, I had a, a like I had an idea of what I wanted Vogan to be, so I think I made made up more stuff. Uh, like I don't know if you had the the hobgoblin army and the, the the strike lands as a concept before I brought Vogan to you, but part of me yeah, wants to be I'm... all nebulous and be like, ooh, maybe, but yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Right. Just, there, there's a, I, I'm sure you've noticed in Vestage by now, there's a lot of things going on. Some of them don't really have anything to do with the story, but I have a lot of stuff in mm -hmm. mind that's just on the background. It was just a matter of mm -hmm. putting more of a light on the Hellrock yeah. army with Vogan, but Vogan's stuff made it mm -hmm. very easy to incorporate that. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah. That's, uh, Heckin, that's, that's, that's how I smart. like to do stuff. You're smarty. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> Was Strahd. I was like, Aaron, you said I can be whatever I want. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I want to be a princess. And he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, and I've then, learned enough of my lesson to, uh, yeah. It's yeah. like, no, like, like making characters that don't really have plot involvement. Mm -hmm. It's just, 
Like, uh, I'm really struggling to ha find ways to keep them here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I get that. Logan and Aaron, what would you do if you gave a player an overpowered magic item? Um, it's never happened to me to the point where I've regretted it, because I'm pretty good at managing magic items. Like, the Vestige group has some stuff that's pretty wonky, but it's not, like, wonky in a way that I didn't expect it to be. So I just plan around we have it. have a boat. Yeah, well, uh, the boat is not what I'm referring to. I know. <laughs> Two there. Um, the first one is just don't give your player something you're not equipped to handle. Exactly, that's really what my point was. But you can give them really powerful stuff, as long as you know what you're getting, like giving them. Well, like, as much as it didn't really get used a shitload, when I gave Griff the Ring of Immutability, it was like, it's a legendary item. If you guys decided to take him out much earlier, because uh, you guys probably could have handled him a couple times, especially when he caught him on his own, like, in California, and you got Grier full bore on him, you could lure him into a hammer. Uh, and if you guys had done that and you had it way earlier, I was. Cool, good job. <laughs> you have it now. Like at that point, uh, there are consequences of that, and that's the party has a ring of visibility, and that makes the rogue probably very, very scary. Um, but I was, I was ready for that. I thought yeah. it would be really neat if it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, outside of that, if you give something that you've designed or uh, anything. Yeah, if it's, okay. if, it's, um, if it's homebrew, then if you don't like how it turned out talk to your players talk. and be like, hey, this is negatively impacting the game in a way I don't think is conducive to everyone having a lot of fun. I'd like to make these changes. Being yep. honest with, uh, with yourself and with your players about it may have done something unintended yeah. is uh -huh. uh, is useful. And it's a good exercise in not only like crafting items and working as a dungeon master, but also the social skills. Being able to talk about a problem when it's happening, something that even I have a problem with all the time. I'll, I'll usually stay quiet about something like that, which is a bad habit. Um, so, going out of your way to make sure that everyone is on the same page, and you don't want to take it away, but you want to fix it, or find a way to make it so everyone's having fun. Because yeah, that's what our job is as a dungeon master. Yeah. I will note a caveat to that, because um, I've seen people do this. Don't take that talk as make the item punishing to have. Don't attach limits that make it, like, upsetting to use. Still find what's mm -hmm. fun about it, because a lot of people have a thing of being like, oh, I gave them this crazy sword that's too powerful. My way of limiting that is I'm going to make it so like it hurts them when they use it. Don't do that. Just scale it back. Like, mm -hmm. there's there's a middle ground to these things. Um, yeah. You never want to make, you never want to punish players for what you did. And if you have, if you, have, you know, if you have good players that are receptive to the table having fun, one should think they won't be upset by you wanting to make these changes. Like. Usually it's problem players that are like, no, you gave me this crazy thing. I deserve to have it because you gave it to me. Yeah. Like, Spencer, you've been a very good sport about the small changes that have had to be made to the Sword Saint because you're mm. the ultimate testing ground for most of the Sword Saint stuff. So, mm -hmm. Logan's how I learned about it. Heck yeah. How dare you take away grit. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, I was really like nice to you. I gave you <laughs> options that still left you with more than a sword saint head. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> and when in doubt, tell the players to suck your when dick. In, and, when and if you have a problem player, tell them to suck your dick. <laughs> really building your my social skills here. <laughs> Wee! I was so shocked when you gave up grit because I remember hearing that and I was like, no. Yeah, no, everybody. I, <laughs> chat, I don't know if we ever mentioned this. Uh, I gave him the choice to like, he had to give up certain techniques because we scaled things back and we left it up to him what he'd take, but it had to be the ones he got from his feats. And um, we all, I secretly went around to everybody and I was taking bets on what he'd get rid of. And... None of us! We all thought it would be detoxifying. None of us! We all said it uh, that no matter what ones it was, we were like, and it won't be grit. Like, he, yeah. he wouldn't give up grit in a million years. And then that's fucking what he did! And we were like, what? Who is this man? <laughs> what have you done with Spencer? What, what have you done? Spencer useful. the spanker I know. You gave up the damage one. Who are you? Detoxify is too useful. It is, it's true. It's true. <laughs> We just didn't expect you, you to made say a it. Choice. <laughs> <I know>. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Woo! We all thought you were really fucking dumb. We all so. thought you oh, liked yeah. the, you <laughs> like being a meat grinder. Oh. Yeah! It's like, 
If, I mean, it's damage. It's delicious, delightful damage. I know, I want it. It was painful <laughs> to give up, I bet. Uh, I wish you could lock on to enemies in this game. That'd be nice. Yeah. I don't know if you God, can, and if I'm just terrifying. being dumb, but... I'm pretty sure you can. I don't know. I don't know. What's, what's all of our princess characters' favorite dessert? I like that. I already saw the answer. I saw that and I was thinking about it. Shit, anything uh, lavish. Vegans is chocolate cake because she can't get it where she lives. So whenever Aww. whenever it's brought back for her, ah! chocolate cake. Whatever the most expensive yeah. dessert on the menu is. <laughs> you know? Unfortunately, <laughs> same. I love it. <laughs> Glorious <laughs> chocolate dipped in chocolate dipped in gold. <laughs> I died. Uh, I came you know, in to live lavishly. The, the joyous thing about that being Regan's favorite dessert is that there black is. forest cake exists. This is it asking me if I want to mm -hmm. go down in difficulty. No. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to abandon the I way of the ninja? I love black forest cake uh, so much. Last four the, cake. Really the know. The absolute best, like talking again about like really good moments, but also tying it into this. Yeah. The be absolute best thing from the last campaign to this one is getting a leaf, like a leaf, putting out there that she really likes, like uh, expensive things and nice things. And now I get to just have her, like, anytime she stops somewhere, just like, I would like to spend all of this laundered money on sweets, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, I would like to have the best things, all, always. <laughs> and I'm very Jen happy. <laughs> I think genuinely uh, Maxine really likes parfaits. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Perfect. Aww. Fucking yeah, magic, boys. Fucking spear! Ah! Oh! Oh! Did you see what he did to me? Oh my God! He is dragging you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How to fuck with the DD? Describe the scene. Take extra time to describe that scene. Yeah. Have people be genuinely kind. To have people entirely ignore or outright avoid. <laughs> oh, yeah. one of the ones. Have them roll perception. Just cause. Yeah, that makes people nervous. Yep. Well, it, like if you're if you're playing at a table, roll a d20. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sell it? Uh, put the rest of them down. Yeah, it's just like yeah. <laughs> after someone says oh anything. Oh my god. <laughs> That's more like do like a. <laughs> Say, don't worry about it. <laughs> I hate that. That's my. I hate that's, that's, yet. that's mine. That's my one. I know. <laughs> we know that's yours. Every time, yeah. bitch. Uh, or just like an. A, okay. All right. One of those, or, one of those. I love. That makes you nervous a lot. I, I love <laughs> yeah. This. It's less of a fake thing, but okay. more of just hearing the DM go. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like when Aaron, like when Xanther kicked open that door full of revenants and threw something in there, Aaron going, "Oh no!" Looks <laughs> like, that "Oh no, so what is happening?" Good. Come at me, horseman! You're dead! Ah, oh, what like, happened? Well... All right, you're dead. Is what happened? All right, gotcha. No. I got it. Thanks for, thanks for hanging on there. Quick question: no. What's your AC? Does, oh. a hit? Does a that hit? <laughs> this was only during uh, the the card pullings when I pulled the death avatar card. Uh, what's half of your HP? Oh, 58 mm -hmm. hit points! Uh. Well, I, a thing that came up last princess session actually was, uh, what's your max HP? Because mm -hmm. this, oh. this might just instantly kill you. That's mm -hmm. me. I mean, that's a reasonable question to ask, but mean to hear. Just agony. Uh, this Heckin... gonna like, stop seeing that air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've told you this, uh, Spence, but I showed my dad that episode where the death avatar showed up, yeah. and he yep. lost it at you going, are you ready to fight? 
Oh, the Grim God. Reaper on your own, and me going, no, <laughs> you have to. Oh my God! <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. <laughs> that was that was mean. Saying it was asks, fair. Saying asks, what is uh, your favorite moment from the tournament section of Vestige? Being in the tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. My fight with my fight with Geen. It's anime as fuck. <laughs> so good. That, dude, I was dying. It was so good. It was so cool. That fight super, and the I fight where I was fighting the sword guy was really funny. Rick, okay. I'm on that board. Rickard is like my favorite. I love him. Yes. For no reason. I just love him. He's a lot all the time. And I, I, I love that I'm just glad I got the lightning bolt the fuck out of him. Yeah, he, 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 definitely, only... he definitely could have done a lot more. Um, yeah. If you hadn't, you know, just immediately figured out his thing, because like he, he could yeah. have made bigger swarms of swords, and it, they could have just been massive, <laughs> like fucking mean, like moving clouds of daggers. But things were super in your favor, <laughs> which <laughs> yeah. happens. It happens. It's whatever. Yeah. It was a bad, bad matchup for him. <laughs> I love that love Rickard and, uh, is also canonly the only ah. character that's owed Vogue and money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I love him. Definitely fighting the lady was my favorite. Oh, um, counterattack, nice. I was super love fighting, fighting Miriam. That was fun. Oh, fighting and yeah. beating the lady just in having, the Vogue and fight was great. Having to no. resort to using my super expensive potion. <laughs> Uh, because he was kicking my ass. Yeah. <laughs> the, in the Merc Wire Bible. The Valor Build Bane. Nope. <laughs> Dude, you I was gonna so be destroyed. <laughs> Would have been so very, very bad. <sighs> that was the whole uh, time. That first, that first fight, like fighting Kitty, was like so fucking. Oh, great. I died again. Did I save oh, after I no. beat the boss? Also. <laughs> I hope also, you did. I think I did. Being the, being the first one up and having to fight Fume. <laughs> Agony. Uh, what a that fight. was fun. Man, <laughs> if he hadn't taken pity on you, I that did. whole tournament would have been very different. <laughs> Man, if only Fenris had not done. You the were thing super that nice to him when you he was captive. Back in. Funny how that worked out. You were kind. <laughs> when you didn't do a when you didn't do a crime. <laughs> when we didn't become enemies to the city. Yep. When you commit a crime, wow. you do not do the time. I I regret nothing. I would give fume stew ten times over. <clears throat> well I <laughs> never mind. What a good time. That was a cool, that was also, that was another great roleplay moment, having that disagreement with Quinn, and fucking somewhere in the back of my mind, pulling from the dregs of all the times I've missaid everything, to be like, we're the highest standard, is this really the highest standard? That was so good, yeah. I, I, absolutely, like, wow. I absolutely loved that. I, I like slapping damn. Quinn. That was good, that was so good! <laughs> that was so good! Listen, Hogan. I've, 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 I've talked about this so many times. I need to... Mm, so... Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I've already told Spencer how much I love that. How much I love he first off said, are you okay? And then slapped me. Yeah. <laughs> that makes so much difference. And it's so great. <laughs> Tekken, I also love the uh, Avi meeting half the party via bathing Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. I will never get over that. How I met Vogan. The and image. So funny. Din's art of just Vogan's bare ass getting scrubbed <laughs> is forever I love, burned. I love like Flux's in the back arm of my into a power scrubber. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> those that was red so little butt good. cheeks burn. <laughs> I I also mm. agree with you, John. That was oh sorry, uh fucking easily board gamer. That was as a DM one of my favorite things to do. Fucking you guys miss saying IO came as like fucking Hio came and asking questions about it and him being able to then lie because technically he's not lying in the zone of truth. <laughs> was yeah. what a, such a wonderful practical moment. <laughs> like also, oh, me so and Carrie cool. needing to leave that room just because we were just keeping on talking. It was like, oh no, 
We need to. We're saying things we these people should not hear. We're a problem. You're a rogue. <laughs> oh no. My favorite moment was having to rape you on the floor after I'm getting hit. <laughs> 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 around Myra completely destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, another no, good moment was like all the giving Merkwire the apple stuff. Yeah, man. Yes! Because Sen <laughs> did not fucking want to do that at all. I convinced you. <laughs> oh, fuck, it went backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it one do that at all. If didn't you didn't want to do, do that at all, all. You didn't have to, she but was, I convinced you. <laughs> she was the one who murdered him last time. She was not. She's still not thrilled that he's still around. <laughs> Be happy. He's fine. <laughs> when Avi threatened Vogan. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was so good. For the him breaking Lexi's heart. That was like, Dude, um, such accidental... Like... Sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. If you hurt like... her, I'll kill you. She's like, she asked me to hurt her. <laughs> that is one of my favorite interactions I've ever had with you. Just like in B and B. It's so good. And it was just yeah. so on brand for both of these fucking boys. And I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> Heckin'. Uh... The parallels between that and then in Strahd with Monty. Just those two things happening in nat 19 and one of them being a mistake of errors of thinking that someone likes another it, oh. it's so uh, it. misunderstandings i said Just it in like chat. The... logan how does one become a, a vampire i assume that that's meant to be vampire not vampire unless there's a joke there i'm not getting uh same way same way you become a vampire in anything vampire bites you Actually, there is one mm, other way, but it's it's only happened to one person, and it's very particular. So, is it the drinking blood way? No. Is it the, is I mean, it the, you could oh, rationalize any number of rituals uh, that a vampire could turn you by, uh -oh. but generally, a vampire turning you is the ultimate answer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hooray! You get yeah, to yeah, be a yeah. thrall. I just Hooray. the difference between Hadric and Avi, where Hadric's like, "I'm gonna threaten you into being a good enough person for this person," versus <laughs> "I will fucking kill you." <laughs> like, no, no, no. I I can and will murder you. I don't hey, believe you're, that you're I got Master Ninja. Die? I don't believe you came. <laughs> <laughs> you're being far too kind. Yay! We got his iconic outfit. Woo! Oh yeah. Ryu oh Hayabusa. God. My, that's a lot of straps. He, that's gotta be a bitch. This ninja's a man. <laughs> man. It's my network of ninjas. As much as she doesn't like Vogan guy. anymore, I, I do love when Vogan and Avi dance. Was yeah. That, that, that was a cute Gregor thing. That was that was good. The only reason she doesn't like him is because of the burn jokes. <laughs> my, yeah, man. My, my boys at home, while we discuss this, uh, if you guys have any more uh, princess centric questions, feel free to leave them. If we've missed any, mm -hmm. feel free yeah. to repeat them. There's one that um, I, I posted in the chat here that I, I want to ask Fred. For Maxine, huh. once Ajisai gets her revenge, uh, will you keep being her bodyguard, even though, you know... Not much to bodyguard I mean, for. It doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> not, much, no, not much bodyguard, not much body but you know what I mean. You ever, you yeah, ever think about doesn't... being a gravekeeper? <laughs> yeah, right. You no. know, an undertaker. Let me change the question ever so slightly. Would she stick around hanging with Regan? The holy vigor. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna say this, but the way you asked the question is very fair. Uh, if Ajusai like gets her stuff done and it like fades off into the nothingness, as oh, like Max would be like, all right, and now my job is to protect Regan. I mean, okay. She could. Be brought back slash could be released from what she's doing right now. It just would take magic that I can't imagine us not having been done with her mission by the time we get there. Yeah. If if is still around, I mean, as long as it's beneficial to Max and like, I don't know. If Ajisai isn't like Max, fuck off. And Max is like fair, 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 fair. Okay. I just uh, not ask anybody to bring him back. Second. Would she even uh, think to ask is a better question. No. Exactly. It's not that Ajisai has any complicated opinions. It's they are not in a position of asking anyone to bring them back, because the last time they got brought back to life, now, 
uh, went badly, and my god, what's wrong with this cutscene? I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but there's all sorts of like weird tearing oh. and jittering oh, yeah. and. Is this like the Ooh. new like remastered version yeah. or whatever they released? I know. Th I think I remember hearing that there were some problems with but, it that people were upset by, but. But that that know. was bad though. That was like there was like artifacts <laughs> and shit in the cuts. And you think that if it was like that bad, they could have just like ripped the old FMV and just put it in there to play. It's not like it's rendering Probably. anything. It wasn't upscaled. Weird. But yeah, no, as you saw, last time she got brought back, it, it, now, uh, she got deprived of most of what makes her human. So, the concept of revival is something she's not banking on, so she wouldn't ask anyone to help her. Plus, she's sheltered and would be unaware of magic that could do that anyways. I know things that could. Um, she doesn't. <laughs> But yeah, if, if Ajisai was still around and, like, still was fine with Max doing that, Max would probably keep doing it until told otherwise. Yeah. 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 Why did kinda... Why did Ayane get onto the ship, plunge a note to help me into the table of another room, and then leave? Because she is She's the best. Ass. But but like, why would <laughs> Why not just leave the note on the ground? Or on the table. Why did she have That's... to come in here? I What I want to imagine is she burst into the room, seamlessly leapt into the air, kicked off the ceiling, threw the kunai at the table, hit the far wall, leapt back without hitting the ground out of the room, and closed it as she left. Because that is about the level of needless that leaving that there was. <laughs> that is her nindo. Her ninja way. Oh my god, you weave. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, this is other bad guy's room. This is, this, this room is a, there's gonna be meanies showing up room, I bet. Yep, here we go. Spencer, Man. due to how many people have almost died near Crust, how long do you think it is until Crust is due for a full mental breakdown? Oh. It's, it's due. The, <laughs> it's bound to happen. It's very, oh. very close. Crust is in there, it's like a one more fucking civilian fall with a goddamn <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, like I swear to God, if some, if another goddamn civilian falls out of my hands down a cliff, <laughs> <laughs> well, when it, it was for like when during that brief period where I thought Cairo might die, I was thinking of like characters that I could play, and I was like, what if I was playing a cleric that came by right as those two people hit the ground and then revived them? <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be. <laughs> so yeah, no, you're scarred. You're scarred. Do whatever. All right, you're good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that'd be funny. Uh, so yeah, Rusk has had it. Has it had it bad? <laughs> oh, Rusk. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, gun. He's got a gun. Some very good Bosch rolls. Uh. <clears throat> As a ninja, I have no way to protect myself against that. <laughs> It's true. Oh. I will be back in like 20 minutes. I I feel gross. Oh no! Uh, okay. Go to a shower. Yeah. All right. Uh, you go take a shower. Yeah, you ran and then right. came in. Yeah. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why do they give Goodbye. you? Goodbye. Why do they give you the key to the door right outside the door instead of just like making it so that like when you try to open it, it could just be like. There's no time for that, as long as the enemies are there, but instead they drop the key for the door, right in front of the door. Weird. It's weird design. It's strange design. Very mm. weird. Do we have any other questions? Yeah. Uh, not so far. Uh, how's Baxter doing? Is the only other one? He's on a quest. Also, how good of a dancer is Baxter? Could he beat Lexi? Uh, I don't know. That's the only other you question. Frame it like a competition. He'd probably try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this door's locked from the inside. Well, it's too bad I have no means to enter that room. I have no okay. openings through which I might be able to. <laughs> that I, a ninja, would be able to get. Through. Oh. Oh, okay, it's not even the same room. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better about that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald. Hey, Emerald. Hello. Were these guys just waiting in the storage room for the possibility that I might show up and enter? 
That's that's you know that's the storage closet uh, ninja combatants. I Don't you know? Because they were aiming okay. their guns at the door, waiting. Like, did they expect I'd come into this room? Was this a part of their strat? <laughs> this this is this video game is a real is really a video game, you know? Like a lot of the stuff in it only makes sense in the context this of being a video all game. All up to OSHA standards. They stack their bunk beds. Oh my god. Not a lot of room to sleep on those. That's extra. That's like some fucking... What are you? Peter Pan. What are Peter your Pan. What are Shit. your character's thoughts on the cults so far? What are your guys' thoughts on these elemental cults? Um, I'm interested in them. I'm trying to avoid information on them. Because I go down mm. rabbit holes. Uh, personally, well, Agisai's opinion is that... Oh, that's what they are? Cool. And then not much else has changed. The rest of it is they all gotta go. Um, yeah. Like, Agisai doesn't have much yeah. of an opinion. Just a death boner <laughs> for them. Cult yeah. bad. Yeah, I mean, Kyra doesn't know anything about any of the other ones, except for the water ones that tried to kill Maxine, so, you know, they're not cool right now. But Earth one, definitely bad. Gotta go. Yeah. I will yeah, Regan? She doesn't, she's not even aware of the existence of the other two yet, technically. Mm -hmm. Leaf wants to show every cult that she can do the same thing they do. <laughs> what are you saying? Just like yeah. she did with the one guy earlier, just like, I have rock too, and he's like, we could use her. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the same thing to all the other ones. Just like water. It's like, oh yeah, we could use her. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I had a max health up item that I had not been using. Cool. What were you going to say, Hayden? Yeah, yeah Hayden. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just going to say, uh, Regan's kind of in the ma mind of, she's like, all right, so fuck the Earth cult. Because they took my dad. And mm. fuck you guys. So she, she wants them completely gone. She wants to fully deal with them. Yeah. In order to kind of like feel like she's like, cool, I saved my dad. <laughs> and also, yeah. Ajisai keeps dying here, so she's like, they need to go. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. fucking with people like, I care no, about. The water no ones, she, really she, she doesn't have like a uh, super big opinion on yet, outside of, oh, they were trying to hurt Maxine. Maxine's my friend now. But yeah, that, that's about where she stands. She's like, they no, seem like cult bad. Average bandits, it's basically yeah, so far as our really only left. experience with them. Yeah, they haven't really left much of an impact on her. I also need to find the person that they still have. Mm-hmm. We gotta I go need, below. I, I have a... Two, that was my, my job. thought about that. <laughs> Save that for game, though. <laughs> ghost, la yeah. ghost lady smooched me, so I have to do it. <laughs> Where are... That's right, you, you have... If any of us get petrified, you do have a means to reverse that. Yeah. That's that's a hundred percent exactly what was gonna what I was gonna do. Like if anybody went down, um, I just wish that I, 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 I I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> probably best. Probably best. Where there there are I, I I I it needs to it needs to come out in game. I think. <laughs> like yeah, things, there's certain things we like. Say for game. Oh yeah. <clears throat> airship, airship. Okay, those are the three. So show you an airship. Cap oh, uh, captain's quarters, cabin. airship, <clears throat> gate room, living quarters. Uh, that's, that's an interesting question. What? If you could swap any two characters between any of the Nat 19 campaigns, which two would have, which two would be the most hilarious? Which two would be the most disastrous? I got it. Oh my. Immediately. Uh, yeah. Place a leaf with Gisei. Gisei doesn't use his eyes. <laughs> I'll destroy I'm that a, fucking a, okay, well, That's this, not this super hilarious. Answer. This is a side answer. But I think I've told most of you about this. I was looking to make a paladin if, as a replacement for Ajisai if Ajisai had to go. Um, and I was super looking at the Tasha stuff and I saw blind fighting and I was like, I'm not doing this just to cheese Marlowe, but man, <laughs> would I take blind fighting so I could just close my eyes and walk up to him and be like, Aha, Medusa! What say ye now? Dude, I already and then all of his totally snakes bite you in the face. That, that's fine, I'm I a fucking paladin. I told you, I totally, um, that's one of the ideas I have, like, I totally want to do that for, uh, for Quinn, is to just give him the, the blind fighting, fighting style. Um, if we use the, uh, rules in Tasha's, <laughs> technically when you take into, like, when you hit a level where you can take an ability score increase, you could switch your fighting style if you want to. Well, I think for Paladin, I'll also get another one in my second level. Oh, yeah, you might. E. In which case, go for That's you. gonna be... Anyways, uh, for the rest of you, if you had to switch characters, I'd... Hayden, I feel like you might have limited answers because you've only got the three, but what would 
If you were to switch two of them, which ones would you switch? I I had had just put Archer and all the other campaigns and just overpower win, win, win it for us. <laughs> I feel like I mean, Jolene anywhere is my answer. I feel like any of the... Switched with the Bat King. Are we just talking character switch with characters? Or are we talking like our characters? Yeah, I, think, I think we're talking. I mean, players. it doesn't say player characters, but yeah, that thing, I think it's the assumption. Okay, okay. So yeah, okay. Yeah, let's let's hear, guys. Who who would you switch between campaigns? To what effect? I would probably. I would be interested to swap because they asked what would be the most hilarious as part of it. Sw I would swap Regan and Aviana. Huh. <laughs> that would be Aww. interesting. I'm like, I just mostly I'm like, what would that dynamic end up looking like? Um, or I'm like, if I were to put Theo any I would love nope, changing my answer, I would swap Avi and Fianula. <laughs> Fio and Lexi just sit there being adorable. Fio and Lexi, and I need Fio and Miriam to meet. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue buddies, I, man. Exactly. I need the butt cape buddies. I need our blue butt cape buddies to hang out. <laughs> uh, for an oh, actual man. like serious answer, though, other than Gisei, I leave. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I like any of the I Digimon do. characters swapped with anyone in any campaign. Uh, <laughs> I'd like, okay, I'd Cherry, like to, Harley, I'd like and to DMS. swap Kyverium for uh, Hacken uh, Reapermon. <laughs> <laughs> See how that changes the start of the campaign? <laughs> With my own characters, swap Emmanuel and Gael. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Uh, but I can't smooch Emmanuel. Uh, if we're just talking character characters, just because it'd be funny, switching um, Keen with the echo of ambition and have it be keen coming after the party because <laughs> I'm not... Oh my god! First of all, What's the for, difference? For, yeah, first of all, switching keen over to the way of uh, fucking Yamato would be fun. Uh, second of all, he would just work in that setting with uh -huh. like... It would... It, it's, it's fine. It'd be great. It'd be super I would, fitting. I could get art of him just with Virgil's outfit. Like, no changes. I, just yeah. to be in Virgil's outfit. Like I'd swap the two things that are Virgil. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Keen is many rivals, <laughs> just mostly Virgil. <laughs> he is the storm that is approaching. He is he is the the bad weather that is arriving. <laughs> he is the tornado that is um Roaring. He's the winter of my discomfort. I'm the high pressure front that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Legally like distinct. If any of the characters being put in DMS just would make them like 10 times more extra. The thing is, okay, oh, here's yeah. a fun thing to imagine. If a character got put into DMS, logically they'd have an outfit swap where they'd be wearing like more modernized versions, like DM at C style <gasps> versions of their outfits. So, like, for example. Oh! Imagine, like, I don't know, the lady in, like, DMS style. I mean, she kind of already yeah, has... she, Actually, now they say it, yeah, she's not... She could actually, <laughs> she could actually <laughs> function there, couldn't she? Okay, Almira, <laughs> then. Almira might be a better example. Mm. Yes. Just, like, suit woman is probably what yes. she'd be. Im immediately what oh. I thought as well. Which is always better. Yes. Lady in suit? Mmm. Girl in suit, yes. Confirm, if... yes. Except, uh, yes. The basis of Hellfaker. My go to default for any Kyra formal wear is suit. Yeah. Switch, switch oh, with, uh, God. Kyra in a suit. Oh, my God. It's technically happened, but I want to get out of it at some point. Sorry. Girls in pantsuits fuck me up. I died. And Kyra is. Uh, I. That just oh, I just thought you get freaking destroyed by two boys. <laughs> you just destroyed me with that, Eric. I'm like, I was able to oh. fucking destroy you then. Man, I remember That's when awesome. I had just seen, I forget what movie it is, but it's Blake Lively's in it, and Blake Lively's wearing pantsuits all the time. And it was right when the party was happening in Solar Shadow, and I was like, Diane in a pantsuit. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Probably I'm like, I'm awesome. thinking about girls in suits. I'm like, it's primarily, oh, that's a big reason why I was like, Beetlejuice for Avi, put her in a suit, please. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm still so into it. <laughs> like, it's so oh, good. Golden yeah. scarabs. Right, Hot as hell. Yeah, have, I'll give you this. Hell yeah. I just opened the art because I had it on my computer. I'm like, hell yeah, it's just so good. Oh, I can make the <clears throat> dragon sword stronger. But bam done. I just thought it'd be fun to drag uh, Quintus to Malaclips and Malaclips to Quintus. Just put my most outwardly friendly character with my most in my ro most reclusive role, my most reclusive character, and my most outwardly expressive role, and just see how the campaigns change. <laughs> no. I'm with you, Sam. I can scandal in DMS work. <laughs> Actually, the more as I think about it, I actually think a scandal. I don't think they their overall vibe would actually work super well. I don't think it would like survive the movement to DMS aesthetically. Because there are there are a lot like they lose a lot of what they've already got going on because they they kind of have a high magic vibe to them. Yeah. Again. Just watching you open doors. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do agree, saying, uh, thinking about them in the Trisha's outfit, that, that's plenty fun. Do 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 uh, I have so many characters, dude. Well, the thing is, it's not just your characters. Yeah. Then there's even more. <laughs> Didn't expect me to be on fire this time, did you? I think I think adding Krusk anywhere would be hilarious because he's hilarious. Someone did say earlier they're like Krusk speaking to Avi. Be like, what's your backstory? I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> She Imagine switching him. out the bards. Switch, switch Miriam for Crest. Why wouldn't DMC work with straight-up wizards and witches? Because <laughs> the aesthetic doesn't lend itself to them. Like, heckin... Emmanuel's, like, the closest you can get. I just think Scandal's vibe would be lost in the change. Mm -hmm. I would want a world where... Fenris and Regan are friends. I feel like they'd get along well. <clears throat> yeah. That'd be good. I'd like that world. That would be a cute world. Cute sheltered beans. <laughs> so if you wanted a question, I, I've been a bit curious on the the yokai boards. Like, are they specifically like specific kinds of yokai, or, or are like most kinds of yokai in actual folklore just up for grabs in terms of what's in your world? Uh, in terms of what's there, yeah, you could pretty much take most uh, like traditional yokai, and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn, go on fire right away here while I talk about this. Um, yeah, most kind of traditional yokai is left open for like what they can be. Yokai are formed from like feelings of misfortune and great tragedy, like taking human form. Sometimes under the context of like a person morphing into a demon, effectively. Um, some of them resemble demons in the sense of like some of them are like humanoid or like big monsters. Some of them are objects that are cursed. Some of them are. Heck, and, you know, old ladies that ask you strange questions in the mountain, and if you answer wrong, they steal your youth. Like, that's <laughs> traditional. It's set up so that, like, traditional stories from Japan about yokai and whatnot uh, can be adapted and used as creatures for them. Mm. So, yeah, they just haven't popped up a lot, because in lore, most yokai are in Kahulis. Because Kahulis is, like, on a planar level... It dips kind of in and out of both the Feywild and the Shadowfell, which is um, where yokai kind of come from. So they're more present there, and they're, due to the way the societies are, they thrive there a lot better. But there are some. Hecken, obviously, like Avi's mom, which is who is a yokai lord. They're at a, a stage where they're above normal yokai. Um, there. So there could be a Hanyo out there who's 
inherent is like a sword or a, a the, fucking well the thing axe. is to have a hanyo <laughs> it has to be able to breed yeah is the main issue <laughs> like you know it has to be able to to have a kid with either an elf or a, a, a human, which means they have to have been able to generate or possess a body of some nature. Um, so it's possible, but it's like at a certain point you have to be like, but is it practically going what to are happen? What the semantics? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And is it important to go through the semantics? Yeah. Okay. It's all like with demons. Like, you can, you can say a lot of... You, most demons can reproduce, technically, um, but most of it is making more of their own kind or... It's actually in lore in D&D that most demons just asexually can eventually produce small versions of themselves that become new demons yeah. if they're not doing it via or souls. Or the, like, the taint that they... Yeah. But... Like, ...espouse into the world slowly makes them more. But most demons, when you really get into, like, the core lore of it, they're technically agender, and they don't reproduce, like, uh, via mating. They just generate new deep. So some exceptions exist, like succubi, like an incubi, they can reproduce, and some demons can, oh, like, change... Oh, they're not even demons. No, they're fiends. I, the, yeah. I'm speaking broadly here. Um, <clears throat> they, uh, they can change their... Most demons can change their physiology to do it if they want to, but, like, people talk about, like, half demons and whatnot. It's rarer than you think, because a demon's not usually going to accidentally have a kid. Uh, fiends kind of really have to set things up so they will have a kid. That's why you don't. Yeah. It depends on what kind of fiends you're dealing with yeah. as well. Like devils, often, uh, as much as some of them definitely lack reproductive qualities, a lot of the higher tier devils are absolutely gender. Yeah. It's like after enough time in hell, you basically regain the form you had in the material plane. A lot of them ch and, choose uh, to be, is the thing. Yeah, totally. They absolutely elect to, and they can sometimes swap. Yeah. Um... But in those cases, like, they could easily do it. Demons, not as much, like, talking strict 5e demons, because those things are just beings of chaos. They yeah. don't choose to do much of anything. Animalistic. Uh, unless you're getting into the demon princes, but at that point, you're you're so far beyond anything that could want to reproduce that it, it, you, you're at a point where it's not yeah. a useful question. Yeah. Baphomet ain't looking to get laid. It's one of those things where when people talk about homebrew stuff, it's always like, yeah, that's cool. Like, you're... The offspring of, like, this kind of demon and this kind of demon, but, like, my brain always goes to how these things come about. There's a lot of cases where it's like, I can't see why they would want to, and it's not going to happen by accident. So, cool. No, I love, uh, Live your truth. Succubi and Incubi, because they're the only fiend that exists in basically every single fiendish plane. Yep. They're, they are super neutral. They are not really from any of them. They get along famously with devils, but that's just because devils are the least likely to arbitrarily attack them. Devils are diplomatic. Um, yeah. The other ones are a little more stab you. But they're yeah. in Gehenna, they're in the Abyss, they're in fucking hell. Oh, Gehenna. Heck in miss fucking sideways plane. <laughs> fucking Gehenna. I was reading stuff up on it recently. One of the things about it is everything on it is at a 45 degree angle. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of weird things about the planes that shift and change. It also depends on what uh, cosmology you're on. But, uh, yeah, Kahana, that's where you get your Yugoloths and shit. Yep. And a lot of hags. Yep. It's where they primarily come from and hang out. Heck in, um... But yeah, uh, interesting question. I, I wanna, when I release eventually, like, more of a, uh, like a larger book about stuff. I want to include a lot more stuff about yokai because I know we haven't had a lot of chance to ex like explore it in Vestige much, except for through obvious stuff. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's it's very close to like not not to say that I like took it from it or anything, but it's very close to like Inuyasha's understanding of yokai. Like if you think about how things work in that franchise, it's very similar in terms of where they come from, how they operate, what they want. And in that, in that, with that understanding, and like when I talk about yokai lords, I'm not, they're not on like the level of demon princes or demon lords. It's more just a distinction where like, Sashomaru would be like a yokai lord. Like ones that prefer to hang around in human forms and are a bit less like, 
They're not driven by, ooh, make that person sad forever. Like they have larger agendas. That's kind of the vibe. I love these second swords. God, this game's unforgiving. I wish its block did more. Like, it's really slow. Like, you can't just go into a block whenever you're doing stuff. Like, you have to wait for the full attack animation to end and then block. It's not useful. What other anime rival went into the inspiration for King? Ah, uh, it's a hard question to answer. At this point, it's so far off that he's, he's more just like tropes that come with like rivals of that kind. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of Seto Kaiba ness in him as well. Mm hmm. No, oh, fuck! Oh, that is a gruesome way to get killed. All right. Oh. Oof. Yeah, do we, um, heck in, let's just try to wrap things, not that, like I said earlier, not that we're trying to just do princes, but like, yo, what other, maybe yeah. princes adjacent questions do you guys have? I don't want it to just drift mm. into being like, yo, Logan, talk about Vestige. Hmm. Because that's, I like hearing what it you guys have to say about really things, that's way more fun for me personally. Really murder. Mr. Water, uh, Mr. Water Mr. Mr. Dragon Heist. <gasps> yeah, that's a good question. Did did Doctor Apocalypse kill? The people need to Second. know. Oh, oh, or are they like a Doctor Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde sort of situation? Does Doctor Does Doctor Apocalypse does, is murderer? Does, does Doctor Apocalypse kill Mr. Dragonheart? Uh, my <laughs> Doctor Apocalypse. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> that's his first my. name. Canon. His first name is Docker. <laughs> I love Doctor, that. His name Doctor is Doctor Apocalypse. Doctor Apocalypse. <laughs> I love that. Will the underdog play a part in the princess game? Well, if I go it, there. It feels like underdog is very separate from what we're doing. I, yeah, uh, I, I feel like you know, it could, but I I feel like given the context of what we're doing, if going to mysterious D and D places is gonna play into anything. I feel like it's more likely going to be going to the elemental planes. Yeah, you that know? feels more appropriate. And even then, I don't feel like we're going to go there big time, but I feel like we're maybe going to have brief visits in them. I'm still holding on to my theory that each of these guys has a stronghold, that they got like a portal that goes to, like a stronghold in each of the planes. But I don't That'd know. be super cool. That's my theory. I would love that. I haven't really gotten into any interdimensional travel in a lot of the games I've been in so far. Except for Ravenloft, I guess. You usually end up in, like, tier 3 stuff before you really get into that stuff. Yeah, well, that's when, like, plane shift and stuff comes yeah. along. Apart from the occasional brief foyer into, like, one of the layers of hell some people might take. Like, we need to beat a bad guy. He opened a portal to invade. Let's go back through it and get him, you know? But then immediately, like, alright, we beat him. Let's go back before that seals. And not leave this building. Because you don't want to be stuck in, you know. Fucking diss. Oh, shit! Have your characters mechanically evolved the way you wanted? Or have you found a playstyle that just happened to work? I feel like... Kyra hasn't really activated yet. I feel like when I get more summon spells is when it'll really start to happen. That's like what you're looking forward to, yeah? Yeah, because I'm a conjuration wizard, it's their thing. I'm one hit away from death! No, 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 no! No! I want to say yes, like, Fianula is pretty much playing <sighs> exactly. I'm like, yeah, no, this is what I wanted for her. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I, feel like I'm exactly. finally, I feel like I'm finally starting to get a leaf. Like, because the first campaign was definitely, like, rough. Because, you know, I was walking up a hill and I got exhausted. Yeah. Um, 
but like now I feel like mechanically I'm I'm, I'm definitely there, especially because like I'm able to kind of be the the mid range threat that I wanted to be in the first game. That mm -hmm. Elder Small does a lot does you a lot of favors. Max was uh, exactly does. what I wanted from the start because he was a very simple idea. Um, mm. Ajisai has yet to gain a level, so they have... The thing about, like, the Princes ones that were introduced immediately in Princes, mm -hmm. they haven't leveled. They haven't mechanically evolved yeah. into anything. They are what they were when they started. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, I'll be happier with them once we level and her pack spell slots ah, get up to second level. Um, because she's still operating, I think, on first level spell dude. slots. And, uh... Yeah, I'm excited to see, uh, where I can play Vegan as she grows, and, like, as we level. Like, I'm really excited for some later game stuff that I get as a druid, especially, like, Circle of Spores, through the one to get some cool shit. Oh, so yeah. I'm really excited, because I'm, like, I, I'm really happy with, like, where she is, even just right now, having introduced her here, and I'm, like, happy that we get to play, like, a little- we got to jump in a little bit higher level, yeah. mm -hmm. because... It, it makes it really interesting. You can plan with greater specificity when you start later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Also, like a pass yeah. finger. How long? Um, but yeah, uh, with Ajisai, um, I want to get to the point of being able to take feats, and I want Tough and Sentinel at some point, and then she'll function yeah. kind of like what I want her to. Hell yeah. Tough largely being a way, a digression, to deal with the fact that most healing doesn't work on her. Yeah, yeah. That's right. mm -hmm. I still love the idea. I think I've it to you love at one point, but fucking multitask caster with a conjuration wizard, after a certain point, they just summon two things, and it's like, ah, you can't break my concentration, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> this room is brutal. This room mm -hmm. is so mean! It's so mean. We spent like two sessions on this in the fucking Let's Play. Yep. Oof. And the, the the big thing that, the, the big thing that's here, if I recall correctly, is there's a golden scarab in this room, which I want because if you get all fifty in the game, you get a lightsaber. Because well, no, you know you it's it's like an old school game where basically the big fun you did all the secret things weapon was basically always a lightsaber. And yeah, uh, that sounds. And I don't know why that died out because it was the best thing in video gaming. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a ninja with a lightsaber? Fucking no! Nope. Here, have a holy avenger. Except it's a short sword. I mean, <laughs> I can. Vogan's technically like kind of a ninja with a lightsaber. A little bit. Sort of. Sword saints are more like samurai. Yeah. Samurai with a lightsaber. There you go. Can you not samurai. cut my throat? Would that be an acceptable request? Would that be an acceptable? I know it's not princess, like but I'm like. I'm in love with how Fenris has turned out. I'm in love with it. Because I wanted to be something that could bat in cast spells. And she just... Mm, ah, love it. That Lip, cool. laugh, love. Mm -hmm. How about you, Spencer? The question is, like, are you happy with how mechanically your character turned out? Um, is going. How do you feel about Vogan, Krusk, and all your boys? Mm -hmm. Uh, Krusk, I'm I'm happy with. I don't really have any plans for him mechanically. Like, it, he's just kind of he's just gonna go full bard and do bard things. Like yeah. that's that's him. Kind of simple. Vogan, uh, he's a he's a fucking DPS monster. Um, mm -hmm. I'm more curious about Arden. Yeah. Uh, How you feel sometimes Arden's it feels going. like Vogan just kind of does the same thing over and over again. So, um. Like, in in combat at least, uh, like he, he's very repetitive. So, there's there's that. I um, feel that, Spence. That is how fighter adjacent classes work, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. The champion fighter has one trick: swing at enemy, hope for nineteen. I would never want to ever play a a fucking champion fighter. Hey, ever. I have fun with him. Uh, it's all about too simple for me. I guess. So. And it's me saying that. You know I love making, like, fucking stuff that has a lot of moving parts, but I, I have fun with them. Mm -hmm. I like playing all oh. things, though, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine. And that is totally... Yeah, yeah, I'm not criticizing your perspective on that. 
Mm. Logan does have some features that you, you seldom use, though. Like, a lot of his focus techniques that let him, like, do better on skills and stuff. Uh, yeah. I haven't I've really gotten to use those, really. Just because, like... I can't even remember the ones you're uh, referring to. I know there's, like, one that, like, helps out with skills, at least. Um, not, not a lot of chance to use those, though. Uh, Departed. Cody really wants to know. Yeah. I really <laughs> want to know. Man, I really want to know. I was really hoping for the fucking polearm sentinel uh, <laughs> combo. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so mean. You stay away so and also great. don't go away. <gasps> yeah, man. <laughs> you stay right where you are, sir. <laughs> you stay right where you are right so I can hit you more. Reach. Dude, right within I stabbing bad. reach. I love sentinel so much. Sentinel is an amazing <laughs> feat. One of the most useful, one of the most commonly taken for good reason. Yeah. Yep. That's why I, I said as Agisai, tough and sentinel. Same reason, because she used mm -hmm. polearm weapons. Hmm. I just have never seen, um, I've just never seen that class. Like, the Blood Hunter? Like, I, don't, yeah. I don't really watch, I don't really watch any of the world stuff or anything like that, so I've never seen, like, Blood Hunter. Honestly, like, it doesn't come up as much as you that. would think in Critical Role. Yeah, the yeah. only thing I know is, is what I've seen with Arden, so, like, the, the class is very interesting to me. I need to take I love what I need to do. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the next Dude, goal. <laughs> that is the best feat to take as a blood hunter. Is yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. Uh, more hit oh, points, because right. it's also that's your I... MP. Oh. <laughs> at my fucking, yeah. like, at uh, my table game uh, with my friend Rachel, like, <laughs> I was able to take a feat of, like, tough. Tough, 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 tough. <laughs> My really tiefling mama needs more how, I hate this one. How things are in Devil May Cry, though, like in Devil's, in Devil's Might Surrender, because, like, taking health really doesn't have the same effect in this game, because we yeah. get so much health. I disagree. You know? I, like, taking health always has an effect. Yeah, I think that... Well, yeah, it has an effect, but, mm -hmm. like, it, it doesn't... I don't know. It's not it's, as it's effective so... as, it, as it would normally be in, I mean, like, a regular game. it's just as game. effective, but it doesn't feel as effective. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Mm -hmm. we have it, such it feels high different health right now. It hits different. But even yeah. then, it's like for Arden, Spence. like for a blood hunter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Talking that and just the potions are gonna be or the mutagens or whatever they're called. Yeah. The... <laughs> There's a dumb thing I was talking to Logan about. I think it's really funny. Yeah. Um, a problem that I ran into with Emmanuel briefly that I thought was kind of funny uh, is uh, if you use oh, yeah. a ranged attack on Warcaster, uh, you have disadvantage because it happens when they exit the space, not when they're in the next space. So they're still five feet adjacent when you cast. Um, that's unfortunate. So it's really technically optimal for anyone with Warcaster to carry a polearm or something with reach so it extends <laughs> the range of their opportunity. <laughs> carry a yeah. whip. Carry a whip with you. It is so dumb. <laughs> and I think it's one of the like silliest technical things in D&D and I understand why it's there and it's yeah. important. But it's, it's really fun. I was like, oh, I gotta get married with spear. It's a very, oh. it's a very light uh, reach weapon. Just carry it. Just carry it. I can. The next time we get to take feats and vestige, I'm taking Warcaster. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I might. I'm looking at the mobile. As one of my next feats for. Oh, real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I'm like, it says nay nay. Don't you don't opportunity. No no. Is that what Fuck it said? You. Uh, that those are the exact words. Nay nay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I probably yeah. shouldn't have been taking as many opportunity attacks as I did with Omar then. <laughs> For what? Well, oh no no. For uh, no, it's when you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from that creature for the rest of the turn, whether you hit or not. Yeah. Something. I was like, I probably shouldn't have taken as many opportunity attacks as Omar then because he has that. Oh, you have. Oh, you do have mobile as Omar, don't you? Yeah. Well. Some, some things so you guys got to remind well, me of, man. Really slow that day. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even remember that part. Yeah. As a DM, I can only keep so much in the old brain hole. Yeah, that's man. why I, mean, that's kind I of have a giant list for remember for Aviana, and even then, I'm like, oh, balls. I keep for, I keep forgetting that I use fear of slaughter when I kill shit, not just when I crit. Because in my my little pea brain, I'm like, no, 
tricks. But I'm like, no, there, there's other factors to this. So I like wrote in all caps next to it on my list. On kills. <laughs> <laughs> I had to write myself a fucking list and I'm doing one for Regan as well. And shit like that. I'm like, you're not. No, I'll get you. Tekken, that's really useful. Yeah. Or like, oh um, giving, your, giving yourself kind of things to think about. Like with Fen. I'm trying to use her Time Cleric spells a little more. I've really only used Quicken recently. <laughs> just no one went to use them. And a lot of them are like, they re-roll their initiative. Okay. Don't me. kill me! It is! It can be super useful. I'm just boo the fool about it. No, I thought I, I was done! No! Ah, yeah, I did so good that like, time! With spells and stuff, it's like uh, something we ran into a lot <laughs> in our games recently. Your <laughs> was like, um, like vocal components. Oh yeah, that's something we ran into a lot, and that's always like something really big to remember. With what? Like, mm. Sorry, I was um, oh, verbal components. Yeah. Verbal components, yeah. <laughs> like that's something we ran into a lot uh, in the Underdark. So yeah, like, things like that's like playing certain things a certain way. It's like ah oh, fuck yeah, you're right. They would yeah. hear me. Subtle yeah. spell is extremely useful. Yeah. Like the the general answer, like there's there's a couple answers to that. If you're like, well, can I say them softly? It's like that sounds like a stealth check. But the thing is, because if we want to address this just entirely mechanically, you are describing meta magic. Yeah. What was that idea, Aaron, that you had a long time ago? Oh, it's a bar. Yeah. You you take levels in sorcerers for meta magic. And then you take subtle spell, and then you cast vicious mockery with subtle spell, removing the verbal component. So you just give them mean looks, and they die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, if that wouldn't have been dying. Does does gold. vicious mockery describe you insulting them? Like the the text says you insult them, right? Oh, yeah. Then technically you have to do that. You're insulting them with your luck. That's true. Even if you remove the verbal components, you kill. still gotta do the effects of the spell. Yeah, come off. It just wouldn't be the casting of the spell, so they couldn't see you say and then counterspell you. Oh no, you can flip somebody <laughs> oh, off. Oh, better yet, hack in, you, look, you, you give a mean look and then you whisper something to your friend. Yeah, I guess technically giving someone a mean enough look, you could rationalize it as it's an insult. If looks <laughs> could kill. Not that, and this like, is me being pedantic. In game, I would absolutely not care. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's such a, a waste, anyways, just to yeah. get yeah, dramatic and be hungry. like, I'm gonna use this on my cantrip, which is good for Mario, but like, as a base cantrip, cards have that as like a, well, I've got nothing else to do, I better use this on yeah. It is not a, a particularly powerful spell for the start. And with them D4s of damage. This goes so well right up until like three of them show up at once. <laughs> then one asshole starts shooting me while the other ones are hitting me. How dare they use tactics? Those sons of bitches. I hate that they want to win. <laughs> Meta <laughs> Magic. Meta Magic and Death is something that's real, but recently caught my attention. Fucking, yeah, I really took it as a man. Like, if you were a, if you were a fucking tempest cleric and took that, you just make everything thunder, <laughs> like, and just max it. Right. Yeah. Or at least, uh, what is it? You get, uh, you get one point. You get uh, three. You get, you get two points. points. I think. So it's, yeah, two times the rest. You have a. Uh, you have a fucking damage shift if you wanted to use. Oh, only on certain spells, so actually I ran into that because I was looking at seeing if I could make uh, Emmanuel's uh, inflict wounds like inflict thunder! Right, <laughs> it, has, it has to be of like healing! Like, damage oh, glorious. Yeah, it has to be a, of the damage that you can change it to. It has to be. I think it's the traditional like TMF or Lightning, fire, cold, all that, isn't it? I don't believe for a second that we're done. I don't what is meta magic? Meta magic's the sorcerer thing that sorcerers get. Yeah. Is the room over? 
That's a good nope. time. Not yet. No, I... no, 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 why do you hate charisma classes? No, I don't know what I'm doing with that. What? Heckin, yeah. I want to play another Wild Magic Sorcerer, but like Charisma in a campaign. don't like charisma classes, and I'm asking why. Oh, I see. Charisma, co charisma classes are great. Yeah. What the hell mm -hmm. are you talking about? I think that there's... Uh, an overabundance of the core classes use Christmas as well, guys. Yeah. But, outside yeah. of that. Uh, what? So, Warlock, Bard, Sorcerer, right? Uh, those mm -hmm. are your main ones. And then Paladins as well. Paladins? Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. they do, right. And then Clerics and Druids are Wisdom. And then mm -hmm. Wisdom and then Only reason Wizards Max are Intelligence. Good charisma. All the ones that use int Rangers use wisdom as well. Eldritch I guess. I don't, I don't see that. And That's one of those character. things I feel like doesn't matter, even if there is a lot of them. You're only playing one character once. What does it matter? Yeah. No, it's, uh, it, it's definitely, uh, like, it's just looking at, like, the standard spell casting classes. Because historically, mm -hmm. everyone's always associated with intelligence. So it's a place for people to be like, mm, why is it all charisma based? Yeah, and then all. I'm over here at the bar, I'm like, dude, dude, magic sleep. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy potions this time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh, give me that. Oh, was that more? Give me that. I feel like with Oh, that's a mixed bag of Oh, go on. Yeah. No, it's all good. Uh, they're just different types of charisma. So you can have a high charisma character and not have them be socially charismatic. You know what I mean? Yeah. There can be all, there can be all kinds of different uh, things, you know, which is why, like, you know, Gael and Miriam have the same charisma. Back in, like, the other, like, like old time in D&D, a lot of people were just like, oh, charisma is I feel oh, like if you wanted to, anymore. paladins could rationalize using wisdom. Honestly. Yeah. Um, Agreed. The, uh, I think the thing that you're running into there is there's a weird expectation at many tables for someone playing a highly intelligent or highly charismatic character to portray those things in real life at the table, which is use uh, is useless in D&D. That's a weird thing. Like, no one does that with strength. You're like, all right, you want to lift up the, the heckin' gate? All right, well, here's a 250-pound here's a barbell. I'll lift this and then... Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like everyone, to, like, some extent, is, like, some interpretation of I would try. If my DM <laughs> prepared a dumbbell, I mean, I'd be... Concerned. I would try. <laughs> It if I was if I was up. playing Quintus and I was over like within like the same room as Logan and he's like, oh, you want to try to push someone over? All right, do twenty reps. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I would jump to that so. Quick. I would try so hard. I'd what be if, like, man, what? me taking kickboxing has helped. <laughs> what is this? All oh, my characters are so. What is this? <laughs> because like the one thing feet. I would say, because like the one thing I would say is like. It's either do the 20 reps or I have to have a chance of rolling really low. I'll do the 20 reps. <laughs> I am heckin. Atho, if you responded to the other question, immunity to disease is technically not any of the things listed. But heckin, ah, uh, fucking, I hate this. I'm gonna beat this room. Uh, uh, Graciak? Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Chris K. Uh, uh if. I'd like you to expand on the question slightly. For example, Skills if it's a spell, can people cast it in like indefinitely? Need more parameters to, to answer that one. I choose polymorph. I want to be a dragon. Bia. Well, that's. I mean, that's what the spell does. But it's the matter. Can you do that an unlimited number of times? No. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, give me fucking crater restoration. Yep. Oh, that would change the trajectory of my life. I'd fucking get in the medical field and be like, Doctor, ha <laughs> <laughs> no cancer. <laughs> Doctor, no cancer. <laughs> Excuse me, it's Doctor Bia, no cancer. Yeah, there you go. First name Bia. First name Biano. 
Beanu Reeves. <laughs> oh. Nah, my I, mom's I, I, having my dad grow out his beard to look like Keanu Reeves. I think that's Why? really funny. It's so weird. I don't, yeah, I don't know. But your dad does not <laughs> otherwise look like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Feed <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, soldiers, I'm back. Let's do. Let's I've dance this dance. I'll be real. All right, this is guilty confession time. One of the first reasons I really started growing out my beard when I was younger because I wanted to look like a boy on The same parameters are <laughs> restored after a short, long rest. Well, that's not. That's not how spells you, work. So, like, how many times can you cast it per? And also, what is? Hmm. According give us, give us something specific. Can, can you cast the spell once per day? Can you, can you cast it an average of how many times per day? Like, what is? Because the, the answer may change. Like, if it's a low, if you can cast lower level spells more easily, I'd probably pick one of those and be like, cool, fly, fly any time I want. Hey guys, going to the store. Because if I can well, cast it however many like... times I want, I'd probably say teleport. Yeah. Or power word heal. Or resurrection. Twice and a day. The amount I've lost. Let's say twice. Would, Any spell it'd be twice a, a hard day. one for me to take in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently it's like twice a day. If you, could, if you could bring people back, like, that sounds like a really useful ability that could make you happy. But if that ever got out, the amount of people that would hunt you down to oh, yeah. beg you or force you to bring people back. Yeah, no, you're right. Selfishly. I mean, by the same thread, if your doctor can cure cancer, there's people who would try to have you killed. Yeah. yeah if you can do anything miraculous, you're basically going to bump into the same problem. I'm with Dawn. That's not to take into account, like... For sure. That's not to take into account, like, uh, the, um, uh, the cost of certain spells as well. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. You know, in the parameters, I guess let's assume the material components are covered. Oh, that's. Uh... Can you know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's not let's not miss out and take wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good good god good god good good golly gosh good god uh, good golly good good good, uh, good golly good good. Quick plane ship plane and see what the fuck happens. The fuck happens. <laughs> I agree with that. Although, as I am positive that there are not the same, there's not the same planer setup, and the only ones, if we're to assume that the planes that we are aware of, as per the religions on this world exist, I want to go to none of them. So. Yeah. Uh, roll up in Nirvana. And be like, yo, what's up? I feel like if there's any celestial powers out there that determine who gets in. They would not want me there. And right. as How I am only capable of plane shifting and not defending myself against godlike beings, <laughs> I feel like it would be a mistake to try to enter. <laughs> My one power is getting in. I have no way to survive. Also, it's like, oh, what if there's no air in Nirvana? Think about I'm that. Probably, I'm probably go with something like I'm probably go with something like magnificent, uh, magnificent, uh, magnificent mansion. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you can run a business out of that, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Life as well. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I know, I know. Like casting it twice a day doesn't seem like you know like any any reason to, but like you know if I ever find a better spot, I guess. Hear me <laughs> out. <laughs> Hear me out. Heroes feast, and I get picked up and sponsored by like any sports team. That every time they're about to go in for a yeah. match, I heroes feast for them, so that they're just oh. fucking jacked and great for the game. And I'm like, and Logan. you just pay me whatever you're paying one of your people. Hogan, I'll get my different match, and you get heroes feast. We'll have a great time. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> we got this. So one, we the rule one the downside. world. <laughs> The one downside to Magnificent Mansion, though, to have it in real life, is all your shit gets yeeted out of it when it disappears. Well, it's very true. Things. You don't need, like, you, you don't, don't need, need to bring furniture anything. or anything because you can create a mansion. Yeah. Yeah, you oh, pretty, much anything you want in there. pretty much anything mundane that you could want. Just to have it made in the mansion. But if it's, like, specific stuff, like, you know, use it as a business, get a house, and then have just, like, enough of a house to have the things that you want. Like, I don't know video games. Do you think the Magnificent yeah. Mansion could make, like, an Xbox? Could it just make, like, a PC, like, connected to the internet? <laughs> it's not magic. I mean, huh? it makes whatever you want. Would it be able to connect to the internet in, like, another plane? Run the cord out the door. 
<laughs> run a or rather plug it run, in somewhere. Run, run a cable from the outside in through the door. Oh, so the, the big thing is that you're assuming at this point that you're not running like you don't have a regular house as well. You yeah. could have a home. Yeah, that's, that's the, fairly simple, and then run a like effectively a restaurant. Yeah. Because you have ghosts that are your unpaid employees. Man, I I hate this. Room. I'd be all for it. I think Magnificent Mansion is is definitely what I would go with. I guess so. I would have been just as obnoxious as Diane. Like, it would be statues and paintings that... This is just my mention of me! I'm so sorry, chat, that you're watching me try this one room for, like, an hour. <laughs> this game really is fun, so mean. I think a really fun, like, way to, way to limit it down, though, it would be, like, a level. You know, like, a certain level of spell. Like anything oh, I, I, I feel like, like that may fly mentioned. in the face of their curiosity. That's true. I feel like the question was open-ended because it wanted to know what we would do. Because, I mean, I guess the easiest answer is you can't take Wish. Because if, if you can cast yep. Wish twice per day, assuming there's no repercussions and assuming that you don't have a chance of losing it, why wouldn't you do that? That's all the other spells. Yeah. yeah. Fucking easily teleport for me. Just so I can fucking visit people. Teleport, yeah, fly, you can you teleport, can fly, or power word heal. Or reincarnate. Okay, reincarnate. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of this life. I'll, I'll come back as another one. <laughs> can you cast reincarnate on other people? I can't remember the range of it. I think you can. Yeah, then you know how useful that would be? <laughs> It'd be great. I think, yeah. only cast, I think the specific situation you're remembering is the one where your wild magic made it cast it on yourself. Yeah. It was like a, a preemptive reincarnate. Yeah. Fucking do reincarnate. Do reincarnate work in the fucking most prestigious hospital in the world. The you're probably gonna die but you don't want to be dead forever hospital. Just be a secret. Just be like a company secret where people are like... Fucking, oh, you're a, you, you don't want to die? We have a man, you see. <laughs> Some people say that it's not truly you that comes back, but if you want another chance. Although, I can't remember reincarnate. Does it affect your age? I think it adjusted by an amount, doesn't it? Uh, such a dead humanoid, they have to be dead no longer than 10 days. Plus a new adult body for it. And also so. Adult, right. <gasps> oh, I... such, as if you were to bring a kid back, they would suddenly be like, oh. That'd be weird. Yeah. It's better than dead. It's better than dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Reincarnate on the manual. Oh my god. <laughs> Adult, he can be what you were originally planning. Mm -hmm. yeah. But only aesthetically. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it could work that way and still be a fucking moth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't! I, I hate it when you slit my throat. I don't like it, it. The fact <sighs> that someone asked which way did bread mispronounce it, and a myriad of words that I've mispronounced throughout the ages <laughs> passed my mind. Uh, I don't know what you're asking. I, I'm so positive but, there's a golden scarab oh in this gee. room. Davis wings? I guess so. None of the, like... I would just take fly, because, like, the damaging parts of that spell, they don't appeal to me. I don't want any spell that lets me hurt other people. <laughs> Diva's wings, I remember what? now. I said Diva's wings. Oh, when we oh that wasn't a suggestion. Diane. That was commenting on a thing you said, Rob. Right, you said Diva's wings. Which, for Diane, applicable. <laughs> That's... Listen. It was uh, a character sure. choice. I try. Sure. What what is Diva's what is Diva's wings? I think you just you just get wings. Diva's wings is you get it's it's a, similar to a fly spell if I recall correctly. I, I think maybe you don't get to fly as fast. What the did my controller just what say? Is, what is it from? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, it's from what the it? same stuff that um, heck and we got. Uh, Diane's so stuff from covers. one of the kobold press things. Uh, when you take an attack action, you use a bonus action to make the melee weapon attack with the wings. Vicious Mockery might be fun. Disagree. With the amount of damage Vicious Mockery does, it kills people. Mm -hmm. Yep. A, be like a, com a commoner is a human, uh, and Vicious Mockery does enough that you are 
possibly going to just outright murder somebody if you use it on a person. Yeah. When you to go a commoner, on and call someone this a mockery and is power them. word kill. Mm. And you can't choose to non-lethal spells. It's true. Oh god, haste. Unless they involve like a awful. melee attack or something, right? Oh no. Uh, haste is so bad. I don't remember if a weapon's involved, I would say yes, but I can't remember the exact ruling. I just imagine like um the one guy from Invincible, like saving people and then everyone just vomiting from you messing up their inner. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so uh so Jen got done with the uh the <gasps> Loading call chat. It looks good. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Uh -oh. I love that you guys just have the sunglasses in all of your fucking phone. It's so good. 3D glasses. What the heck are you talking about? Oh Slap. my oh, god. Is... <laughs> what, what, did, what did I say? He said sunglasses. said sunglasses. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Sorry. Don't make them like you better be. That's oh, the most really? offensive thing you've ever in your life said. Mm -hmm. There's no coming back from this. No, don't let them make you sad. Listen. Yes, that <laughs> rise above sad. it, Hayden. That's the goal here—to make them sad. Quick, with my, not hard. Sad. With my very hard, serious dude. criticism. <laughs> Does anyone a chance of anything mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Does yeah. anyone have anything mean to say? As per the traditions. <laughs> I will allow it. I have I'll something mean to say. It. Penis. That's not me. Uh, ah! Stop! You said penis. Mm. I'll have some milk. I won't have some milk. That's the plot twist. I'm not having any more milk. I'm done with that. The life's <laughs> over. Friendship with milk is ended. I'm gonna get dragged for this, but I really could go. Well, oh, that's actually. Uh, you go some more. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get dragged. I uh, Cold glass of almond milk with chocolate chip cookie. Hell yeah. I'm not doing well. Can... Easily bored gamer brought up an interesting thing Legend <laughs> lore. Legend lore? Yeah. Be neat or that'd be, pal. That'd be even interesting. Just to identify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how much, like. Granted, they'd have to take your word for it. So that's, that's the issue. That's why I but, wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but just like to know that you know how this thing went that no one else knows. It's like hmm. be able to touch any archaeological like artifact and be like, "What is?" You'd be a menace to museums. You're not allowed to touch the stuff, sir. But I, I need like, to. I guess I, I guess I wouldn't be interested in that just because I feel like I'd become the biggest um actuallyer in history, and I'm not super about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would detect I was... thoughts. I no, I would never want that. I'm so anxious that I'm like I would and wouldn't want that. I, I, I'm so I get you. I'm in the same boat, except because of that, I don't want it. That's I firmly do not want it. Yeah, I have no interest in that. I All right, hear me out. Enough. Hear me out. Commune. I cast it and see what happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm and do this. Stay calm and run around. Cut off spells. It's fine. It's fine. What about, uh, what about uh, the most useful utility spell? Fire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Perfect. <laughs> it's the best. So, I may love that spell, but no. Your Honor. <laughs> All right. The footage of that bank robbery shows me throwing balls of fire with my hand. You sure this clearly, isn't doctored? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly <laughs> doctored <laughs> footage. <laughs> I don't know why the uh, heckin' the government of California is going so hard at slandering my name uh, just because I was present at 17 different bank robberies. <laughs> Speak uh, with animals. No, my animals would be so mean to me. That'd yes! be a fun one. <laughs> I want to oh, know what we do. Right. But awaken? Awaken. Awaken. I, that's the one to do. Ryuji plus awaken. Awaken Ryuji. Yes! 
I feel like my goodness. Awaken. What's up? The thing size. Would an awakened pet come to resent its status in life? Probably. Probably. Why would it? It doesn't change their needs. They're still being cared for. As an animal, they enjoy pets and scritches and such. It doesn't give them yeah. a, it doesn't give them human-like sapiens. It gives them intelligence, but the context of them is still there. The animal they are. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'd be interested if you if you explained the nature Try of their to existence. Lobbying for a doggo, right? Yeah, like if you give up. This if becomes you awaken, that episode of Rick and Morty. Like if you awaken yeah. a plant, the plant doesn't suddenly go like, "Why have you done this to me? I wish to have limbs." Like, it's a plant. No. It understands its existence what to be that of a plant. Done? I just think my cats would be furious because I can't get them the expensive cat food all the time. They'd be like, Probably. so I was reading and I noticed that you've given me meow mix and step They also have I the capacity to understand that you couldn't afford it all the time. Do you think my cats Depending. care? There's, there's <laughs> humans cat that don't understand context like that. Spite. It gives them intelligence, not context. They could learn that, yeah. but if they're not smart enough to get it or don't care, then they wouldn't. On the upside, they would be charmed by you for 30 days. So at least a month, they would be the nicest little cats ever. I believe, since this black soldier boy's here, I believe this is the farthest I've made it. I got it. Hold for a second. Hold yourself, though. Hold person. Hold yourself. Yeah. Hold yourself would be a good one. Yeah. Like at that, it's will. low enough level. I'd be like, let me cast that at will, and I'm fucking game. Mm -hmm. I won't yep. take the invocation for it. I mean, if we're just tough, we're kind of we can play the rules here however we want to. Well, yeah. That, it's not like it's a ninth level spell. Okay, you guys do not. Are we still limited to the two times a day thing. I just said we could change it however we want to. Because I was like looking at not, just how annoying that would be. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It gets no. knocked twice. <laughs> wait for... Why just, is this just room just have so many soldiers? Walk up to the bank, they, they just lock everything in, and then just a big freaking <laughs> happens from the gate and it just opens up. I hate this. So <laughs> what was much? that? <laughs> I was so cool. nothing. You should probably you should why probably, like, like lock it again. Why are they <laughs> so wind. intent on protecting that room? I shall return. Because like the funny thing too is just like it is a verbal thing, so you will have to like say like you know say it or like whatever. But like it's just it just be funny because it's within sixty feet, so like <laughs> they just shut it again and you boom, <laughs> and yeah. it comes open. <laughs> Oh. I want this room to fucking die. I'm gonna complete this. I made it to the end where they started sending black soldiers. That was close. We were getting there. I'm doing it. I I'm beating this goddamn room. And then taking whatever not worth it prize is at the end of this room. And I bet I'm gonna get the ninja dog rank. And I've accepted it. I've died like 80 times. Zone of truth. That only makes you, lets you know if people are lying. I don't recall if it, this comes up every time. Does that make them tell the truth? I don't think it does, it does it? compels you to truth? tell the truth. You cannot willingly tell a lie. Yeah, you but they can choose not to talk. You can choose to speak all around it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to be morally gray about this, command at will. Hmm. You wanna go down that rabbit? Okay, you need to leave me alone. I did really well last time. Went really badly this time. Oh, Spencer. We both know it still wouldn't work for you. I know. <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> Give me healing, you bastards. Guys, I think we've all just necessarily omitted the best one. Sleep. <laughs> cast Lay it down, cast, cast that it on, on myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, there's a difference between being unconscious and asleep. 
just want to, I just want to lay down, man. <laughs> yeah, you just need to rest. What's the one where you slap somebody and they get a yeah. short rest? At map? There we go. Uh, it reduces it to a uh, 10 minutes. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't just happen. I died real fast that time. <laughs> and even then, again, the benefits of it, uh, you don't actually fall asleep or anything. No! No, 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 no! I mean, does that mean, no. we, like, if you get the benefits from it, though, is, uh, is that, does that mean you're rested? Like, you feel rested? Contextually, I Kinda guess. Rested. But you have to spend ten minutes doing it. Feels like you just take a nap. Well, like if you can't take a nap, though, you smack yourself and you're fine. It's like I, okay, you do, I have for time ten for minutes, a short yes. nap. I, mean, you I have time for a short nap. Let's get the most out of this. You get up and you're like, all right, well that was a fun ten minutes. Let's let's freaking do some stuff. Yeah. You'd like to see the next part of the game, please? But well, you will once I beat this. This is just something that's going on in the background, okay? This is for me. And I want to beat this room. This is this is set dressing, so you guys can ask questions. And I'm not done with these soldiers. Let's just let's just get anime dead. No. No. Yeah. Freaking would have no problem with that. What a weird horror like, movie that would be. It would just be like, hey, fucking where'd this zombie apocalypse come from? And they're like, a military guy's like, a kid got the ability to bring any D&D &D spell he wanted into the real world. <laughs> so he chose one that raised zombies. He's dead now. It's unrelated to what's happening at the current <laughs> Fuck time. Fuck that guy, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of not playing into anything we're currently doing, but now we have zombies to worry about. Oh my. I know it's a strangely, totally distant thing for us to be talking about in this terrible apocalypse, but it is how it all started. <laughs> you just see, like, live footage of just, like, I raised my first zombie, like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! That would be the last time he would say yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, that was the start of it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I hate you for slitting my throat. I don't like you. I am endowing you with the name Hennifer, as it is a name I have recently learned that I do not care for. You are a terrible hen. Fucking Hennifer. Fucking Hennifer. <laughs> Here, look, I'll grab that TikTok for you. Logan said it to me. I can't blade of disaster, I feel. It's so good. You are banned from Earth if you choose blade of disaster. <laughs> There is no good reason why a person should have that. <laughs> Give me that health. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a it's a good spell for D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> not a good spell for people. No, definitely not. <laughs> Mass polymorph. <laughs> okay, you're banned from this question. You're no longer allowed to answer. You have only bad How intentions. How can I cause the most chaos and mayhem? Everyone is stuck. I would happily take healing word and be Aww. happy with that. Forever. What a good choice. Just give people. The thing is, given the average health a person have, you have healing word. You can basically just revitalize people fully, most of the time. Cure wounds at will? Fucking give me that. I am yeah. the best. Hi, like, Ravage! I'm like, I would love cure wounds, but I'm like, healing word, I like saying nice things to my friends anyway. Oh, we're black at, we're, we're black at the oh, back, oh. soldiers. Black at the back, back at the black, black, yeah, black at the black. Of life. I choose weird. Nope. Still banned. <laughs> All the- these ones give health and stuff. Alright, here, I'm gonna take a knee spell from an older edition. Uh, mm -hmm. it is third party, though. Uh, okay. It's, uh, uh, a power of orgasm? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I know where that- I know where you got that one from. <laughs> what an annoying spell. <laughs> Die and oh give me health! <laughs> Okay, who I has the rocket no launcher? Words. You? You gotta go! There are no who has the rocket launcher? There's another one! 
I cast power word of orgasm. No, 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 I was doing so well. Want to cast regenerate? That'd be neat. That'd be really cool. I want to die. Regenerate would be another way you could really help a lot of people. Mm hmm. Yeah. Chat, send True me strength. All right, chat, this is the one. Send me strength, because this is the Bring one. Back anyone within 200. Put your hands in the air. Send your emotes. Send your support. This is the one. I need all I'm of you to believe in me. I believe in you. I am immortal. I am. I am unkillable. I am Ryu Hayabusa. Canonically, I've never died, so I don't die here. Yeah. Meteor Swarm! <laughs> what did I say about you being bad? Why are you still making <laughs> suggestions? I don't think you understand how not part of this question you are. I don't think you understand. I don't think you know what banned means. Conjure animals would be neat. You are pot of greed. Yeah. Conjure woodland creatures. They yeah, only last for a little bit, creatures. but it'd be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. I need you all to believe. Believe harder. Oh, no, believe the hardest. Good. Like Conjure with the group, now there's Conjure Beasts as well. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, too. Something where I can make animals. I, like, I need to go right them. now. <laughs> Find familiar though? I've already had my familiar. I can, if anyone no. was a, <laughs> if any cat was a familiar, Stinky was my familiar. Yeah? He would. Oh, we were together all the time, and like we, I literally talked to that cat. As like, most people like, do. It... <laughs> Who, did he ever? Dead. Did he ever kill for you? Probably. I mean, familiars can't really do that. Do that he Good brought me lots of lizards. Can. Suzu tens killed. <laughs> I guess that's true. Some familiars can. Some warlock familiars. <laughs> At that point, it wouldn't be a cat, though, would it? <laughs> sure, I mean, it could be. The, uh, the, the, only the newer one form allows can... you to take other ones, but uh, you can I see. still pick regular ones. I see. Which means it wouldn't be able to talk. It wouldn't be as effective oh, at there's, killing things. There's healing as much as they want a chatterbox, can't have the capability to speak. <laughs> oh. Somebody just shot a rocket. I think he dropped his rocket launcher though, because he knew what was coming. I cast Storm of Vengeance. No, you don't. <laughs> it's not even a spell. Storm of Vengeance. It's from the player's yeah. handbook. It's from the what? It's from the I cast the jail on Cody. Oh. <laughs> no more. It's, it's, it's a druid spell, Eric. What is it called? Storm, Storm of, of Vengeance. Vengeance. Yeah. I've no. never heard of this. Have you ever played a druid? I mean, once, but I never, not at this level. <laughs> Goddamn gun boys! You're having fun. As soon as, the yeah. as soon as the black ones show up, I'm so fucking dead right now! I, I, I love how my first thought was like, ah, oh, a mansion, that'd be super fun. And I'd be able to, I'd be able to live comfortably forever. How and can I like, call the apocalypse? I want to be a villain! <laughs> you know what? Can I leave? Okay, okay, I have a plan. I, I think I've just reset the room. Yes, I have a plan. I have okay. a good, good plan. I'm gonna have to uh -huh. do that again, but I've just gained a whole bunch of heckin' points, you see. And I'm gonna Your go. Karma's high. I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of healing items. How different from how you, Logan usually yeah. plays TTT. <laughs> Wrong side. Yup. All right. But this way, I'll be able to afford a bunch of healy potions. Just randomly kill a person. This is this is the this is the strat I needed to focus on. I needed to get extra healy items. I cast clone. Teacher, I don't think Cody understands the assignment. Clone. Clone. I don't Clone. think he goes to this school. He doesn't <laughs> even go here. <laughs> he doesn't even go here. 
All right. Uh, like, talk about a spell that like could you infinitely would farm that room? Have, yes, you I'm could not infinitely worry about farm component. that component. Cool. The components for clone is like freaking out of this world. Give myself a heal. Okay, I have six potions going in this time. Heat metal? No, because heat metal doesn't heat things to the point of being in any way malleable. Uh, like it doesn't. It's no, there's no practical uses, and all it does is hurt people. So no thanks. Yeah, a lot of guess. the. But it needs to be man-made already, so you can use it on natural metal. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be very useful. No. Well, it's only use is hurting people. You wanted to save energy or whatever. You didn't need metal. You want to get that kind of semantics with it. Give me Dimension Door. At will. I'll take it over Teleport, actually. Because it'd be super fun to just be like, I wonder what it's like to be on top of that building. And you know, unlike Teleport, there's no chance of failure. I mean, tele if you know the place, then it, there's no chance, right? Therein lies the caveat, though. I can't and like, you have to have been there for there to be no chance of failure. If you know of it, like if you've seen it or read about it or have been close to it or whatnot, there's still a chance of failure. I uh, would think if you have something from there, or if there's a circle there, which can't exist, so you need something actually from the location. Yeah, that's it. Uh, otherwise, even if you're very, very familiar with it, there's still a small chance. And I would not trust it if there was even a remote chance of ending up in the ocean or on the moon. Yeah. I don't and know if there's anyone in the earth you can teleport that you'd end up in the moon, but you'd end up in space, you could end up in space. I mean, depends on how you want to, want to interpret a random, like, direction away from it. Well, you know, that's what I'm like, you could go up, but I'm just like, the actual distance to the moon, there's no I, distance okay, on it you I can didn't, teleport. Okay, I didn't literally mean the moon. Yeah. <laughs> my concern isn't going to the moon, my concern is going anywhere up. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Oh, Plus, you know, what if you're like, I want to go to this heckin' cave? If you're like, I want to, I've heard of the fucking Grand Canyon, the cave of the Grand Canyon. Teleport there, and it's like, a rocky place. Have you heard of the moon? Haha, <laughs> 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 fool! I think it's the nearest one. Is it the nearest? Yeah, it's like the I believe, isn't the mishap thing just a similar one? Um, there is, if we're looking at flat mishap, I mean, flat mishap is, uh, you take damage. Uh, the similar area, and that one is, uh, you are in a different area that's, uh, visually or thematically similar. If you're heading from your home, you might end up in another laboratory. Um, I don't know, anywhere on the plane, you're right. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember there being anything about it being the nearest place. No, I'm thinking of another one. I know there's yeah. one where if Fuck, you're fuck, oh my god! Like, the distance that you went. You go in a different direction. That distance, that can be like, yeah, all right, you are now north of that area by X amount of miles. Give me health. Need health. I don't know if it's that all that good. What about Cactus? Give me that. I believe it was, though. But now I'm on Mighty Fortress! <laughs> Okay, Rocket Boys! Then, uh, rocket Boys! And somewhere your hands out and like a fortress appears beneath you and you just rise into the air. Oh my god, they got me. <laughs> and if you cast it the same for every seven days, it becomes a permanent fortress. Rocky Boys, Rocket Boys, really Rocket cool. Boys, you gotta stop. Speak with Dead would be really useful if you, uh, if you wanted to work as a detective. Hey, who killed oh, you? Yeah. That was close, though. That was close. Some guy, he came out with a knife. Ah, oh, come on, be more useful. Okay, I got it this time. This time I got it. I got it this time. I have seven potions, six potions. I'm getting in there. Take him down. Got a plan this time. The plan is sword in head. My plan is sword. 
You had more healing that played worse. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll own that. There's a degree of stuff to this game where, the, like, as this game's known for, sometimes you just can't react. Like when they get you in a corner. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just looked. I, I, I've never, I've never like actually read read Divine Word. <laughs> and, like, Divine Word's me. Like, oh, is it? Is this like, is this like a new, is this like a new, like, like a more powerful, like, healing word? No. And it's like, no. <laughs> it's the opposite of that, you see. The unhealing word. It is a, Most it is a would have heavy debilitation spell. Everybody would have less than 20 hit points, so it's literally just walk somewhere and any number of creatures that can hear you just die. <laughs> yep. Just walk up. And... <laughs> this time. I shouldn't have said that. It's immediately gonna go bad. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Have to sell more fuel works. I sold more fuel works. Oh, you strangled me. You think that matters? Because you pushed me into healing. Wait, where'd it go? I don't know if I actually got healed. Well, you bamboozled me. I thought I had you. The thing about Dream of the Blue Veil that doesn't work is that you need something from the place you want to go to go there. I just don't want to go to other planes mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. There can be nothing but bad from that. Diane had this spell, but I never ended up using it, but like, I could go to someone's dream if I wanted to. No, you used it. Yeah. It's Tight. called Dream. Uh, I contacted David. You used it on Island. <gasps> I did. Um, okay. Rather than yourself. Yeah. What a time. What a okay. Place. Rocket boy? Place. Rocket boy. I'm not tolerating the rocket boys. They would fuck me up at this stage. He's a rocket boy. No, he's not. He's a rocket boy. No, he's not. Yeah, they always be headed. Yep. <sighs> Dream is like one of the most pleasant or insidious spells. Yep. It's it. very useful. Mm -hmm. It's a great villain spell. Mm -hmm. Ow. Why you gotta hit so hard? No, no, see, this is, this is where I fuck up when they get me in a corner like this. Mm. It's a mean, mean game. It is very mean. You see what I mean when I talked about it earlier? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. That was awesome. Now, how do you do that again? Well, I know how to do it. It just normally takes some charging like this. Ah, I see. And I don't normally don't have time. Oh! I did it! I did it! Finally! Oh, that makes sense. Did everybody just stop talking for like a solid like yeah. five seconds? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm still reading spells, dude. Tensor's transformation. They just turn into a god for a bit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You gain 50 temporary hit points, get advantage on all attack rolls. You 
like um, uh, are proficient with all weapons. Whenever you hit someone, they take 2d12 force damage. There's the golden scare. Mm -hmm. Can attack twice. Can someone check to see if the stream's still up? My OBS is looking like it's yeah. freezing. Stream's still up. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Just making sure. It, is the room... Ugh. The room gone? Fucking did it. Room gone! We did room the room. Gone. We did the room. room gone. We did. All right, time for the other two rooms just like it. <sighs> no, 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 that's not what's happening. <laughs> uh, is this the, which side is the safe side? Is it this side? Uh, yeah. Yes, what? safe side. Oh. Okay, where do I need to go? I know captain's quarters, supply room. I know I basically just need to go places until I can turn off the power. Middle cabin! Alright. Any boys in here? I'm very used to you boys by this point. There's a winch. Oh, there you are! Why are you guys all hanging out out there? You should be on the ship. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! See, so, yeah, what I got for that, apart from being able to explore the room, I got just a thing that, oh my god, increases my hit points. Which, oh my god! Rocket boy! Rocket boy! Rocket boy! Rocket oh, fuck. Rocket boy! Health. Gimme! Give Gimme give that! Thank you! Oh. I'm so terrified of everything now. No boy's gonna show up. Not a boy. No boy. No boys. Not a boy inside. Ooh, arrows. Nice. Not one boy. I wonder if I could have gotten up on the crates in the other place and then just like taking people out with my bow. Hmm. We'll never know. That would have. We'll never know. The other room? I'm gonna go. Ah! Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have. Ha! How do I get over there? Oh, I see. Oh, what? Well, I wonder. Ah! <laughs> I hit him. I had no right hitting him. You had That's no insane. Right. <laughs> ten out of ten. Good golly gosh. Look at all that city down there. All that there city. All that there city there. I see, I see. Don't get blown up I see, by this. I see. There's a boy, and I have very low health. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> well, kudos to him. He deserved that kill. <laughs> that was expert, sir. I don't know if you, you guys saw that. Yeah. That was... That was... Upsetting. No, I didn't see it. Oh, he just rounded the corner and got ran, immediately I, shot. I had like one hit point. I rounded a corner. <laughs> there's instantly a shot. And then I was just like... <laughs> got him. Lead. Oh my god. I should go buy a couple more potions. And maybe if I can upgrade my stuff, I should do that as well. Mm-hmm. What happens to the portal oh. in Magnificent Mansion if you leave it open, but don't designate someone can go through it? To see if I can't enter. Well, mm -hmm. like, do they just go through the portal then, or can they, like, not go past it, or...? I imagine they can, like, they walk, walk, walk through, through it, it and end up no on the other side without going in. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to figure out, because, like, it doesn't say. So I was like, you know, just, like, walks right through is what I was thinking. We're just not physically there for them. Yeah. 
Uh, let's go. Let's upgrade the dragon sword I'm over here. Shop. Let's get like four more of these. Yes. Uh, all right. Do I have other stuff? Gotta get these armlets. Increases there's a attack. question that's <clears throat> there's mm -hmm. a question being asked that's like, oh, what D and D class you would basically what class you would want to be or would be? I feel like most of us are bards, just by nature. Um, or by nature of what we do. Mm -hmm. I'd say I guess. I'd say I'd want to like which would be be or would we want to be? Um. Because bard makes the most sense on the whole. If you could become. Uh, cleric. If I was to be a modern day cleric, absolutely cleric, because the cleric has the most things that would be useful in the modern world. Mm -hmm. I would be a wizard. All of the different types of healing. Uh, keep in mind, if you become a wizard, and if you like spec into taking anything super dangerous, you would be a criminal. Yeah, wizard. All right. <laughs> yeah, wizard. I said what I said. As long as you know what you're doing. Do you not remember Cody's answers to the last questions? <laughs> yes, I remember That's how illegal he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, it just, you know, it just, it'd just be super fun. Did you get a realm that let you travel to other realms when you go to heaven? Spells. Nope. Uh -uh. Like, the only other thing I could think of is druid, but I don't really, I don't know, you know? Turning into I an would animal really... would be Yeah, I'd really like druid, probably. Like, yeah. knowing my vibe, probably. Second choice. I, yeah, like, druid, probably. I'm like, I'm trying to think of, like, what I'd do. Why like, not? Why would I not go to heaven? Yeah. Uh, I would not go to heaven, because as I said earlier, there are, assuming it exists, there are powers that be that determine who gets in and who doesn't, and I feel those powers would not be appreciative of somebody entering randomly. <laughs> and just because I can go between planes does not mean I can tell off God. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, any way that I can just choose the most fucking, like, like, non- non-criminal spells <laughs> like ever healing <laughs> mage wow. hand stop kicking my <laughs> ass i think i'd still, still be a bard yeah for you absolutely mm -hmm. i'm thinking I about like me a... most level 20 characters think they can tell off a god cool i'm not a level 20 character and that wasn't your question mm -hmm. <laughs> with how crafty i am yeah super super druid i like i like flowers a lot <laughs> Also, level 20 characters also, can't tell off gods. No. Also, I just, I just, I mean, I, I want press the invitation. That's fair. <laughs> That's funny. Clean. Clean. Cleaner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Avatar of and you know, oh, look. A blood splatter got in the door, then I lowered the door. And now it's just, me. there's a blood splatter just in the air. And they saw from... out of existence. And you know, it's the scene from once, fucking, uh, uh, Last Jedi. He's like, cleaner. Good enough. There's Cleaner! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what level would I have to be to learn Magnificent Mansion? I don't know. Uh, 14, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Ow. The seven mm -hmm. level spell? Yeah. Alright. I have no arrows. I would want to be a bard because then every time that I said you can do it, you would have a higher chance of actually being able to do it. That's true. That, that's a fair answer. Bard to be my third. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Druid also, because uh, in real life, being able to wild shape would be neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd want to hang. I'd, I'd honestly just want to hang out with all my animals. Hell yeah. I'll take I any class that's best for increasing dog. intelligence. Yeah. Well, the thing is, VTech, your classes don't increase your stats. You build your. Yeah. You build take classes yeah. that work with your stats. Mm -hmm. No class ever. Fire, and just keep getting the ability score improvements. Yeah, classes don't. Uh, yeah, technically, if you want to be best at anything, uh, fighter's the best option. It's yeah, true. Just keep, just keep increasing your abilities. Be a really smart fighter. Hey, I'm back. Oh. You're not gonna get me this time. I feel like artifice would be a fun one. Mm -hmm. mm. I would make beep boops. Like the thing with that is you'd get you'd get Tony Starked real quick. I would I I would like that. What like well, abducted? Yeah, like the kidnapped and forced to build weapons and whatnot. I feel. Yeah. Because like I'm. The door's locked. Like but if, you, but if process... you're a certain type of artificer, though, you can no, have I'm a ninja. Freaking robot dog kill whoever tries to come at you. <laughs> you oh, good! Man. You get to be Jimmy Neutron! Yay! Yeah. 
Or, you know, you could be the robot dog. <laughs> or you could be Iron Man. Just being Iron Man. Heckin', I just know myself enough to know how obnoxious I would be with my abilities. And so, like, that would be a real quick, like, look what I can make! Hmm. Hey, come over here! Smell this rag for me. Build also me robots. pretty fun with uh, with Tasha's now. Um, after every long rest, a wizard can change up their uh, can change up their uh, cantrips. Try to kidnap me? I activate oh. my warbots. Sure, man. <laughs> Your warbots. <laughs> because because everyone who's ever been captured is always has been on full guard, ready at the go, knowing they're about to be kidnapped in life. They just didn't have warbots. War That's the problem. I mean. If they have the warbots, though, <laughs> they yeah, might you have to as be well be you have to be, you have to be conscious to push the button. And if they knock you out... When you need to be mm -hmm. a mass murderer, level up the and d rules. Experience is only a system that functions as a game. If we are to assume that everybody has to fight people to gain experience, then every mage college is full of people that take weird murder field trips. <laughs> so no, you do not need to be a mass murderer to level up. You simply I need to like live and accrue experience. experience. Yes. Yeah. The, and that's why there are rules for, like, if people do certain things or pass time, you can give them experience. We normally don't do that, because adventuring's the fun way to gain experience in D&D. And combat is the best way to, you know, to conceptualize that. But mm -hmm. NPCs and people and, like, people who start their games at, like, level 6 but have never adventured, they didn't go on murder trips. No. I mean, not, mansion, as, not on the reg, anyways. Who, uh, who am I to say what your character did? Yeah, man, depends what school you Heckin', went to. Yeah, Brennan, Brennan had a thing on that on his fucking talk show, where he's like, if we were to assume you can only gain experience through combat, every wizard college is much darker than it was before. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that wizard colleges is actually just Fight Club. But books. Alright, where is... I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, like, what subclass. <laughs> okay, now let me scroll. I would be a glamour bard. Sorry, not sorry. So good. You're not sorry. I just... I don't hear any sorry in your voice. You're only not sorry. You're not sorry. I would be a glamour bard. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry. I put the sorry in my voice there, dude. I'm so sorry. Thumbs up. So sorry. I don't know. I don't. So I know there's. Sorry. I know there's one more scarab on this place. I want to go save before I accidentally leave and miss it. I can just turn on hair dryer put in front of face. Everyone, you need to run. Inspire them. <laughs> what was it? On the topic of Brennan, I, I caught a Dimension Twenty clip that was like a climactic moment between like a wizard teacher and their their pupil, and it was just Brennan being like. The challenge is tough, but remember, you possess the most powerful magic of all. And they were just like, fr friendship? And he's like, friendship? What do you mean, friendship? No! You've been at my academy for like two years and you Friendship? What the- what do you mean? Friendship <laughs> isn't going to slay your enemies? I'm talking about heckin' chronoturgy! Time magic! Um. The most powerful <laughs> magic of all! Friendship! <laughs> Look, it is just like- I love that. <laughs> no, it was just like, that's Friendship. funny. Friendship! Oh, well, 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 it was really, it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. The nerve. The gall. Ooh. Uh, I saw- Fuck. I saw Fuck. a fun clip of them earlier today. Or last night when I was up because of the stuff. Uh, and, uh... It was just one of them, like, pretend rolling up their sleeves, being like, all right, so you got about two minutes to do the right thing and quit before this starts, because yeah, you are going to die. <laughs> just, like, taking off bits of armor, putting on these sleeves, just a really cute bag. And they're like, uh, what? It's like, yeah, you see those guys over there? They really love me. They're like, they make me uncomfortable. They should, and that's why you should quit. <laughs> I like catching clips of Dimension 20. It's not like my jam mm -hmm. to watch on the reg, but like I always like bumping into clips of it. It's very mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my roommates have been getting uh, really into Dimension 20 too. Like cool. they want me to get into it real bad. God. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a very I got enough stuff to watch situation. Yeah, I get that. I'm busy <laughs> enough and I try to keep up with Critical Role and even that doesn't really work out, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I, yeah. I'm pretty Thanks. sure. The other, I'm pretty sure the other golden scarab that's here, which I need to get now, 
Because if I don't get it now, I can never come back to this place. Because we're in that era of video gaming. Mm. I'm pretty certain it's in this room somewhere, and I know it's somewhere I gotta, like, jump up to. Man, I gotta find a janitor that's, like, good at catching ghosts. Why? Playing like hospital what simulator. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> someone like... died in my hospital and is now haunting it. Oh, so I need shit. a, I need a, oh. I need a ghost, I need a ghost catching janitor. So. Uh -huh. hmm? Yeah. As if someone does. dies, they have a chance of coming back because as a ghost. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Ghost. That didn't. That wasn't what I wanted from that situation. Um. Yeah? There we go. Hey, Y'all? <gasps> there it is! Nice. After this, I might, like, print off a list of where the scarabs all are. I think mm -hmm. this goes to the very end, maybe? I don't want to go to the very end. There's still things I have to do. I haven't lived my life yet. I haven't lived my life yet. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this goes to the top. Oh, I should probably. Probably. Gosh, I've been on this airship for a while. I should probably put more beds in this w hospital ward. Maybe. Mabu. Maybe's babies. Maybe's babies. Just gonna paint some dice. I'm gonna keep playing Ninja Gaiden. I've been playing for this for three hours and I'm not out of this fucking airship. Wow. Goddamn. Damn. I could have been out of here a long time ago, but I had to beat that room! <laughs> I had to. It was mocking me. This thing is 90% of you really liking Brennan. Me as well. I'm very excited. I need to talk to Elliot about I that. I love. Oh, I love Brennan. He's great. Right. Yeah. Humor. So fucking funny. He's oh. got great energy. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Got about to get kissed on the mouth energy. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh. Right, what the, what's in this room? I don't really oh, I was here guys. already. I, I'm vaguely aware of them. But... Damn it. They seem very nice. Yeah. The things that I, I can't I've speak seen. much. I can't speak much to it, but I may. Uh, you guys already all know about it, but I'm just in vague terms. I heckin. We'll probably get to work with him fairly soon on a thing. And I'm so pumped about it. Ooh. Hell yeah. Mm. And I can't say anything else about it. And that's where the thought ends. <laughs> and that's... You guys, Critical Role Unexpectables, my regular D&D fix. That, 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 that's uh, fucking the Unexpectables. I haven't actually tuned in for much of their stuff, but... Like, I like all the people I know from it. And fucking... The, the group has a great energy, so... Okay. The, the animations they've had... Like... Yeah? Oh my god. I've only watched a few of them, but the moments that people have animated and captured are just... Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss. So I really like Riddler's animations a whole bunch, and I'm, I'm, when mm. I say what I'm about to say, I'm speaking more in terms of like serious animations than or animatics rather than sillier things. And I only give that disclaimer so it doesn't seem like I don't like Riddler's things. It'd be so cool to see like an animatic of a vestige thing, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like an action scene or a conversation or what have you. Though Heck I'd probably yeah. hear my own voice in it and hate it, because that's how I am, but it's still yep. cool to see. I get that. Makes sense. But I'm like, I, I'm right there with you. I'm like, it's just cool. It's cool to see. Yep. I hear my it's own voice in anything, neat. and I'm like, oh man, I'm the worst thing on the planet. This is neat. <laughs> so nice. I've been fooling everyone real good so far, though. <laughs> yeah. People ask me to voice and things, and I'm like, all right. You haven't figured out I'm terrible yet, but cool. I'm like, I have successfully tricked you up to this point. <laughs> just Someone did like the reverse thing, or like, oh, you have imposter syndrome? Oh, you're you terrible? Are you, you sure worst? you're good enough to have imposter syndrome? <laughs> yeah, do you really <laughs> think you fooled all these people? God. God, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse psychology heaven. Ooh. It's not really. Don't you dare use my own bad brain against itself. Three. That just evoked a very visceral, like, eh. Yeah. 
There's an aspect to that where if you, the things. thing is with imposter syndrome, if you hadn't fooled them, you'd stop getting work and would no longer be able to have imposter syndrome. Yeah. Dude, I'm like, I have imposter fucking forever. Everyone does. Forever. Yeah, Ooh. man. That's what I mean. It's like, God, it's just ever present. Our, the way our society works also does not help. What? Yeah. yeah. Hello, boys. Yeah, I see you have guns. I have swords. One for each of you. Well, oh, boys. But don't worry. You can share. Motorcycle. Oh, you're kicking me into a wall. I see. Ah, I understand. Here's a ladder here. Oh, uh, hello, boys. Past experience tells me I'm supposed to climb this. Personally, I think I could have made this. Oh, actually. No, go back down. Ryu, go back down. Oh, thank God. I saw a thing. It's funny, my instincts said that I needed to heck in climb the ladder. My instincts were wrong. I did need to jump. I should have trusted myself. <laughs> you were a fool <gasps> to not trust yourself. You fool. What did I... Was this where the hatch thing is? Yeah. That's a weird place for a hatch control. <laughs> Glad they designed this place with ninjas in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> there we go. I agree. All right, time to take on this boy. <laughs> calm down. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> Unnecessary. Oh, you have an energy field. All right. Okay. I need you to calm down. That did nothing. gonna get me. I'm gonna lose this fight. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there I go. It's a Ninja Clan's rigged airship. Is it a Ninja Clan's airship? I'm, I thought it was just an airship. I thought I was invading one of them. Their airships. They're just a big old... They're just a big old military group as far as I know. Are you the only ninja on it? Ryu had stowed aboard an airship headed for the Vigor Empire. Yeah, I think it's just an airship. I forgot there was a save point <sighs> right there. Having read all of the wizard subclasses, <laughs> I still oh don't God. know. <laughs> well, like, well, when you, well, when Is that you where you're going to go with? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I read them all and I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to find one that wasn't like, I know it's a game that's about like fucking like murdering people, but I'm sitting here like, what is the least murdery one? Divination. But also has really good useful ones. Divination. <laughs> you can modify your luck. That'd be really useful in like day-to-day -day Divination stuff. is, is def divination and uh, enchantment and illusion were, were three really good ones. All right, uh, round two. Obviously, the necromancy, though. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I get in there, I go slash, slash, and I jump away. Zombos. All right. We didn't have zombos in the first place. Yep. Oh. Oh, ow, ow. It's really <laughs> yeah, that's you. Ow. Homebrew ones that I like. Logan, which, which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, things do you have? I, I couldn't tell you. I'm fighting a big lightning boy. Oh no, you can tell me that. Like, nope, <laughs> I'm fighting a big lightning boy. And it's taking all of my focus. And he shot me with lightning. He has a lightning huh? gun. He does, I see that now. And he, every time I hit him, he does a little bit of lightning. And I don't appreciate it. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, yo, my friend. My lightning boy friend. Oh, you shoot randomly now, are we? He's your lightning boyfriend? Yeah, he is. Oh. Oh. Okay. We have fights like this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that oh. makes sense. Where he freaking slams yeah. down on you and murders you? But you don't... He's not like this in, in private. He's, he's not like this yeah. all the time. Nice. No, you, you, don't, you only see him on his bad days. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's actually very nice Ooh. when we're alone. Yeah. Yeah. Treats you fairly. Treats you he's, nice. He's really sweet. It's he, just he in just, front of people he that he just gets overreacts. Really... Yeah. He had a rough childhood. Oh, good. It's okay. <laughs> he used to be worse. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Oh no! He's a work in progress. <laughs> He's gotten a lot better, and I want to support that. He shot me with lightning again. <laughs> I think his lightning work is really, really... He's very talented. Very talented. I've just never met anyone who can channel the power of the storm the way he can. Okay, so I see the crucible mage. Oh, I think I figured him out. You hit him twice, then you block. I, 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 I'm on to him. I get his game. This will fix oh, him. he grabbed me! <laughs> Just like when we first met. <laughs> See, wow. when he, when he grabbed me. Y'all are so me. much. So nice. <laughs> I love his hug. He's really passionate about his work. He shot me. Clearly. Very clearly. Uh, passionate about everything you've done. Oh, is Crucible Mage the only one you have? I guess you, you make Magus. What? I was like looking to see if you had any other wizard stuff, and I think the only one I found is Crucible Mage. Mm. No, don't grab me! Oh, this is it, I'm dead. But I did oh. figure him out in my. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm alive. All right, all right, cool. I forgot you. He is getting randomly. better. He he is. He, he let getting you leave. He let you live. For a second. For a second. But his yeah. temper that he, he that temper flared back up. It's baby yeah. steps. I just. Uh... I'm used to it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is getting obscenely dark. This has been pretty dark from the start. <laughs> <laughs> also true. Uh. Mm. All right. Yeah, we get it. You're tall. We get it. How do I dodge that? Is the real question. That's the thing that fucking gets me. Dodge towards me. Dodge, duck, oh, dip, dive, and dodge. I think I might have cracked the code here a little. Or. Yep, yep, alright, well, heal. Alright. Alright. Uh. I think I'm a heck of a get out of here and shit. I'm very fucking all of a sudden. Alrighty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, have fun with Good the night. rest of the stream. I hope you beat this guy. I and will. get off this airship. I'm confident. Heck yeah. Alright. Goodbye. So long. Don't beat your Goodbye. boyfriend. Goodbye. He got me. He beat me. I can get him. Everybody send me yes, your strength you again. With just a little bit more power, I can take him down. Sending oh. you my strength. Thank you. Or lack thereof here. If I lose again, I'm going to go back and buy some healing items, because 
just going at it with one is maybe my mistake here. I am definitely not getting Master Ninja this time. There's no way. I wish I could skip this ladder. I wish I could just... Okay. Three. That's how I gotta get him. Got it. Alright. Not like that, though. That's not the way. I used that way too early. Ah, oh, this is a bad run. All right. Four, five. Three, four, five. Nope, yeah, you got me again. I am gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and get some more healing <clears throat> items for this. Do it. I wonder if I go back to the other room if those bad guys will respawn, because if so... Are those arrow things in the corners? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll go... I'll do it once more and I'll check to see if there's arrow things. If there are, I'll... do something with that. Maybe I'm brute forcing this whenever I don't need to. Man, I wish it had Dark Souls timing. If there was a more obvious cadence to this. Arrow things. I think I'm also gonna take a little fish. I'm just gonna take a little fish. Bye, Eric. Have a good night. Have a good night. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Nothing is gained from waiting. Dying again. Okay. Yeah, I need a couple more healing items. No, I do not want to go down to way of the ninja. Or leave the path of the ninja. Stop asking. You'll get it. I will. That's the kind of game this is. Yup. Dying a lot is not always a bad thing. I can. I like Dark Souls. That was, so that was something we were talking about yesterday when we were playing It Takes Two. Yeah. Mm hmm Because that's definitely a game that you, you, you croak a lot, and the game knows that it's that way too. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, it's like super designed yeah. that way. there's like death in that game, and then there's heckin' game overs. Yeah. Mm. You can die and come back as long as your buddy's alive in that one. Yep. Yep. Main deck. We did have some moments where we were like, well, we're both dead. <laughs> yep. yep. I think we we died at the same time maybe once or twice. It really didn't happen that often. Mm. We we're usually pretty good to be like, okay, okay, I'll hold enough. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, do the baddies come back? <gasps> I think they do. Oh, wait, no, they start off with black boys. Ah. 
good time. Ow. I'm already big badly in here. Yeah. I'm very excited to continue that. Dude, I'm like, if we hadn't been going for so long, and if, you know, it wasn't as late as all hell, I would be like, I hear what those people are doing so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No fun. For real, for real. I'm like, I'm really excited for my controller to come in because I want to replace it. It took me 10 years to play that game, but now I'm like, hey, but let me play it again, though. That's how it always is, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the credits rolled when I finished it. I'm like, okay, but what if I do it again, though? But Psychonauts 2 comes out on the 25th, so I'm like, okay. Of August, but still. Resist. I'm gonna just play it again. It's either that or fucking... What else do I have? That or Bendy that I'll just play a million times. Hell yeah. Fucking... Movement is so hard to control in this game. I'm gonna go back, buy items, come back, and do this. Go to brute force. Thank you. You can do it. I believe in you. I think I I'll choose the order of scribes. Are you still just talking about things you want to be in real life? This. <laughs> still... I was looking through all the fr wizards are so like there's so much text. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna the, the order of scribes for, from Tasha. <sighs> it, it, it looks fun, and you that can make me. a quill. And quills yeah. are fun. I used to know how to make quills and stuff like that. Mm. Like it's not difficult, but making like really nice ones like takes a while, and it's fun. Well, the big reason I like was looking at this is because it just makes being a wizard easier. Because like, if you copy a spell into your book, it like takes half the time and it costs half the materials to do it, and a bunch of stuff like that. So it just it just seems like it makes everything about being a wizard more cost effective and easier. <laughs> uh, and you can make rolls and stuff later, which is pretty cool. So it just seems like a it seems like a fun. Just, just freaking make, make all make all kinds of all kinds of easy wizard stuff. Very yeah. cool. I've done it. I don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> Logan fell. Oh yeah. How did you do that? That's one tenth of the time. Yeah, it is. It just seems like a bunch of like the, the weird things about being a wizard. Because like obviously if I was playing it like actual D and D, I probably wouldn't pick this. Because I'd want to pick something that was like a little bit like more just do damage and stuff. Uh, however, it does have a neat thing uh, in its second second level ability where if you cast a wizard spell with a spell slot, you can replace the damage of this uh, of the spell with another spell, the spell book, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, like if you know something like weak to a certain kind of damage, you're like, yeah. And so ice fireball, ice fireball, ice fireball. <laughs> so that is my decision. <laughs> Also, apparently there is a spell called Frost Fingers. Yeah, that's from heckin' Icewind Dale, or from, yeah. from Rhyme. I have that. My wizard has that. It's great. Frost Fingers. It's basically burning hands, but cold. Ha! <laughs> I don't need a spell for like, that. I have poor you circulation. Also, you, can also touch, you can also touch uh, liquid and be like, eh, you're uh -huh. not frozen. Yep. But can you, like, turn it into a slush? Can I make a slushy is what I'm Can I wondering. make a slushy with my, with my fingers? Because I need to make a slushy in Ice Window. I would love to make a slushy with my fingers. Hey, man. 
Oh. I was I was in Rhode Island and it was negative ten degrees and we still went to Hagen Dust. Because we're Dude, psychopaths. I get ice cream during the winter all the fucking time. But Hell yeah. Because you're bundled and then you're like, you know what? I want something cold because I'm currently cozy. Mm-hmm. Good, good time. At least. Ice cream when I feel like it. Also, another really fun thing is if you cast a spell as a ritual, uh, once a day you can make that spell cast it in normal instead of casting it with uh, 10 minutes out of time. Oh cool. So that just seems like it just seems like you just get an extra spell slot at that point. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah, I want to ritual cast this thing, but also do it in the amount of time it normally does. Pachow! Pachow! I say as I cast, this is now the verbal component. Pachow is now is now the verbal component for my casting. Oh, yeah. Pachow. <laughs> Pachow? And at the maximum level of it, uh, as long if you have like your book's mind, your book gets a mind. If you have your book's mind uh, brought out, and someone hits you, uh, you could be like no, and then you can just be like get rid of the book's mind, and and you don't take any damage from that hit. And you're like fucker, leave me alone, get out of here. Why you do that for? And then See, you run you away said, probably. When you said book's mind, I was like, wait, my book gets a mind. You mean I can have more advice? I <laughs> uh, dude, I was totally thinking that whenever I was seeing this. I'm just like, I'm just hearing freaking vice like in the background i'm just like yes yes i get it <laughs> oh i love it and that. ninja dog ninja dog ninja dog ninja dog head ninja not ninja dog all right well maybe you say so i suppose oh so i don't know if y'all remember the cloud or like the turquoise cloud dice i made like forever ago i finally finished polishing them and i'm painting mm. them gold what a good choice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry. All right. Let's walk where you reach. I love gold. You know, as you enter the street, there's a fountain against the left wall. Okay. I did it. I made it to the city that acts as the hub for most of the rest of the game. Hell yeah. So stylish for you. The fountain, I believe. Nope, that's not the fountain. The big snake boy. What's in here? Ooh, big red chest. <gasps> Great spirit elixir. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, realize how it works. Hey, if his, uh. If the material is, like, heavily insulated, he could have done that. Uh, he grappled, uh, he repelled along some, um, power lines by putting his arms together on them so that only his van braces were touching them, which oh. they could do that if they're just, yeah. if they're heavily insulated enough that electricity doesn't conduct through them, then they could. Up! Uh, up! Oh, nice birds don't explode. Dodge never. Who 
dodges things. Dodging for sappy boys. I implore you, Logan. Shield. Guillotine. While jumping forward, X plus A. Okay. <gasps> Free arrows. Need to find the fountain. Birds couldn't shock you because the wires uh, can't shock you. There's anything to ground you through. I believe that's true. Same principle applies, though. Skull door. Can't get in the skull door. All right. You have a lot of weapons. Hmm? I'm like looking at your boy right now, and like... I just got another. He has several large swords. <laughs> a now he's bow. got two swords and a bow on him. And now a stick. Technically he has three swords on his person. Only carrying two physically right now, but he has another one, the dragon sword, that is a different weapon. These two swords are their own weapon. Oh, kick. Stone tablet top. Alrighty. Enjoy the music. Now loading. Um, now I'm looking at like a whole bunch of spells because I don't want to take anything that's like evil or like can hurt people. <laughs> so like I'm looking at one that's called wrist pocket. I'm like, damn it, that could that could really help you steal something. Like super hard. It just you pick up a thing and it vanishes for an hour and it's just Fuck on your yeah. person. You just vanish it and then you walk out and it's like, hey, did you just steal that freaking valuable painting? No, dude, search me. <laughs> no, man. Frisk me. It'll be a good time. Oh, yes, I also have a wooden sword. Us. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna use the lunar. Alrighty. Explosive deployment by being bludgeoned to death. Well, Don't shoot me. When you die, you explode in the blood, right? Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's like everybody. Whenever anyone dies, they just go. It's the, the only way to go, really. Complete bloodification. That's what it's called. Give me that. Give me that blue. Give me that blue. Don't let it disappear. No. Right here. No. No. Give it to me. Give me this. Whatever's in here. Ooh, that's really good. Did you see what I just did without meaning to? No. I went into my menu and a shot just went under me. I accidentally jumped when I was going into it. Hell yeah. <laughs> and a shot just flew under my feet. All right, you guys want to go? I'm coming up there. You think I'm not going to come up there? I'm coming up there right now. Here I come. It's now me. Now he's got the big pole. Okay, boys, boys. So much gold all over my hands. That art struggle. 
Dude, I'm, it's cause I'm not using like a paper towel or anything to like wipe away like the excess paint. Like I'm gonna go over it with like- Oh, well, you're doing it with, you're putting it on your hand. Yeah, I'm just wiping it with my thumb. Oh. <laughs> my right hand is so Hayden. full of- Hayden. What? It's fine. Gotcha. Are you gonna touch your face? So? Paint, it's fine. I'll wash my hands before I touch my face. I'm not a fucking menace, dear God. <laughs> No, but you might fi I've done that. Listen, well, I am oh, also now I got done that. It's fine. It's hey. acrylic paint. It will wash off. Mm. So many weapons. I didn't... Re oh, my goodness. Yeah? I just read through Magnificent Mansion again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't know this, but uh, you can choose to have the vis like your servants have a visual appearance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like you can have them, like you can choose their appearance, their attire, everything like that. What? You can have a bunch what? of T Rex butlers. Yeah, you can. What? Oh, you can have I would a whole have been bunch of, so You can have a hundred T Rex butlers. Tiny T Rex butlers, though. Yeah. I want that. I also I want T-Rex Merriam back. Oh, round two, let's go. <laughs> T-Rex yeah. Like even if you can't make them actual T-Rexes, you can choose their attire so you can put them inside those T-Rex costumes. Oh my god! <laughs> you just have empty T-Rex like inflated costumes as your butler. <laughs> I'm about that. I want that in your life. They can do everything except for except for like something that would directly harm another creature. You can even have them like just go through like like kind of like roaring like T-Rex roaring. I want that. <laughs> uh, See, this mansion's said, gonna be the party mansion. You said T-Rex roaring. I don't know if you've seen this fucking commercial from way back. It's a Canadian Probably not. It's like, what's your thing? I gotta find it. Hold I can on. make a T-Rex <laughs> sound. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on. I, like I might have this in my playlist, because I have a playlist of, like, Canadian commercials that I wanted to show on. <laughs> Just because they're fucking weird. No. What's your thing? I like bugs. Everybody's got a thing. Yeah, hello there. Oh my god, it's just as weird. For chat, so they know what I'm talking about. There you go. There you go, chat. All right, this time I'm going to Nimpo these guys. Yeah. Ah, darn. I'll be right back. Like the Canadian house hippo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh no, I'm just going down this rabbit hole of old Canadian <laughs> commercial. <laughs> that commercial, but it's just people from Digimon. Would just be. I don't I have God D D brain rot. I feel that. Mm-hmm. We are a D D stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yup. D and D. Dunda. 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 Sure, you can say Dunda, but then you spell it Dunda on Twitter, and someone goes, "It's D," and Dundee. with the little thing, D. Get your ass kicked. D and D's nuts. It's D and D. I'm driving on. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I also get pressed to the I am back. Got your stats. Oh. We've got your souls. We've got your. Ah, have a good night, everyone. It's time for you. Yeah, heckin' Chalia, uh, Chalion? Chalion. Chalion? Charisma Lion. Have a good, good rest. Night. You charismatic I'm Aslan I'm looking I'm motherfucker. You <laughs> charismatic Aslan. I love it. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Who's there? <gasps> it's a squeaky! Hello. Well, again, Hi, tell Din to go to bed. Din! Oh, in the chat. She is, it is nine in the morning for her. And she yeah. will not go to bed. Dead. Oh my god. Sleep. Oh. Too bad. It, it's six. In the, it's six in the morning for Den. Same difference. Go to sleep, Den. <laughs> there. I did all I could. I screamed. <laughs> How you doing? I I was I was doing I was doing stuff and I was like oh it's time to rape people and I was about to throw them over at your side but then I saw that Den was still awake. You should you should get move. some Hi. sleep, Den. I don't know if you're in the chat right now. I, don't, I haven't seen you do anything in a while. He's still streaming. He's still streaming. streaming. She's she she been going for seven hours. On. Is she streaming and like does she have another stream on like she normally does like? She can't yeah, hear she's us right listening now. To us. He can okay. hear us. Okay. <laughs> and then, you gotta go to sleep, man. For your own health. Yeah. yeah. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You're good. You're yeah. good. Hello. You wild bitch. It's go true. Bed. Still be there <laughs> tomorrow. A, a healthy din he is a happy nat nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ba -ba -ba. I, yeah, I, I, I had to tell. I had we to tell on you, Den. I had die. to tell on you. <laughs> we all say as if we don't stay up until six o'clock in the morning. Sometimes. <laughs> I have been better. You know what? <laughs> but if I was streaming when I did it, I would welcome people to criticize me. <laughs> all right. This time. Speaking of going to bed, though, I think I'm gonna head out. That's fair. Yeah. I'm honestly only still going because I'm enjoying Ninja Garden. Bye, my mm. dudes. Natalie, Natalie. Adi toes. Natalie, They shut the door on me. <gasps> Those bastards. Nobody but... does that. Nah. <laughs> Ow. I gotta go up there and beat up some people, guys. You're getting in my way. Come on. No, no, no. Probably go in about 30 minutes because the bully wants to watch a movie. Aww, what movie are you gonna watch? Probably a quiet place too. Nice. It's okay. Oh. I yeah. haven't seen the first one. Yeah, I'm like, I've heard it's wildly okay, but I'm like, it, I like the first one a whole lot. It's and... one of those movies where like the trailer kind of gives you basically everything. Nah. This is my yeah. criticism of it. Um, it feels, looking at the trailer, like it's gonna be a longer movie. But when it was ending, I was like, wait, wait, really? Already? <laughs> it was just really quick. Uh, but it's good. Uh, I think it's, they, they did a lot, a lot of the stuff I was apprehensive about in the movie ended up being okay. I've heard some people be like, it's garbage. And other people are like, it was, it was all right. It's fine. I'm like, I'm here for a fun time. It's the one horror franchise my fiance will watch with me. So like, I'm so bad at Ninja Gaiden. And the thing is, I, I'm, like... I don't really call a quiet place like horror. It's definitely more mm -mm. thriller to me. Yeah. I think there are movies that are similar enough that do what those movies were trying to do better. Yeah. 
That's just I'm my like, opinion. I get that. I really, really liked A Quiet Place, and plus we saw it in a dine-in theater. <laughs> so any time, and we were both like, it did its job for us. Like, we really, really liked it. But any time, like, we'd, like, bite a chip, we'd, like, look at each other like, oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was so good. Because we always were like, okay, we're going to get our appy and then our meals. And we're like, oh, we should not have gotten the nachos today. <laughs> It was a good time, but there. it was like, no, we, lo we like that movie a lot, so we're like, yeah, this, we'll watch this one. Spirit of the I, Devils. One of the funny things that I, it's, it kind of sounds like a dig to the movie, but I don't, like, I don't think it's a dig in what I'm, how I'm saying it, mm -hmm. but I was definitely more scared of a singular nail in that movie than the monster. I've heard that from a lot of people. I'm like, honestly, it's the the suspense and like mm -hmm. anytime they like make a sound and shit like I that. I have happens, no idea like, what that means. Fucking, it's fucking freaky. It's good. All right, good night, Squeaky. Oh, you're going to bed? All I right. Didn't... Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt anybody. Oh, I see. <laughs> good, night. good night. You're fine. Interrupt me always. Yeah, I can. No, you, do should it. Pop, you should pop in sometime and hang out. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we don't talk enough. We you only you only get you only get two 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 times a month dosage. I'm sorry, that's what the, that's what the doctor prescribed. Oh, you poor doctor, please. Uh, you gotta take it up with the insurance agency. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna assume that oh, means well, that's Logan. Not gonna go Logan, I've got a bone to pick. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys have good a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Didn't go to bed. Next week. Didn't go to mm. bed. I'll fucking fight you. Yeah. I love you. Go to bed. Alright, I know. There's like, did you know there is a giant Xbox in this game? No. There's I'm a... sorry, what? <laughs> there is. I don't think I can open that yet. If you find the right alley, um, there's a giant Xbox in this game. I don't know if they removed it for subsequent releases, but basically there's a giant Xbox that if you find it and you click on it, it uh, restores all your hit points. <gasps> and out of ten. I'll see if I can find it. I know it's down one of these alleys because I know you really gotta jump around for it. There we go. It's gonna be a fight in here, isn't there? This is a fight kind of room. Yep, there's there's fighty boys. Oh no, it's more of you guys. I hate you guys. Oh, I shouldn't have come in here. What's this? Shit. Oh, I'm doing so badly. So bad. Health! Give me that. Ah, oh, I got you. I wasted that. Give me that. Thank you. <laughs> what? Uh, I just saw a clip of one of my favorite Canadian streamers dramatically reading out a comment that they got in their chat of someone basically text RPing out the the wolf scene from cartoons with like fucking Jessica Rabbit the jaw drops to the floor fucking eyes oh explode God. out of their head pulls train whistle all that they go through the whole rigmarole she reads all of it and then it's like all right straightens tie fixes hair ahem you look very lovely today she's like all right now that I've read that you can ban them what the fuck who's that <laughs> <laughs> Ashley is oh, oh I, Ashley Roboto. Uh huh. I love her with my entire heart, and I'm so glad you introduced me to her. She's wonderful. Ashley and Paladin, like both of them, are just they just don't deal with people's bullshit, and it's no. really funny to watch on the stream. She's like it so sucks they have funny. to deal with that, but the fact that they turn it into content is just good. <laughs> They're so Anything good. down this alleyway? This looks like a double jumpy boy kind of alley. Ha ha! You're a double jumpy boy kind of alley. Oh, I, I don't know if she still does. I don't watch Paladin Ember that much, but I know that uh, she used to have like a camera in a trash can <laughs> that she would like switch to there and then like climb under her desk to talk to the garbage viewers. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the chat is wondering if they can get a link to what you are talking about. Sure. I really hope I survive. Where are you? 
I'd like that too. The corpse of a ninja killed before his He's holding something. I need to I need to quickly check the locations of those scarabs again. Pleasure Street. Iron Mo okay. As you enter the street, there's a fountain against the Oh, that's what that is? Oh, I may have I may have missed it. Darn. How did that not work? Woman that I saw tonight in vigor. She was extremely beautiful. I must persevere to keep my wits about me. Perseverance, patience. Blah, 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 blah. I know who they're talking about. I'm not going to bother reading. Oh, <gasps> there's one of them. I found one of the heckin'. This is the second one. Okay, so I did miss the first one. Good to know. Yeah. Oh, they added further context. They had the gall to type all of that out and proceed to send it in their chat not once, but three times. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh shit, they saw me. She's wonderful. <laughs> How chill the music is. Hey, how you doing, Muramasa? I could increase the lunar's power. I will increase. That's the incredible. Power. It's so good, right? The the power and energy. Oh, the lunar became a cool spear thing. Nice. I oh, love cool yeah. spear things. You sure do. I'm a big cool spear thing fan. Yep. You're a cool spear thing fa fan. Oh, Thanks. That, that is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. Okay, I gotta get to a save point. I've done a whole lot since my last one. I also gotta oh, find that fucking the... fountain again. So I gotta backtrack. One more die. One more dice. Got the D22. One more dice. I enjoy that you make dice stuff. Thanks. I enjoy doing it. I'm sorry I talk about it so much. Why are no, you sorry? No, it's so cool. What do you mean, you stinky? How strange stinky. that I said you enjoy doing a thing and then you apologized for that thing. What a strange reaction. <laughs> how it's very, automatic. how very odd that brief <laughs> communication I was. I, I don't know. It's automatic, dude. <laughs> Why it's Grace Lightning. Da -na 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 -na. That video of <laughs> was it you who showed me? I can't remember who showed me, but it's Grease Lightning, but with no music. I think that's did Logan, did you show that to us or was that Aaron? Uh, it wasn't me. I know I was there when we talked about it. <laughs> I know, but it's so awkward. Oh, there's so Very gold funny. in the hands! <laughs> <laughs> there was allegedly a fountain nearby. What? Uh-oh. In, in, in an update on the egg walker situation, which for a quick rundown for anyone who doesn't know, yeah. uh, Robert Ninja <laughs> yeah. is eating over 138,000 eggs in Final Fantasy just because. Uh, as a follow-up they... to his previous feat of eating 999 eggs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the... <laughs> The, one of his mods wrote a script so every time someone in chat types the word egg, he eats an egg. He's like, thanks, chat, you're helping me out. Yeah, while he was sleeping, it kept it going for him. Yeah. It was great. It's so funny. It's so funny. This one feels a bit more constructed than the last one, I feel, because it's a bit more just, I guess, how to put it. It's not quite as off the cuff, but it is also, it's going, he went from, what, what did you say it was? It went from 999 to like, over a hundred and thirty like thousand. Yeah, hundred and thirty thousand. They have just eggs. broken ten thousand. They have oh so God. long to go. He and he adds nine hundred. He adds nine hundred ninety nine for every thousand subs that he gets during it. Yeah. Jesus. Basically, what is this it, like again? with the, with milestones. Basically, it's an extra egg 
for every sub, effectively. Uh, this is, it, this isn't like a real person eating real eggs, uh, bread. This is, uh, Ross, Rubber Ninja, from the Game Grumps, uh, formerly, and, and currently, I guess. Uh, he's eating stacks of eggs in Final Fantasy XIV, but like, a lot. Sort of. Egg. He is also eating a lot of real eggs because he is committed to every meal he eats must have eggs somewhere oh, in it until I, he's done. I hate that. Ah, Ross. Uh, I mean, it's. <laughs> let's revisit the, um, you know, thousand subs per thousand eggs in game thing. He's. This is bad. This is working out. <laughs> Yep, he, he has a stream on 24-7, he's even filming himself sleeping, he's got mods in chat, who are there to keep chat behave while chat helps continue eat the eggs, and then he wakes up and he gets back to eating like, eggs. Well, like, what does it do? <laughs> it's I'm a, very... He can say he did it, that is it's, the only It's purely, reason. the first time was just a huge meme that got picked up by a bunch of, like, game journalism things that were like, Internet fucking personality eats a ton of eggs, and he's basically just capitalizing on that. Uh, having where happened. is he getting them? He he asked for them. Yes, and and his fans and provided. I think, I, I think some people from Final Fantasy themselves were like, "Here, have some eggs," uh, and he acquired all of the eggs he needed to fill it's, an entire player's inventory. Nice, wholesome content. <laughs> wholesome egg devouring content. I wonder... Who needs raiding? Only <laughs> eggs can sustain me. And dungeons. That's the thing, he's just eggs. Exactly. Only eggs. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, they're not there for the eggs. They're there for the, Ross uh, having eggs. The end of the day, he's gonna be the only Final Fantasy XIV player to say they've eaten over 138,000 eggs. <laughs> Truly, an exceptional player. <laughs> <laughs> Get that custom title or something. The Egg Walker. The Egg Walker. That's gotta be what it is, man. That's what he's calling the stream is Egg Walker. So yeah, That's amazing. Of... If it's not that, I'll be very sad. Not only are they eating the entire inventory worth of eggs, depending on the amount of subs he gets, also increases the amount of eggs to eat. Yes, that I had mentioned. Yeah. That for every for every thousand subs, he adds a stack of eggs, mm -hmm. which effectively ends up being an egg for a sub minus one. And Party it's, on, my guy! And his I love that his chat's helping him do it. I think that's like the funnest part of this is the fact that when mm -hmm. he's sleeping, he leaves it on, and the chat's just going like egg, egg, egg. I think I, I think I noticed they helped him get through like a few thousand while he was sleeping. Mm -hmm. People are there for the egg content, man. Egg. They're good eggs. It's Do nice. It's, I'm so them? about it because it's not such wholesome content. <laughs> wholesome and chaotic combined. That's nice. Yeah. It works. <laughs> Sometimes a ninja guy yeah. it feels like there's no way to avoid getting hit. I'm sure there's people who are like fucking pro strats at this game or just ridiculous at it because there always is but i just i just don't know the tricks like sometimes it just feels like you gotta take the hits In the back alley at a pawn's bar okay i guess that is really our streams too like our dude that's us stasis Mario. we're like what's up baby i love you i got you my god aki you have been subbed for 43 months God. Think about Woo! how, like, consider how long that is. Well, 24 is two years. <laughs> that is quite a bit of I time. I appreciate that that's where you started. I'm not, I'm, that, that's like... not me making fun of you. I appreciate that you didn't go like, well, if 12 is one year, you're like, well, if 42, <laughs> if 24 is two years. Well, count in two years. <laughs> and then we'll minus a bit. That's so hard! That's the so you're doing the same thing as I okay. I just described what you did. Oh. No, oh, we'll I count in twos like... and then we'll minus a bit. We'll count in two years and then minus a little well, bit. It was, it was more that I knew one year was uh, 12 months mm -hmm. and then 12, 12, 24. I know. I know what you're doing. I just thought it was funny that you started by saying that. <laughs> It's- this is all pure stream of consciousness, unfortunately. As- 
as what's been pointed out to me ah. many a time over. I oh my god, stop with your fucking game. explosive shuriken! Stop it! They're useful and I hate them! There, cut off your head years. with a pole. How do you oh like that? Oh my god. I was looking back, I went on Twitter and went to our messages, Logan. Yeah? 2017! Yes. It is 2021! Yeah? Yes. I found where the ah. Xbox is. Hell yeah. My brain hurts. I am going to try to get the Xbox to it. It is hard. It involves precision fucking jumping. Um, but I'm going to try to get to the Xbox. And I'm going to hope it's still up there. I hope they haven't replaced it with something else. It's a Wii. That'd be strange if it was a Wii. For a I moment. don't know why that would... Listen. <laughs> I got up there. Ah, they replaced it. I see. First of all, Windmill Shuriken, one of my favorite projectile weapons. Hell yeah. They seem to have replaced it with a Team Ninja tablet. But there used to be a giant Xbox here. Well. Upsetting. Team Ninja. I'm kind of sad they don't have the Xbox here. Yeah, it's a little, little, little anticlimactic. Yeah. Alrighty. I feel like an Xbox is just, a, like, enough out of the... Like, what is this doing here? Yeah, I love that shit. Mm. And then, let's see. Moat Road. Bombs Bar. Moat Road. Yeah, when you find the Pegasus key, run along the wall to reach the line anywhere with scarab breasts. Okay, so... <laughs> opposite where you find the Pegasus key. That's what I need to Excuse think about. You. Okay. <gasps> Save point. Oh, oh, cutscene. Oh, are we about to meet the lady? Are we about to meet her? She? <gasps> Man on motorcycle! What a dumb line. Oh? Ow, ow, ow. This game really likes throwing mounted people at you just because they're hard to lock onto. Alright, you guys want to play like this? Then... I... will do this. I'll go in my equipment. Projectile. Windmill shoot again! Ow. Ow, alright. Guys, can... Gotcha. I'll take that. Ow. I'll take that. You. Lily key. You last all. <laughs> are we gonna meet her? I think we are. The lady of this game, who really isn't about clothes, because that's kind of how Team Ninja do. Oh wow. Demon sore, no. <laughs> Demon sword. I've seen her before. Probably. I'm not familiar at all, but I'm like, this bitch looks familiar as hell. She's cool. No, she looks cool as hell. Yep. She quickly does nothing. That sounds about right. The be One of the funnest things in the game is when eventually she's kind of taken out of commission I'm and Rachel. she's Hunter Rachel. And Slayer of Hunter and Slayer of Fiends, she says. So that uh, was a fiend. God, that's a bad voice for Ryu. We don't see them much nowadays. It's hard to believe they were ever human, isn't it? He just sounds like a guy. 
anyone you know? susceptibility to the curse. Yeah. Like in later dubs, can succumb to it uh, unless I'm remembering correctly, it's Mercer, so that make you which is so much better. Complex. And you? Like I think at least in Ninja Gaiden Three, uh, if I recall correctly, you know? I know it's Mercer there. Why if it's not, it's someone who sounds a lot like him. I'm going to kill him. You have no idea what you're up against, do you? You are barely moving, and they're just like. I've done it myself long ago. Oh my god. <laughs> I like. I understand who this game's aimed at, but like, she's talking about her sister being taken uh, and turned into three? a demon. It's and, uh, Monsieur Baker. It's Baker. Uh, you know what? I will excuse myself right for making track. that mistake. <laughs> I mean, you were on the right track. You're like, oh, it sounds no, you like got one they're, they're good in... voice actor wrong for another really good voice actor. No, they're, they're, they're in the trifecta of could be any three of them between fucking Mercer, Nolan, and Troy. Yep. Don't mind me, I'm just passing by. By the way, like the casting in this, I don't know if the actors are Asian, but everybody sounds kind of like they want to speak with like the lightest Asian accent. As opposed to dubbing it, and it, it it makes me feel weird. It's like just a little uncomfortable. Like they're ah! like, like they're not fully committing to it, but it sounds like everyone is kind of like, should we be pretending we're Japanese people speaking English, or should we just speak English? Yeah. Oh man, I played Hitman. I think it's Blood Money. Yeah. A while back on stream, uh, because I was like I was getting back and getting ready to play the new Hitman games when they were coming out. Mm -hmm. Uh, that game has some. Problem. <laughs> yeah, they have some like. Really? The first mission, you you go to like a downtown part of an American city, and they're like, "Hey, black people, am I right?" And it is just the war like it is, it is not even kind of racist. It is like wow, racist in a couple. Of oh places. goodness. Oh, now I play as Rachel for a bit. Yep. I remember this. We had a lot of trouble on this because like. She doesn't scale with, like, the stuff you found, so she's kind of... The way she runs amuses me. There's just something about the, how domineering she looks mixed with this, like, <laughs> kind of run she has. Ow, yeah. ow, 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 ow! Jesus. Eventually, you get her axe thing, her, like, war pick, and I'm super about it. That's super cool. Yeah, like, when you look at it from behind, like, your instinct, let's all be real, is to look at the butt. But, like, oh, yeah. the way mm -hmm. she bobs back and forth when she runs is just... Oh, yeah. It's so awkward. She's, she's kinda... like, running like a linebacker. If she didn't... <sighs> if she, like, had, like, proper, like, a proper look to her, like, proper armor and whatnot, and didn't look like she was just supposed to be fan service, I don't think I'd notice. But it feels like she should be running... In a more fan servicey way, if you know what I mean. Not that I want her to. Oh yeah, like but it Bayonetta. Feel, no. It feels yeah. like she should be kind of stylized. The fact that you stopped running and her boobs were still moving a minute later. Mm. Oh my god. That's how I'm boobs work. Exaggerating. Red. Come on. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Oh gee, I never noticed. Hold on. Can't Hold on. Didn't. And one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it takes five seconds for her boobs to stop moving. That's like basically a minute in game time. <laughs> Let's see. Opposite where you find the Pegasus key. All right, so I gotta wait to find Scarabs till I. Like, it just feels right. like they want to be like, here, you get to play the sexy femme fatale who fucking runs like Hugh Jackman. Whoa. Listen, I like the way Jackman runs. <laughs> I do too. He's no femme fatale. Have what are you, you talking seen, about? Uh, he's the ultimate. Have you seen any of the Kill James Bond podcast? No. No. I, I've only seen a clip because Philosophy Tube retweeted it because they were on it. Uh, and they're talking about uh, For Your Eyes Only, uh, an older Roger Moore James Bond movie. Specifically, the climax of the film is the guy racing away in a car, and they keep cutting from him to Roger Moore, just like casually running at like a mid pace upstairs. Oh my god! <laughs> and like, uh, I'll, I'll get the link because it is uh, what I said sounds like it's kind of funny. Watching it with the context is 
fucking hilarious. It, it hurts how long. Just him like <sighs> up these stairs for like 10 second shots and then back to the car music up. He's turning around corners then running off. It's so Maybe I'm just getting fan service senile in my old age. But I really would have preferred if Rachel, like, weren't this. Yeah. Because she's cool. Her weapon's really cool. I think she could have been a really strong character. Alpha needs some work. <laughs> but she's like, if anyone is ever like, I don't like Team Ninja games. And you're like, what do you mean? You can kind of just take a snapshot of her and be like, basically this. Mm. Like this is this is effectively the full gambit of problems with Team Ninja games. Yeah, I mean when you look at like other characters, I am in uh, Kasumi whenever they show up. Although more often than not, it's in DOA than it is in proper Gaiden games. Yeah. But on Sigma, you get to play as INA. They get like a lot better treatment when it comes to that. Like they're still there. I mean, there was the thing in I think it's in Sigma Two where you can use the the fucking control sticks to jiggle their boobs manually, which is could you? What? Yeah, I know Phil they showed me that. I know they know what they're there to do, and I'm fine with that. But I'm still like, but like everything else in the game is really like rad. She's like a weird outlier, you know. Like, there's not a lot like her in the game. Everyone else seems like they're dressed up in armor. Bad guys seem like hyper mecha. She just seems like she's from a weird, different slice of fantasy. Yeah, I get what you mean. I gotta go in there. Oh, I see. Oh, I gotta fight. Oh, first time these boys show up. Oh, I forgot how much I love this game, though. Like, it's really punishing, but it's fun. Oh, I thought that was like a weapon shing, but it's these things screaming. Oh no! What? What? <laughs> this oh, the poor video. dog! What? On what? Earth? Something happened to a dog. What they've done to this poor dog! <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Groomers can be assholes. <laughs> Imagine walking around looking like that. <laughs> oh, she's. I believe, no. I believe her being playable is something that came up in like one of the later games, like later versions of this. I think it was added in like Sigma or in Ninja Gaiden Black. Because I know in the original, original version of this game, you didn't play her. She basically showed up the once, then showed up again when you fight a big slime thing that basically eats her and you gotta save her because, you know, woman in Team Ninja game, she only gets to have one badass scene, then every other encounter is you saving her. Um, and then the third time she shows up, she's like, fights against her sister as a demon, loses, and gets taken. You like take her war pick, and then later on in the game, they're like, gotta do a ritual on her, and turn her into a, one of them, and you gotta save her again. Oh, oh, you're done, Din? You're finally done? You going to bed now? Yep, Din went to bed. All right, Din. Din, whenever you wake up, send me a message. I got a, a request I have of you, but I don't want to tell it to you now because then you'll start doing it. Smart. That's a good call. <laughs> but it's a it's a paid request though, so no worries on that regard. All thumbnails are ready. <laughs> All right, you rest up. Thank you so much for your work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a cutie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that we've realized that buying elixirs and stuff here is cheaper because she's like the shop is cheaper for her so it's actually like more useful to buy them as her and then go Stock back to Ryu. before you switch back yeah, yeah. I could, don't 
don't know if I can. I'll be right back. You be right back. Okay. Do it. Agedly running up some stairs. Hmm. That was just the video I was talking about. That's how they describe it. It's him agedly running upstairs, chasing <laughs> the villain. <laughs> nice, nice. Got another one. Altar Hall. I know this place, because later in the game you fight her sister here, and it's one of the most annoying fights in the game. Yep. Yeah, this was the one you told me in the last class. Like, if you beat this, you can beat the game. Yep. There's two fights that really determine that. The one that's here, and the one where you have your uh, rematch against Doku. Fucking, those are the two, in my opinion, hardest things. The Doku one is one... Oh, is it the one up in the burning fucking room? Uh, the Doku one... Well, that's the first time you fight him. It's the rematch against him. Um, where you fight him in basically, like, spirit realm hell, like, near the end of the game. And he's, uh... It's terrible, because... Ow. Um, he's just really hard. He's one of those, like, gives no-tells for his attacks sort of bosses. And, uh... Uh, that one was so bad that when I first played it, I, um, I tried it for a bunch, like I rented the game, I tried to beat it a bunch, couldn't, sent the game back, and then like four months later was like, should I rent it again? Because I, I couldn't beat that. Rented it, picked it up, and then beat him on the first try. It was one of those stupid things where you put a game down for a long time, away. come back to it, and you're like, huh. That was me with Sans and fucking Undertale. Yeah. That Some... made me mad, and I was like, I'm taking a break, and I did so... something else for like three days. Sometimes it's luck. Sometimes it's just you're fatigued and don't realize it. Oh, these guys... Get me out of the corner! She deals with them a lot better than Ryu, though, because her attacks are all huge AoE things. Those right there. Where are they? Ah, uh, yes. Those. No, that, this is what her sister became. And I believe this is what they try to turn you into, but I don't remember. But these are... Yeah. My mom's cat injured her back leg. Oh no. She sprained her leg. Oh. Son, good juju chat. She's, my mom sent me a picture. She's like, yeah, she's just laying down, not really moving much, but she's okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That's my baby girl. That's my Elabu. The bloodline they began invited the awakening of an entire new race of fiends. Those who have awakened to become fiends may only find freedom in death. Only in death. She's like, all of her stuff is so sympathetic and like tries to be quiet, but then if she like so much as breathes the wrong way, she's just like, wow, 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 wow. And it's just so, it's just so like, I can't take you seriously. Like, I want to. Yeah. I desperately want to. Fan service has its place, but for example, like in Gurren Lagann, like Yoko, legendary hunter, nice. Um, in Gurren Lagann, Yoko is never like distracting because the energy of the show matches what she's wearing. Mm -hmm. And even when she is being sympathetic, like by the time she does a lot of that, you're like used to everything being that way. This one's like sadness that my sister got taken away immediately while wearing weird like BDSM gear. Just you have no time to be like, yeah, this is normal. Yeah. I'm complaining about it a lot. Nobody else. Sure. Well, the thing is, nobody else in the world looks like that, so it's really off-putting. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Ryu, you could kind of say does, but like you can joke about him wearing a lot of leather, but it still just looks like a cool ninja outfit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I it's mean, not... it's not like. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. No, it's not like BDSM. He's not wearing. Yeah. Like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, the moment we saw this outfit, them. I was like, that's a lot of fucking straps. But it's definitely not the same. Ah, 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 ah. 
There's people down there. I mean, fluffy stuff did said what I was going to. He does have a giant fluff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're, being, you're brave enough to say what I couldn't. <laughs> you know. Also, hers looks like it's trying a bit hard. Mm, yeah. Like, like Ryu is kind of neat. Like, she just kind of looks like, ah, this is like someone's fetish is what's going on here. Have you considered die? Have you thought about it as an option? What was that? Is there an item nearby? of the devil way. Well, that's, that's nice. I need to check the guide. Yeah, exactly. She kind of looks like a parody of what I think they wanted her to be. Mm. Like, she looks like something that should show up in a robot chicken sketch about, you know, women's armor in video games. Yeah. Uh, Moat Road, opposite of where you find the Pegasus key. So that's the next thing I gotta look out for. Okay. Oh, you boys are back. Oh, the potions don't transfer over. That's why we realized it wasn't a good idea to back in. Are you guys planning on hitting me? All right. There you go. They're just, they're just motorcycle scratching around me. They're not actually hitting me. Give me that. Drifting is the word I was looking for. Oh, you saw that I'm a master of the fucking pole and you decided to stay away from me? Ow. There we go. Oh. Ah, I love the lunar. Okay. Safe. As soon as I get the Pegasus key, that's when I start worrying about these things again. Holster your weapons, man. We have motorbikes. I mean, realistically, they should be staying away from me and shooting at me. I have brought a legendary weapon to Tyron, a weapon known only by a select few of hidden in a dark alley in a location where only a ninja will be able to reach. I already got that! I, it's the, the windmill shoot again. I've already got it. Thank you, though. Ayame. Is it Ayane or Ayame? Ayane. Nay. Pretty sure. Nay, nay. Ayane, nay. Been a while. Yeah, Ayane. Because I know there's an IMA, but that's a different thing. Oh, yeah, no, it's because I went to war with Phil, because Phil refused to understand the difference between the letter N and the letter M. Hmm. He would call her IMA. I'm like, no, it's INA. He's like, that's what I said. I'm like, it's not. You said, I, <laughs> you explicitly, you, you know, when you went, hmm, <laughs> you meant, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Top of your mouth, not front of your mouth. Mm. I'm happy I got mm. that muscle member because that's my girl. That's my main and dead or alive. I love her. She's great. She she kicks ass. I'm way more into Ninja Gaiden than Dead or Alive, though. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. There's a lot of silliness. I mean, like, there's a lot of clone stuff in Dead or Alive that helps, like, makes it hard like, to get into. Kasumi. Yeah. Yeah. You really don't get Kasumi basically anywhere else, do you? Not really. I, I, I think she maybe appears it's in from some their of village, but like outside of the Dead or Alive tournament stuff, they don't really do much with her. 
Let's see. Armlet of the Sun. Mm. That increases my attack. I will take it. Can I upgrade the Lunar yet? No. Okay. Uh, can you give me two of these boys? Thank you. Finally. Accessories. Boost power blue essence. Oh, why haven't I had that equipped? Potency. I don't know. Increase the damage done by kick and throw techniques. We're gonna go sun. Let's do this. Where is Moat Road? Go to Zarkon, Great Bridge. Moat Road! I see. Gotta go up and around there. Works for me. Do 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 Anyone over here want to try to fight me? Anyone gonna try to do me a bap? Ah, no yes. Mother the mother knows what a tar Someone on D and D Twitter was like, "No, you don't. Don't turn yourself into a T Rex. Turn them into a tardigrade." I'm like, "Bruh, no. I want to be a T Rex." I don't care how scientific your character is. You do not know what a merely microscopic creature is. <laughs> No, dude, it's fine. If that doesn't work, they can shoot them with their AK-47. You see, they have an artificer within the group, and he printed off the plans and brought them to the table, so he knows how to make he it. He knows how to make it. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. It's one of those He's things of, like... That's <laughs> one of those things that is just in the vein of, like, looking at the player and being like, I think we imagined playing different games. I think we yeah. want different things today. What's this? Spiritual life. All right. I think I have to go around to get up on that. Hey, spider boys. Damn it! You threw off my groove! We are sorry, you have thrown off our <laughs> Ryu's groove. <laughs> Throws out a window. Go, Manasa! <laughs> Alright, back in. Sorry, I'm a time traveling Warforged. I can see the microscopic. This is absolutely a pure fantasy setting. <laughs> That's Pegasus. I can't get in there just yet. Is this the case where I should be? Nope, hold on. Nope, alright. Hold on, hold on. Should I be- Yeah! No. Where- what? Where's the motorcycle boy? Ow. Alright, fair enough. But what if- what if I went- Equipment, Ninpo, Art of the Inferno, and then did this. There, yeah, goodbye. Didn't expect me to have a what fireball, fireball, did you? No one expects the sudden fireball. It's true. You know what they also don't expect? What? The delayed glass fireball. It's true! Ow! There we go. Give me that. Right for the neck. I can't get it up. Oh, hey, no, no, no. Hello, boys. 
Okay, okay, all right, all right. Guys, we're gonna have to stop it with this corner stuff. It's not fun. I am not enjoying it. I don't like the party. We didn't discuss corners in session zero. This party is getting crazy. Opposite side from where you get that. So oh, over. Those oh. are games I can now play without guilt. You're right. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, because my whole thing was I'm like, I feel guilty playing any games that aren't Psychonauts until I finish Psychonauts, but now that I've beat Psychonauts... You can play whatever you want. I can play other games without being like, I should probably play that What do you think? That game. Mass Effect? What oh, What do you want to play? Um, I'm pro... Because I bought uh, all the Devil May Cry games. Ooh, yeah, you so should. So I might... I, I will probably go through all of those because I'm like, you know what? Mm, Hades. <clears throat> Sorry. I also own Hades, so I, I, I haven't, I haven't yeah, jumped into it in a minute. Which so is really good, probably. but if I had to suggest a pick from the ones you're interested in, I would probably say you should go through DMC. I really want to go through DMC. Hayden may cry. I, it, it is what I do quite frequently, yes. <laughs> Remember the heckin' yeah. order recommendation? Heckin' yeah. three, one, skip two, four, five. Three ones, skip two, four, five. You got it. It's like the machete order that you watch, like the Star Wars movies. It's though. chronologic. Mm -hmm. If it was machete order for Star Wars, that could, if it was chronologic, you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. I'm trying to remember what like the machete, the official. I, be I believe it machete, was. Like I believe two? it was one. I think it was four, five. One, two, six. And then I think people are kind of on the fence about whether you even need to do three. I don't remember. I think... I think three might have come after five. I think it was uh, four, five, two, three, six. Oh, yeah, no, it was. you're right. It was one that people are like, you don't need. Yeah, people are like, you don't need Which, to. Which, yeah, agreed, was... agreed. Yeah, you don't. Although yeah. I will... If someone says to me, Hayden, I want to sit down and watch Phantom Menace, I will happily do it. Because <laughs> I'm trash, and I'll be like, yeah, you know what? This is pod racing. I know what I'm here for. As long as you know what you're in for. It's not even like, I love this movie. I'm like, no. I know why I'm watching this film. Natalie Portman and Kira Knightley are in the same place. I know why I'm here. <laughs> Let's see. Pegasus. Drawbridge Hill, and then in the archive. All right, Drawbridge Hill, that's the next one. So that means we gotta go up. I should probably Aaron. save over here. Okay. I'm painting these fucking numbers gold, and I think I asked you the other day, I'm like, you want me to redo those Miriam dice gold? I might steal the dice from you and be like, no, 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 they're gonna be shiny gold, because it's too pretty. <laughs> It's too pretty. You got him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Does this make this go up? Yes. It's not what we want. I don't think that's what we want. It'll be a while till I steal them from you, though, because I'm going to uh, sand and polish the, the redos that I need. New D6. So I Ooh. Arrows. Drawbridge Hill, looking for a save point. Alright, my beautiful boys. I am gonna go watch Quiet Place 2 with my boy. Gotcha. Oh. You have fun. I will. I and there he is. is. <laughs> DM me if you wanna watch Black later. I'll probably just do it on Yee. Discord because I don't wanna leave my room. That's fair. I I was like, I don't know if Aaron will still wanna watch Black. He's not feeling too good. Yeah, uh, chair is my comfy quarter. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah. If you're still up, I don't know how late we'll hang out because I think Alejandro has an early session. So I'll, I'll right. I woke up at three. Seems so to be I'll the way with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It it sure is. 
Yeah, I'll boop you, my boy. Feel better. Bye-bye. Good night, my boys. Bye. Head right of the save point and look at the building you pass. Between two buildings is a scarab. I feel like I'm cheating for this, but I'm also like, I don't want to spend too much time on this game. Mm. Head right of the scarab. Who cares? It's your playthrough of the game. What does it matter if you look up where things are that yeah. you can't find? Yeah, I just don't want to miss any scarabs because I really want the lightsaber. Mm -hmm. I don't want it too. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'll even get to that point in this game, but I don't know. Maybe I can use this game as a way to chill out. Uh, now I need to get to the archive. That's where the next one is. Hey, can y'all wonder what I've been snacking on this whole time? What have you been snacking what? on? What? Candied pecans. Oh. <gasps> I love candied pecans. Not They're real good. Yeah, they're really good in salad. Like if you make a salad with a little pear and candied pecans. Ooh, delicious. It's not real sad. It's not really a salad at that point, but you know. I, I mean, it's mostly a salad. Yeah. It's just, are you gonna drench it in uh, some kind of salad dressing or? <laughs> I mean, I mean a little, just for the level. I mean, it's also like. When you're eating candy pee pans, like... I died. Well? Don't do that. My... I'm sorry. Good. Rip. Bangs a leak. We'll take it to dying jail. There's an article on Twitter. This is what wildfire smoke is doing to your body. Bracket. We asked the doctor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very fucking. Try a honey nut Cheerio. Now with 50% less glass. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> we also asked the doctor. I'm going to. Oh my god, I didn't even get away from the save point. Jesus. Bacon and eggs in a salad is a. Like a little different than putting candied pecans or pecans, cause is it not like, pecans? Pecan. I thought it was. Pecan. It's both. Then why'd you correct yourself? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> cause I was, I, uh, cause like I wanted to be consistent. Damn it! I said pecans earlier, and then I said pecans, and I didn't want to be like pe pecans. <laughs> See, someone, Fluffy just said no, no, the first way you said pecan, or pecan. Yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna have to check if that second way, if pecans isn't a, oh my god, the acceptable way of saying it. Both of them are correct. I I've don't. heard people say them both ways. I've heard people say a lot of things a lot of ways. Pecan. But like, and be correct. Pecan or pecan. Hold on. Hold on. What I'm saying is if you're having a candied pecan, then you are having a lot of sugar, and a pecan is actually a rather fatty, um... Oh, it's one of the fattier of the nut family, if you will. Uh, fatty and bitter. Pecan. Yes. Pecan. Pecan. Anywho, and so when you're eating that, and with the intention of what a salad usually is, I, I find it hard. It's like putting cheese on a salad, you know? It's like, well, are we having a salad or not? That's also diet culture for you. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Black Ace 32, for the heckin' 26 months. Ooh, hell yeah. I'm getting to the bottom of this. It's pecan, pecan fiasco. <laughs> I knew <laughs> that when you listened to it and there was a silence, I was like, I don't think he's buying it. <laughs> Americans say it. Pecan. 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 Apparently, <laughs> people only say it the way that 
you are saying they say it in very limited areas. What, pecan? There's some of that pecan Mostly pie. in the south. Which one, pecan or pecan? Pecan is what most people say. Pecan is apparently an American corruption of it that is only used in small, some places. I mean, I pecan tell you I am American. It, oh. Sure. <laughs> you are. Sure I'm are. listening to this scream because I was waiting on a boy. I need to weigh in. Yep. Please, <laughs> please do. Yes! I have always used it interchangeably depending what I'm talking about. But primarily, I've always said pecan. It is. There you the go! The ex what does that prove exactly, Brayden? <laughs> that we're not getting a divorce. That that Hayden <laughs> says it both ways. What does that prove? <laughs> Let me have something! What I'm saying is I'm like, I don't think there's like a definitive. What I'm it, saying it, is yeah. I don't think there's a definitive way to say it. I think you can say pecan or pecan. I think yes. pecan sounds pretentious as fuck. It is also correct. <laughs> Yes. It is also correct. correct. Doesn't change that I think it's out for ten. Yeah, no, I'm not arguing oh, for no. or against that point. I missed so many. I wasn't done painting. I missed so many numbers on this D10. I'm a fool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not even trying Holy to say that. I'm not even trying to say I say it a certain way. I'm just, dude, yeah, it's, no. it's pecan, and all other versions are corruptions. You can use an interchange. Well, there we go. You, That's no, me you can. Oh, that is not at any <laughs> point pecan. what I've been talking about. Yeah. We okay. certainly pecan. I don't know. I heard it was. But if we like, were to sound nice. posh, if you are, if you are defending <laughs> your right to say it any of the ways you've been saying it, we are having different conversations. I'm twill always. Yeah. I don't care how people say it. I mostly was just sitting there, like, why did Bread correct herself to a wrong <laughs> version? I just, you know, I, I it's guess so, I do. it's so, oh, it's so difficult having a dual citizenship. I'm not right, sure that, I'm not sure that hands. relates to which <laughs> version you use. Goodbye <laughs> again. Goodbye. Right, Goodbye. I'm out. just being obnoxious. What's the deal with these anti-sex beds? What? Oh my God, for the Olympics? Well, uh, They're not the technically anti-sex beds. They're actually being used for like, um, I guess the environment or something, but basically- no, they're environmentally friendly as well, but the idea was to stop people from spreading COVID. Did my controller just die? Why did my controller you just see, die? These batteries are garbage. Pretty athletic people all in the same space together, unable to do anything else. Well, yeah, but so like, like Twitter <laughs> as astutely observed, far be it from the most athletic people in the world to find interesting ways to have sex that doesn't involve beds. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. about to say. <laughs> If these people can throw rocks like 400 feet. <laughs> They're gonna not just pick someone up. If there's a will, there's a way. And everyone else is like, what about the like, power lifters? Like, these bodybuilders who are like 90 million pounds. The beds are like effectively a cardboard frame. <laughs> these guys are gonna yeah. lie down and just collapse the bed. Well, it's actually really interesting because I follow someone on TikTok who's at the Olympics this year and they were showing their bed and they were like, here are all the activities I can do on this bed. And it was like, they were doing yoga on it. They were jumping on it. Like, it's not like it's delicate, dainty little cardboard that'll fall apart if you toss and turn. So I don't know what they're stopping. Is that the idea that like, it's so like fragile that- Yeah, if it, you like make rapid movements then it'll the collapse on itself right. and it can only handle the weight of a single person oh no which i mean i guess <laughs> someone else anti-sex bed implies the existence of pro-sex beds <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me i'll fuck it <laughs> gee <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah, they are made of cardboard and will be recycled after the Olympics. They only support the weight of one a person and they break after any sudden movement. I don't know. I saw someone freaking wrestle level elbow dropping on one of those beds and it looked fine. 
for scientific purposes, a video of Mexican athletes testing the anti-sex bed. Oh? There's a video of three of them, like, getting into a big group hug and then jumping onto it. Does yeah, it, hold it seems up? to support the weight of more than one person. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, I'm called bullshit. That just would not... I don't know, that's stupid. Like, there, there are also other ways to keep people from doing the sideways tango. I'm not saying, hey, Olympics, let's resort to the chastity belt, but also, like... <laughs> but I'm also not saying there. There. Well, I mean, they could... <laughs> I'm like, just honestly, thinking of what they used to do on, like, field trips. The reason they care about is COVID. What did they, they yeah. Yeah. What, what did they do on field trips? Um, okay, so when we would go to, like, lights out or going to bed, they would tape, they would put tape on the hotel bed, like, ho no, hotel door. And so, obviously, if your tape was still intact, you hadn't left the room. So you're just trapped in the rooms? Oh no, they just put like it's a thin a strip to check. That wouldn't actually yeah. do anything to stop you from leaving, but they would know if you'd left. No, I mean, yeah. I, no, well, but the intention is that you are trapped in your room. Oh, yeah. Well, that you're not supposed to leave, pretty much. Oh. I assume these are like hotel was... rooms, like you have like a bathroom and stuff in there with you? Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... No, it wasn't like. Hold it till morning, bitches! No, it was like. You know, pretty standard hotel room. But it was ow, also, ow. like, a extremely liberal school, and so it was, like, very funny that you think putting multiple people of the same sex in a room is going to stop people from doing the nasty. But, you know, pop off. Interesting experience. I actually had someone leave my room. And back then... Of course, I naturally had a stroke. I might, uh, I need that. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the anti sex bed with the picture of a race car bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, man, I guess. <laughs> Are you saying that I wouldn't, like, just be drowning in the puss puss if I got a race car bed? God, chow. Oh. Awful. Right, this is where these show up. I thought that's what all the cool kids do. Isn't the race car the ultimate sex bed? Exactly. Blah. Hello. How else would I know that I'm cool and also like to go fast? Hey, big dinosaur boy. Oh yeah, this thing's a pain. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in a position to take these guys on, actually. In a roly poly <laughs> Yeah, they get dangerous very suddenly. Oh, there, there they go, being dangerous. One more of those, and I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, they got me. That's Gee, you demon right spawns. by the head. They're gonna set me back quite a bit, actually. Because the last oh. save point was a ways back. Woo! You hate to hear it. I might finish up here soon. Mm. Hello, you guys. Save point fucking garters. I love you. I love how you just, out the gate, just go hard and you're like, how dare you load a game? And that's me. I'm basically de okay. Yeah, they you know, you're, you're at your most quick. obnoxious when you start spamming your fucking shuriken. You know that, right? Like that's what I hate. I like that the least about you. That's why I don't invite you to things. Damn. Tell them how you really feel. I'm trying to, but they're not avid listeners, no. and they killed me. It's 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 cool how I load the game and they're there. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. cool how I open the game and they're just sitting there like, hey, thought we told you not to come around here no more. 
And I'm like, you did. That's fair. I didn't think you were quite this serious about it when you said it. I thought maybe it was like a, you know, we don't want you causing trouble sort of thing, not a don't exist sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I made assumptions. Look at this. This is this is bonkers. What's happening? I've had to use yeah, two items. This is mean. I've had to use two healing items for the egregious sin of loading. Ow, ow. And there I go again. Okay. Third time's the charm. Okay. Third time's the charm. <laughs> if you guys could just get way the fuck off his back, that'd be great. If you could just get way off my back, that'd be great. That'd be just peachy. Oh, Purposefully breaking my anti-sex bed so everyone thinks I got laid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gee. Everybody send me your strength, because I need it to take these guys on. I'm sending it. It's it's the fucking, the explosive shuriken, I want to do it, because like, they interrupt what I'm doing. So like, if I'm doing a charge attack and they do that, they, they just, yeah, they, they, just dog piles me. they dog pile me, and they, they just don't leave me alone. And they keep hitting me with them, and it stuns me, so they can then run up and slash me whilst doing it. It's great. I like, I'm normally not salty about things in games, and I'm having fun, but I'm like, mm -hmm. your explosive shuriken are really annoying. And not only do they stun you when they hit you with them, but then also a couple seconds later, you know, they explode. And then they, they mm -hmm. stun you then, too. I'm gonna try this a couple more times, and if it doesn't, then I'll beat them. I'm probably gonna stop for tonight. Oh, that's okay. I I'm, not, I'm not discouraged or anything. I'm just like, I might be. Yeah. I might be dulling a bit. Yeah. We would have ended stream usually by now. Probably. All right, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm as excited to be a ninja as you are. That goes without saying. However, I think that maybe. We're ignoring certain ninja-ly responsibilities that we have to each other. Ow. Now, I know you're all spider ninja, and we all play by slightly, diff slightly different rules. I think what we can all agree on is that ninjutsu is... I died. That is your ninja. Your My ninja way. I just <laughs> want to be friends with them. I just want to be my. I just want them to be my bud buds, and they don't want to be my bud, bud buds. I, they don't want to no be bud, bud buds, buds with me. Sad bud buds. I'm your bud bud. I, you're not one of them. I know you're my bud bud, and I appreciate. Ow. Okay. All right. Stop. 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 That was a yawn of of invigoration. I saw someone doing a fucking sleep stream earlier, and they had in the corner of their stream this critical role going, and I was like, can't do that. Can't do that. You, like, they, I'm sure they're fine, but oh my god, if someone cared, they would be gone. Yeah, that'd be, that's pretty bad. All right. I killed them. You did it. I don't like I'm the way they murder you. me. It's not my favorite thing about them. Don't you hate it when they do it to you? I wish uh, I could. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with having it done to me. Okay. Murder? Okay. Of, a, of a sort. Aaron! Aaron! I know you're not feeling well, but are you good? No. <laughs> you're not picking up on the insinuations there, Brad? I am! I want to be able to understand, but my head's empty! There's, there's no, there's no logical, like, one-to-one -one version of what he said, but you know what he's saying. There's one, you know. They're gonna pull me to jail for murder. Murder and 
Yeah, no, I'm just gonna pull that back. Trying before. to trying to walk it there, Aaron. Maybe. No, I mean no, more I mean, of you boys. I was gonna say. Uh, one of the girls we used to hang out with in uh, Arma Roleplay pulled someone over in the car and they're like, you know there's a warrant out uh, for you, uh, for your name, for your murder? He's like, what? There's no warrant out for murder. He's like, no, yeah, you definitely, it, it definitely says you murder here. Did you murder that puss? <laughs> they just hopped in their car and drove away in code three. <laughs> That was fair. That was It's like exactly I've been streaming for like seven or eight years. It's like it's like it's because it's because there's three of them. When there's only two of those guys, they're immediately like so, so much bad. more manageable. Yeah. Like as soon as you get rid of the first one, the other ones are like, alright, I can keep up with you. Plus they commonly drop like health. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Goodbye. So long and thanks for all the fish. <sighs> so long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it should come to this. Ow, all right, and then they got me. Well. One more go at Adding. this, and then I'm done. One more go. Ooh. Everyone, show your energy with him. He needs it for this final I quote. need go, power! Go, go, ninja. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys are there. You're not hiding. I've been down this road before. You missed. Fired and he missed. Come around the corner, I dare you. I'm so. Don't you throw at me. No! I said no. So even if you saved it again, they would still come back? Yeah. It reloads That's it every so time. Cool. Mm. This time I can get three of these elixirs. Nice. Because whenever you kill people with the big attack, they may drop more money than they would otherwise. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Remember, I gotta remember. No, nah, I gotta remember whenever I go into that other fight, not to try to charge and attack the guys as they come at me. Mm. Did they just fucking mm -hmm. leave? And yeah, you just left. Is it because I went too far away? I guess, yeah. Like I went too far from their spawn. I think it's supposed to step over the line to be able to carry it. Most enemies don't do that. Weird. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't want to fight him. 
They didn't, they didn't seem to come back whenever I came back over. No, I didn't seem to. Give me health, one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Remember, don't hold the attack. Yeah, don't try to charge him. Windmill Shuriken is mm -hmm. the way that we deal with these guys. Dodge him and they windmill They are on motorcycles. It will not work. It's annoying because it's hard to keep track of them. And they turn, like, way better than those vehicles should ever be allowed to turn. Okay, got it. Good, 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 good. And they travel in packs too. That's gotta be annoying on top of that. Bam. Ah, Rolly boys. That Rolly Polioli. The Demonic-Gilmon, die! Demonic-Gilmon? You mean Gilmon? Yeah. Yeah, they, they kind of remind me of Gilmon. Their raptorish appearance. Ha, da, 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 da. Redness. That's right, you die. So what exactly are you? Oh yes, and then this boss battle. Right, I forgot this just cascades, man. My strength comes from training. You are stiff, are you my so friend. Sure of that? Look at her. She's not even moving. My blood was pure, but then I saw they're just... My pure blood was yeah, they're just... Wah, 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 they're just up there. There's just a light breeze. A so, like, she's a badass, yeah? Like, she's all sitting up there being a big deal? No. Mm -hmm. She's about to not be. Doku. He led her down the path of evil, and she succumbed. They're just... That's why I became a hunter. To kill my sister. To Again, kill it's hard to take this content seriously this monastery, when the way that she looks does not match up with it. And now begins the f recurring escapades of saving Rachel, because she got to have the one scene where she was a big deal, and now not so much. Oh, oh no. Hi. Fire. You know, if you told me this is the boss you're about to fight after everything I saw, I wouldn't have believed you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think I it was going to be? Like like a bigger raptor demon thing? Not a big old tentacle boy. No, this Not somehow snuck up on her. That snuck up on her. Yep. I need to get that before it disappears. There you Very go. Very gross. Very gross. Yeah, just, we had to subject Rachel to the big gross old tentacle monster. Just had to do a big old tentacle knob. We had to get two more fetishes in there. Mm -hmm. Had to get tentacles in there, and we had to get more in there. That's Sweet the way it goes. Her. Yeah, I love that for us. This thing's gross. Give me that. It just looks like, like I don't have the sound on, obviously. It just looks like it sounds like. Yes, <laughs> that is that is what I'm hearing. Correct. I wonder if I can. Exactly that. It, it's a lot of like. Oh, there's a ton of damage to it. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's fireball for you, baby. Now it's spitting out gunk. Rachel's in there from where the gunk's coming from, meaning that all that gunk's passing over Rachel. Isn't that a wonderful thing Hate to think about? Hate that. Hate it's that. It's weird that it's able to projectile vomit all this gunk, but doesn't spit up the thing that's sitting in its maw. That's probably trying to get out too. Yeah. Give me that arm. Give me your arm. Give me your slimy tentacle arm. Stop hitting me and give me your arm. This is your last warning. There we go. Gotcha. Backflip. 
Got her. Parkour. Was that a fiend as well? Man, I hate the voice acting in this game. I've never seen one like that before. Something strange. There's so many of them. Hey, INA. Didn't, didn't occur to you to help me in that fight just now? You got those kunas, girl. No. But Ayane. See, she looks awesome. For like she's she's you know the way she's dressed is more fan servicey than a ninja would be, but, booty, but in an acceptable way. Like it a it's a cool kind of fan servicey. Bestowing an mm -hmm. unfathomable and shit. On yeah. Chainmail thighs. Give me speak. that. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Sounds painful to wear, but still. That would explain the story. Maybe you were kind of padding underneath. Oh, mm. You're so Very slimy, true. Rachel. Go take a shower. Blood. Blood. Dominates all humankind, assisted by the power of Blood. The Blood. Ayane. Blood. Take what are they yeah. after? Blood. Understood. Mm. Ryu. <laughs> I've heard there is a hidden path under the monastery that leads to the Emperor's palace. Have you? Doku will Tell me about the old tunnel. Oh my god, alright. Secret tunnel. <laughs> what are you oh my godding? Nothing. Gamoth. So the dark dragon grows in power with each killing. Detective boy. Of that very slow. Detective boy. Have, like, Excellency. Hmm? Strange well, names, and then there's Rachel. <laughs> I've noticed that as well. Yes. Ryu, Akane, always, I Heck and Doku, only the Rachel. Reliable information. The blade grows stronger and faster than I had expected. Oh, I love it when villains wear like big old mysterious outfits for no reason other than that there's someone you know and they don't want you to know. Like, it's not because they want to. It's just because if we saw them in a cutscene when we weren't there and we saw it was them. Lesser Ninja, that's fair. <laughs> then we'd be like, but wait, you're my master. Spoilers, that's our master. <gasps> but like, but like, it's definitely not something he wants to do. It's something that is needed for the game, for the narrative. Life of the gods. Well, since I beat that, I'm, I'm good to keep playing a little bit. I just didn't want to do the same thing over and over. I did. Why was that here? Where did it come from exactly? Because, like, it's not like it could reasonably fit in that passageway and get out, which means that creature came into being in this space and was just here, waiting to break through the wall and get Rachel. I mean, it could have, like, it's been summoned there, I assume, because fiends? That is a strange explanation. Or portal? That's also not really big fight with the nasty lady. I also don't think that's really how fiends in this work necessarily. Like, the portals they come through are pretty like distinct. Like they're big old gates. Demons don't normally just mm. apart from the conceit of they show up because they have to apparate in for your battles, demons don't like get plane shifted in, in Ninja Gaiden, to my knowledge. Okay, uh this is bad, this is upsetting. What's happening here? Laser bats. Oh, the windmill shuriken kicks these things. Ow! Ass. It didn't seem gelatinous, though. Uh, it looked it's like gelatinous. it was more... That, that creature wasn't gelatinous. It was very solid. It was very fleshy, unfortunately. Oh, this is the way to that's go a, back that's down. That's upsetting thing to say. Was, yeah. Hey, Moramasa. Could you go ahead and, uh... Still can't upgrade the Lunar, huh? I can upgrade Dragon's Claw and Tiger's Fang, however, to their next level Ooh. if I get 4,000. So I'm gonna save up for that, I think. Jeez. I think you mean. Ah. Uh, I'll aim for that next time. Boy. Thanks. Wait, boy. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is the nap you've been waiting for. Ah. You're so tired that you're even comfy on the floor. 
Drifting away, trying to work, got an essay to write. Ah, oh, fuck, my brain didn't move fast enough. Ah, fuck it. Don't stop at your tired, it's coming at ya. You got some stuff to do, but you stayed up too late. I can't video game sing and do it out loud all at once. I'm I'm un I'm incapable of doing all three things at once, and I'm very ashamed. I expected more from me. I think you did amazing. What are you holding? Give me what you're holding. Aaron sing. Oh, I see. I failed to sing, so you're calling Aaron. Well, Aaron, show me up. Oh, do it. Oh, you sounded good. <laughs> it's a hard not fight for us. It's a hard not fight for us. No, that's about all I'm getting. Taking deep breaths is not cool right now. Yeah, you relax. Ooh. Let's see. That's what's well, like the only thing right now. Like, nausea's mostly gone. I'm warm, but I don't know. I'm fucking used to that. Even if you'd felt um, better, it's still good that you take time to rest. So you don't yeah. fall yeah. back into it. No, nah, it's if I take really, really deep breaths of uh, my throat. Okay. Ooh. I know that opens later. This game is really bad at not telegraphing where secret passages are eventually going to open. Yeah. That's a door. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Although, I'm not saying that in a bad way. Like, it telegraphing that doesn't mean it was badly designed or anything. No, uh, I mean, it means you want to look there at another point. Yeah. Clear me out, I've got a rope or many ropes live living caves where it's definitely super dark. How many else after I after I a spewed last night, part of what I did was just uh, like quietly sing along with Rem Yoel who was streaming karaoke. <laughs> Looks of the devil way. I have a bunch Give of Give me those. something to do. I can't remember what items are just hanging out around here. I know that when I go into the archives, that's where the next thing is. Oh, new enemy type! Flying Reaper Boy! In the base game, this is also where we first start to bump into these demons. Basically, that fight with the Geomons in the base game, that's like where it's like, and demons from now on. <laughs> or fiends, I guess they call them, but in this mythology. You thought it was just ninjas who got his guns? Nah, man. Yeah, it is an interesting escalation. Yeah, but because they added the Rachel stuff in black, um, that's for them where you bump into these guys first, which doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything. Just interesting to note the kind of a change in intention. Mm. I guess technically the Rachel stuff can now be seen as getting you ready for fiends. Mm -hmm. I like an intro. Because, like, starting you off with the Gilmons, admittedly, is actually a pretty harsh start. Those ones are tough. They're big rolly boys. Hey, can you die? I've used all my healing you items. You said no. He, he just told you no, he did not want to die. Alright, well. What is your dream? Please select one. Male, female, or I'm I have no interested. plans to purchase a new vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> 10 yeah. out of 10. I'm putting call chat for you. How much money do I have? 1,000? Okay. 1,000. Archive. Good. I need to get in there because that's where a scarab is. A scarabe. If you get on top of it and get outside the map, you can get the scarab on. Ow. I hate you and your magic! I hate you and your unconventional method of attacking me. Can you die? Thanks. It'd be cool if we could do a Nat 19 musical campaign, but also sounds impossible. That does sound impossible. Cool though. Cool idea. Yeah. Uh, the a thing musical is... of a completed campaign? Possible. Awesome. Improvised, improvised musical? musical? Over Discord? It's because of how, well, aside, even, even assuming it was a table game, unless it was like maybe a three or four shot, you're gonna run out of time. Yeah. Like, you're either gonna have 50 songs and a bunch of them are gonna suck. Also, how do you play D&D &D 
while singing. Yeah. I'd like to take my turn. Um. <laughs> It'd have to be like the the musicals are like a weird skill challenge that the players yeah. just have to keep singing, and that's the, it. That's feels the it would be thing. less that you're doing a musical and more that mm -hmm. there's like a musical happening in game, and you're doing checks to like keep up with the conceit that your characters are stuck in a musical. Yeah, which actually yeah. sounds fun. I'm gonna say that that mm. idea sounds fun. Oh, cool! I get the exploding shuriken now. Hooray! I'm the exploding shuriken boy. All right, now that I got that one, one, where's the next one? The next one is. I hid myself in a bunch of shuriken. Upper balcony, in the above shadow the of the other one. Aaron, <laughs> your nerd's showing, but I enjoy it. That's the best arc of Naruto, and it's like the second one. Oh, the uh, the Zabuza. Zabuza. Yeah. It's kind of the first arc, though, really. Mm -hmm. Like, unless, I, unless, arc, unless we like count k the training as an arc. Well, there's like training with Kakashi. There's the him like sneaking out with Heken Konohamaru for a bit, and yeah. then stealing the scroll to get the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Yeah. Um, well, that's the like first all episode. Of that. Or do yeah. you mean does he do that with Koha? Are you not referring to the first I episode? Know, I might, over. I might be missing. Yeah, it's it's really early. And someone tells him that he shouldn't do it, and he's like, "Well, I'm gonna do it." Yeah, it's um, one of the stinky like evil ninja that are trying to steal the scrolls, and so they're like, "Ha! Huh, I'll trick this kid into stealing yeah, that, it, and then I'll one. yoink it from yeah. him." Yeah, that's the yeah. first episode. Well, yeah, that happens, and then they dick around for a bit, and then school stuff. Yeah, Kakashi, and then their first mission is Zabuza. That's like the first proper actual like anything happening high rank and it is amazing it's true i love how it's sassy this the, the one that was in the case i just found i love that it's like it's on the landing above the second floor you can't miss it unless you don't want to finish the game <gasps> it's just like <gasps> oh, ah. the aggression why that hurt my feelings why go so I hard <laughs> damn what why you gotta call me a noob like that um, I think the closest to like, I don't know. I'm trying to think what. Hot take: Zabuza arc and then the tuning exams are the best part of Naruto. Yes. Even though it's super hot, like most people, they always say um, like the end of the tuning exams when Sasuke leaves is where the show takes a major downturn. Yeah. Because then it becomes the I, I don't like. save Sasuke multiple arcs and 200 episodes. I know, I know. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of like my, my problem slash love of Bleach in that I love seeing all the characters in Bleach do stuff, but if you look back at it, and this is stuff we talked about before, uh, if you look back at it, you're like, as much as I liked seeing Hisagi and Kira and like all the, the lieutenants fighting against like Arankar and seeing their Zanpak toe, it feels like it didn't really matter after it's done. Yeah. And like that's like the feeling I get from like the Sasuke arc. Like the four, yeah. the four Heckin Ninja that they fight against are cool because you get to see like Shikamaru and Choji and mm -hmm. Heckin all them do stuff. Kiba. But then once that's done, you're like, it was for naught. It didn't really do anything, right? Like those characters didn't need to exist really. Then you get to like, yeah. then you get to like the Bone guy whose name I don't remember uh, fighting against like, Kibimaru. yeah, fighting against like you know Lee and Gara and whatnot. And it's like that stuff's cool. <gasps> Also, I'm the, getting hit by the, waves of also the Naruto vs. Gara stuff, fire. That's yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's One like million. that. The moment, the moment Sasuke's taken, is where I kind of stop enjoying Naruto. Well, it's I think it's also as a whole a lot of it around there is because there's conflict about stakes. Yeah. And like I I've moved up pretty drastically away from the shonen genre in general. As I've gotten mm. older, I, I like a lot of Seinen and Jose stuff because yeah. a lot of it deals with just the drama of a situation and the stakes that are behind it. Where am I supposed to go? But in Naruto, they address sometimes, but the stakes are Sasuke and Sasuke don't want to be you either. Him. If you either don't care or he, in his case, where he's like, leave me alone. Sasuke doesn't like, go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I, it's doing the, stuff. There's a lot to be said about friendship and whatnot, and like. I guess sometimes it matters, but it just you can only care about that for so long, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think... I, I think that Sasuke being the core driving focus of Naruto, it just was the case for too long. Yeah. 
How do I? I still think Sasuke should have killed Naruto, and then we can go. Okay. Pick. Is there, is there a thing I'm missing? Is there a... Or had this weird savior complex thing, and that motherfucker totally would have just oh. ate it for the village. Oh, 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 I know exactly what this wants me to do. Okay, my bad. I'm, explode the wall. I'm stupid. It wanted me to incendiary shuriken it, yeah. Man. As much as, there like, looking at it thematically, like, you guys are totally right about the Sasuke rescue mission, I, it, it very much, you know how you guys are like, oh, some Digimon fans, like, you know, um, it's like their childhood. It's Lunchables for the soul. Views. Yes, that, that is the sensation. I'm just there thinking back, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. And there's you nothing know. wrong with nostalgia. I think it's when it starts to affect you in, like, the modern day and it starts to taint how you enjoy things, that's when it gets gross. Yeah. Because, like, Digimon, nostalgia affects the people in two different ways. One, they think that it Digimon needs to be what they saw as kids to like it, and they don't embrace, like, what Digimon kind of is. And the other way is, like, heckin', they forget what they liked about Digimon and hold it to this insane standard because they're not remembering what it was. They're remembering um, how they what felt they when they were a yeah. kid and less discerning, and they were just happy to see the kids getting along. Like, I know a lot of people hate how modern, uh, the new Digimon show, like how Ty is involved in everything, and it's like, that's fine. This, show's, this show's just rigged so that Ty is way more important. And people get mad that Digimon are different sizes, and it's like, you wouldn't be mad about this if the old series hadn't existed. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. that's, um, you know, it's how, also just recognizing things you liked and that you might not like them the same way anymore. Yeah. Anything with the Uchiha was my shit. I was a big Sasuke fanboy when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Like, Itachi? Uh. Itachi's still my boy. Itachi yeah. Itachi's, yeah. Itachi's one, one of the, the, the things that stayed Uchiha. great. Yeah. He, he gave so much context to a lot of the problems in Naruto. And oh, he was just interesting. The Akatsuki. The Akatsuki. I got a robe on my door over there. Yeah. Um, Akatsuki. The Akatsuki were, uh, more, more so when they appeared, really, really cool. Some of them got cooler with time, some of them got dumb with time. <laughs> some of them ate it, <laughs> unfortunately. Most of them. Yeah, I know. I'm... Deidara would have been so much cooler if he had had more time. From what I understand, didn't he, like, rage quit life? Yeah, he yeah. hated the Uchiha <laughs> so much that he blew up to try and kill Sasuke. Right. Yup, and That's it right. didn't even fucking work! <laughs> okay, I just wasted two Because he sure spent again. his entire time in the Ikoski trying to kill Itachi, and he couldn't. And he hated Itachi so much, but then he saw Sasuke and was like, I can kill you. I can get him. like, lol, no. <laughs> And then he yeah. died. I, Man. but the concept behind Daedara, I think uh, he's so wicked cool. Young but then me, you see him in the show and you're like, oh. I, I didn't understand he was dead after he blew up. I didn't really get what was going on for a bit. No! I had to reread it a couple times to be like, oh. Well, that <laughs> yeah. was dumb. <laughs> yeah. And I the also whole time he's it. like, he's like, Toby, you dumb, you dipshit. Ooh. And picking on Toby, and meanwhile he's like, well, can't beat Sasuke. Gotta take him down with me. Where's the next one? I found that one. I like that he you has hands the mouth on hands? hands? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was so cool. Him, Saucery, Heat on, Heckin. Oh, who am I thinking of? I have the image of the character. He's like super greedy. Um, it's Heat on and uh, Kakazu. And heckin' Conan and oh, Conan, I don't, Conan I don't know did a really cool thing things. with. Um, I have a problem. Conan was the paper girl. Yes. Yeah. Um, she was, had was, a really who are really these fucking people? Cool, like, other members. They're of the only Akatsuki. Akatsuki. They're the Akatsuki. So, I don't know. There was yeah. a, okay. Forgive Akatsuki's me. Because he's the one with the black and white face. It's like split down the middle. <laughs> Forgive me. There were women in the Akatsuki. There was one. a one, <laughs> and they got murdered. I did say uh, were. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I I do not remember there being a woman in the Akatsuki. She barely has a lot of no, screen you're... time at all. She tries to kill Toby because she figures out a lot of stuff about who he actually is. Okay. And she knows that he can use Izanagi to alter reality. Twenty-seven. So she figured out the limits of Izanagi right. and knows that he can only like 
warp reality for a certain amount of time and creates an ocean of water that's like a genjutsu that's actually just paper bombs and drops him in there and it's enough to detonate that time plus like 20 seconds so he should be guaranteed to be dead and then he's like cool i swapped reality and swapped our positions and she's like fuck i didn't think about that and then she dies yo <laughs> that's how she dies yeah. it's very upsetting she gets yoinked she's i don't so even remember cool. she gets killed by the fucking game mechanics is what she gets killed by mm -hmm. Heckin. Then one of the pains, I think, was a girl, technically. Yeah. That was the oh. closest it kind of got back to getting back to the Zabuza arc and the I've outthought you. And they sat there for like, there was like a a good like four episodes where all they were consumed with was like, 12. how do I blow this bitch up? And then they thought they had the perfect moment. They're like, nice. yeah. yeah. And then they just ceased to be. Yup. No, I think the ones that got the most treatment, Sasori and ah, Kidan, fuck. probably get the best yeah. treatment out of the like non-end boss yeah. characters. Uh, Itachi is pretty cool. He's cool, but he didn't really do much until like later, and even then, he he wasn't exactly remarkable. Uh, yeah, he was I just getcha. Neat. There we go. Um, actually oh. getting an arc where they got to be devastating. You know, mm -hmm. like Hidan caused yep. one of the greatest emotional destruction moments in all of Shippuden. Yes! That ruined me. He killed I the boy, right? Yeah. 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 Naruto, Naruto went on to have good moments and like small little arcs that were great. But like when I say I don't like a past Sasuke, I'm like, it definitely had stuff that was neat. But like, I liked basically all of Naruto right up until Sasuke left, and then I started to like parts of Naruto. To be yeah. fair, my favorite of the big three is Bleach, and Bleach also has that issue where like, hosts basically once I go to Hueco Mundo, I'm like, there are good parts of Bleach that are really good after that point. But on the whole, there's a lot of periods of like, okay, get to it, come on, like, stop wasting time, show. Yeah, the pain stuff was good. I actually read the manga for that bit. Like, I was interested enough what was going on that I started signing in on it. Um, I didn't follow a lot of Naruto apart from that. I say this, of course, as someone who maybe never got into when maybe Naruto got good, because I kind of fell off of Naruto and didn't keep up. That's me. A lot of yeah, so I'm not I I'm not educated enough to speak to stuff that's way later on, but at the same time, I think that when I stop says a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were building up to the Great Ninja War and fucking and everything. Shippuden and everything. when I was like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything once they. I know that Moon Goddess Lady, that she's like, you know, a big deal and everything, and that's cool. Um. Yeah, I know. I don't find anything about her interesting. When I found out she was like the final boss of Naruto, I was like, "Why?" Oh, I she just appears. Why? And it's, it, it just feels so. Do I gotta go weird. Down? It feels so, I was so it tone point. deaf to the show. It's just as a whole. I don't know. It just then there's like weird. Like I know it's funny and it's like Naruto's like vibe, but. Like, the fact they used the fucking reverse sexy jutsu on them. I heard about that, and I was like, ah. So it, it's still stupid, then. It, mm -hmm. Like, that's funny. Don't get me wrong. It's is, funny. But that's dumb. what it did. It kind of takes away the stage. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know. It's like, it, it's, it's very like, is this Naruto's vibe? Because it's like, I got the sense that this hasn't been Naruto's vibe since when Naruto was called Naruto. You know? <laughs> that was a lot of stupid boy. One thing fucking all of those anime had in common, actually, I mean, generally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's banger OPs. Yeah. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Naruto and Bleach basically ones. never missed with their openings. Yeah, I fucking Naruto Bleach had amazing ones. Uh, Inuyasha, I don't think, has one I don't like. There's a couple I'm ambivalent to, but I like them all. You know? Like, there's there's some that aren't amazing, but I like them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although, back in 
the second Inuyasha opening, and as far as endings go, Deep Forest will always be the MVPs for me. You can just Fem play me those first couple, dun, 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 and I'm like, da, 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 da. <laughs> You missed the fashion from the Bleach OPs. As I've been showing it to Hayden, that's what they've been mostly noticing, is like, the openings yeah. to Bleach, like, Kubo's influence as loving fashion and whatnot bleeds through so much, because, like, I wish the characters wore the stuff they wore in the openings. It's so cool. Oh my God, yeah. right? I mean, there's that one fucking Naruto ending where they have, like, the high school AU, and, like, Sasuke's, yes. like, a gangster. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> fucking excellent. I'm like, where's that? Where's my mini arc? If you're gonna give me filler, give me that. Give you AU filler arc. That'd be fun. Man. I can... There we go. And then they made Rock Lee's, uh, Rock Lee's show, and that was oh, certainly well, interesting. That was like a parody show, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's very strange. I know uh, someone was talking about in that, like, a hot takes fucking uh, Twitter thread for anime. Someone was insistent, like, Rock Lee should have been the main character of Naruto. I don't know about that. He's, yeah. fu he's fun, but, I like, love him. being the central, like, focal element of a show Nothing usually means that... Stand it. Yeah, that, that person causes the world to pivot. It's not that they're the funnest character, it's that they are the, the point around which the world changes. That's why, you know, people mm -hmm. complain, oh, why is Ichigo everything? And it's like, well, because... He's the protagonist. Bec well, it's the other way around. He's the protagonist because he's everything. Like, mm. he is the most influential, like, element in the world, ergo the story follows him. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is he so special? It's like, I don't know. The show would have followed whoever ended up being so special, is the thing. If you know what I mean. Yeah. 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 Don't want to rewatch Naruto now. Okay, I got up. We get them dragon toes. Oh, fuck. Gotta run away. Oh, gotta not run back. That's the first thing we don't do, is go backwards. That was so close. <laughs> Fuck. I think it's gonna get me. Yep. I like that it just throws you back. Yeah, it's just like... No, that doesn't game over you. It's just like, again. go again. Go again. I think it does some damage to you, though. Yeah. Although, it may not. The obstacle course. To, fuck. I'm so bad at this. I didn't need to do that. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't it fun? <laughs> fuck. Parkour. Parkour. That's the name uh, of the game. Be an extra ninja. Fuck! I am dying something fierce! Ah, there, oh, there I go. Man, I can't just, just can't hit those walls. I'm just a not hitting wall boy. I'm not hitting ball boy. I enjoy this game. It's really good. It's fun to watch. Yes. Yeah, the tomb. There's a scarab on the right. It's good uh... It's a very hard game, but it's a very fun game. It's good uh... Good uh... Shock. <gasps> Shock. Oh, love Gouda, oh, they're so cute. Change oh, my oh, VM. Mm -hmm. YouTubers, they're also sweet. I really heckin' love the design of the new one. Heckin' Iris is very cute. I know the least about that hair. Uh, she has the most complicated hair that the, uh, they had to release ah. the, not release, but they had like a, a guide to how to draw her hair. Because it's like four layers of intertwined fucking hair. Oh my god! Jumped out of one spike pit into another. Uh. I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. You're stupid. I like that in a man. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Shit. Oh! I don't know how that worked, but cool! Oh. 
Wow, I pro strided that. Okay. This is gonna be a map of the underground. Great spirit elixir. Oh, this place. This is getting close to where we stopped. When we did a let's play, I mean. Okay, I don't want to use my incendiary short. Oh shit, they attack? There we go. The game's lagging slightly. Game, why are you so lag? Hey, Aaron. Remember uh, this boy? Bony boy? I do. I do, I do. Bony dragon boy. This is the one that I ended up pushing to the nunchucks to beat the shit out of his hand. It's true. Alright, spirits? Unnecessary. Don't need to do it. Don't, you don't, you don't gotta. How do you even dodge that when they all attack you? Uh, you don't really. Yeah, seems like it. And I'm not doing great on health. You'd love to see Danganronpa 2 show up again? Uh, sh the, if we did it with the group as same as group as before, the main issue is like they're not here often. Although I think if we continued it, it might be more fun to live stream it than to try to do it as a let's play. Yeah. Danganronpa. Oh. That Danganronpa's not a good Let's Play game. <laughs> Unless you do like... Like session. edited down massive sessions. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna die here. At that point, you may as well stream it if you're gonna record it like yeah. that. Yeah. I need health. I need health in a bad way. <laughs> Oh my god, do I ever need health. Let me in here. Is there another save point in here? Oh, I don't know, but there's guys. Oh, I remember! This place is one of the places you can go to fucking... ...get a ton of stuff. Give me that. Like, you can use this place... To farm. farm. Yep. This is where I farm to get my wooden boy. Really powerful. Discord decided to refresh on me, I guess? Yeah. Weird. Very. Anyway, more. Anyway, more. Dan now. Oh, dang and rumpa. I can dango mango. I'll be right back. danger mango. Dangling grandpas. <sighs> I remember being injured. My friend literally bought me like from the flea market a are the are the like the handheld cold PSP? Yeah. They bought me one of those and it was janky as hell just so that I would play Game and Rumpa. <laughs> if we ever played that again, I'd love to. It says whenever you come in here, it's near an alcove. Where is that? Heckin' Actually, one of the characters in Super, in the second one, is one of the characters I looked at for reference for Jolene moving forward. Oh yeah? Like, after session one, I was like, actually, I want to play this type of princess. Yeah, yeah, Sonya, never mind. Oh. For a second, my brain didn't register the name, and I just told me to never mind. I was yep. like, but I'm interested. <laughs> I know. I think that's the game's purpose. But she's, I think she's just, like, super duper high school level princess or something. Underground. I have to get to a place where there's a bunch of... I love Along the much. wall near the fallen bones of the T-Rex. Oh, that one's after. Okay. Darn, I, I mistook one of the instructions. Instructions weren't clear. 
Ryu got stuck in a fan. Yeah. 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 Okay. Man wakes from nightmare. Relieved, it's only the expression of his real life problem. Okay. How many boys are there down there now? Heckin man. Dang it, Rumpa. Doesn't appear to be any wasp boys here. That's what I want. Oh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll Say tell you peacock, what I want, what I really, really want. And no one bats an eye. Say poopcock, and everybody <laughs> loses their mind. <laughs> 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 you said it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've heard that too much on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Life of the gods. It just takes life force from me. I visibly age just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bitsy bit. <sighs> Well, there's more spirit boys. Being dangerous. Well, dangerous spirit boys. Oh, that's okay. That's the easiest way to kill them. Absolutely. Like so. Windmill shoot again! I get gray hairs. Don't even play Kid of Burden. That. God. Once in a while, I'll get a gray hair and I'll worry about premature aging. I just saved, so I'm not too worried here, but. I don't get them as much anymore, though. I used you to get, get them a lot hairs? in. Yeah! Oh my god. They're like silver ones, gee. But you're so young! It's cause I'm a main character, you wouldn't understand. No. <laughs> I don't know, apparently it's it's strange because apparently redheads go blonde before they go gray. And yet I get silver hairs. All like often. I could get healing. Or I found some of the first gray hairs in my beard. Or I can I'm upgrade upset. the dragon's claw and tiger's fang to maximum. Oh, Tough stuff choice. like that freaks me out too much. I'm gonna like, go. I'm gonna go try that and like looking at my hands and being like, I have freckles. I used to not have freckles on my hands. And just like, oh. makes me feel ancient. I'm like, should I be looking at nursing homes right now? <laughs> You're adorable. Florida. I'm not. I'll kill you. I mean, if I was gonna I can go to a nursing home somewhere. An old person walked out of an understaffed nursing home in Florida and got ate eat by a gator. <laughs> oh no! That's a thing that happened. <laughs> well, I'm not going to that one. <laughs> well, the nursing home might not have been the problem. <laughs> I guess they should have been. Yeah. Up to I'm not a baby. No I'm 22. Leaving. I'm wasting away before my own eyes. Just had dementia and they just walked out the door and was like, bye. And there was no one there to stop. Gator's Listen. like, hey there, you look like a tasty treat. You want to hop in my mouth? And they're like, I'm old as fuck. Sure, that sounds like a good time. <laughs> I appreciate the way you say things, Aaron. Hey there, old fella. <laughs> hey Don't there, mind man. if you hop down into my stomach. I don't want to. Ah, oh, well, no, you gotta try it at least once. Never left me down the road. I love the young gators. Well, if it's not going to kill me, then I suppose. <laughs> they say disappearing into the gator. I just, I can. F oh. Oh, I have a great spirit elixir that I haven't been using. That's... that's wonderful. There we go. Health. What a good time. Now into the tomb, Listen. I go. 
All you people older than me, I age faster because I'm nervous all the time. It's definitely how that works. <laughs> it feels like I'm older. Mm. The constant fear. I know, 15 of you, so I should immediately go back and exchange it. Hey, Muramasa, I got you another scarab. Give, give me something. <gasps> A new spirit of the devils? Why, thank you. Spirit of the devils? Whoa. I need two more life of the gods for a health increase. Okay, so I got that. So the next one is... Hidden underground coffin chamber along the wall near the bones of the T-Rex. Cool. I'll need a walker soon. I'm getting so old. <laughs> I joke, but after boxing, my body hurts. I've never felt ah! the amount of aching. I used to climb mountains and shit, and I was never this sore. Strange. It's weird. It's also, I guess, to give perspective and not be hyper dramatic. Like, this is the most I've had to recover from, as well, in the sense of, like, not working out for two years and then also having a broken foot and being what? immobile. What? Give me this. Elixir of spiritual life. I love those. They taste like raspberry. A raspberry. They taste like raspberry. <laughs> the way you're pronouncing that, I enjoy. Like pecan. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. I I did. I broke my foot this year. I broke my first bone, and I hope it to be my last because I thought it would be way more fun than it was. Breaking a bone. <laughs> Kinda. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't what it was. Did somebody tell you that breaking a bone was fun at some point? No, but I didn't even get a cool cast out of it. No one got to sign my cast. Oh. The Vigorian flail. I love that. That's the, the super Vigurian. nunchucks. Yeah. That's how they say it. I didn't get a... I didn't even get a plate in my body. Bullshit. To be fair, I also wanted braces. Oh boy, brain flies. Gee, these are gross. Yeah, they're very gross. And I broke my foot on stage too. That's the, that's the bitch of it. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. I might. I might. I'm gonna. Yeah, I died to these many wasps. Yep. Souls trapped in the devil's cursed greatsword. You have freed us! The conquest paladin with a shiny new plus three weapon. Oh, I wouldn't say freed. More like under new management. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Which way did I come from? Gotta get this. Hey. Oh, ADHD brain in, in effect. I'm packing for a trip tomorrow. What am I missing? Do you have sunscreen? Do you have bug spray? Where are you going? Uh, have, you, have you packed toiletries? Have My you, God! Uh, uh, if you wear you meant <laughs> if you wear glass, if you wear contacts, uh, have you packed at least two extra pairs? Um, extra socks in case your feet get sweaty. Um. A taser? No! Ah, so you don't use I see. I can. Um. Charger? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Wallet? Wallet, yes. Um, charging cords. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you have a power bank that charged and ready to go, medications if you have them. Um, snacks. Snacks. I mean, that, yeah. I think that's everything that I would pack. If it's gonna be a sunny day, sunglasses. Do you have your one, 1080 Ti? Is it the calculator that we had to get for high school? <gasps> what is this thing you're fighting now? It's a skelly boy. Hey. It's a bunch of zombos. Oh, that's better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like a centipede driven zombie. Oh! Listen, I was not good at math. No, no, at all, no, no, so no, no, no. <laughs> don't expect me to say the name of a calculator correctly. DD Tavern, called the Stumble Inn. Has notoriously tricky entry or a step up is slightly higher than it actually appears. The first person through the door has to make a dex check. If you fail, you trip coming in and all the patrons cheer. Oh. Six or seven times a night, just. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> uh, I. I. You know. I guess we kind of have had the you walk into a tavern intro. Because in Vestige we met up at a tavern. But... I still want that stereotypical you walk into a tavern with the rogue sitting in the corner angstily like, ask me about my backstory. You want that? Ask. Ask, but I will dance with ask. I think there would be. I mean, if it was done correctly, if it was like obnoxious and campy on purpose, if we all knew what we were there for. I don't want that. Ooh, nice. That one has a bow. <laughs> I just noticed your bow, friend. I like your bow. That's a bow. bow. That's health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, question. Is this the kind of game where it gives you a weapon that's incredibly useful in the area that you're about to go into? I don't know. Did you read something and find out the flail is super no. useful here? No. <laughs> no. I'm curious because some games do that. It sometimes I've never does. played Ninja Gaiden. I just used a health thing. Oops. Come closer. Do it, boy. You know you want to. Once the room's not full of them, they're actually very slow. Give me that. Oh, they're not even the worst of it, though. Ow, there's a bow boy. Ow, bow boy. Ow, bow boy was very good aim. Absurdly, annoyingly good aim. Oh, yeah, that is really annoying. Give me help, thanks. It's been a long time since the campaign began. Well, I can't say that when can, we're at 12 sessions for print. Since. Give me that. Give me that health. How much you guys going to respawn? Fluffy stuff. Yeah. Can't help but notice another archer in our midst. I hate your kind. 
but you do drop health. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that was good. That got like all of them. Oh, no, can you get off? I want all the stuff. Every single thing. I don't know how many of you are going to respawn, but I'm willing to stay here as long as I have to. Come on. Because you guys give me lots of money from the looks of it. Yeah, I have 14,000 jeepers. Yeah, man. Woo. Keep doing those big moves. No, 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 get off. No, no consent. No consent. Ninjas respect consent. Yeah, they do. In fact, a zombie. Yes, but I'm a ninja, and I hold them to my code of ethics. Ah. That is my ninja. <laughs> my <laughs> ninja. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alrighty. Ah. Let's go up. My face hurts. Can you not? Thank you. Thank you very much. And ka -chow. A high valued in. Who wants it? Come on. Who's gonna come close enough? I think they only have to be hit by it. Come closer. It is 2 a.m. thing. Wow. It is correct. I don't sleep. <laughs> Who sleeps? The music is very this funky is... and extreme for something that's actually not terribly fast paced. Mm. Are you guys just gonna keep respawning in here? Because if you are, I will stay here until I have like 20,000, I swear. Because you guys are giving a lot. I think I just hit 20,000. The, each of these is like 700. Okay. And isn't it like doubled when you do the move on them? Uh, double what? Double the, didn't you say you get more money from them when you hit them with the big moves yes. like that? Well, that's what I'm saying, the big orbs. I'm like, I'm at 19, seven. Yeah, they're worth about Let's see, seven to, yeah, they're worth about 700 each. If I hit him with the big one. I wonder if it works if I hit him with that. Let's find out. Yeah, I only got hit him with the second stage one. So this, as long as it kills him. I think nice. that might, yeah, that's it. Go away, spirits. Hey, spirits. Go away. Or else. Mm. What? I'm excited for Saturday. Yeah. I'm excited to finally find out what the other group did. Ah, oh, there's an archer! Alright, gotta get the archer. Yeah, heckin' 
catch up on Vestige, because we're getting to some real good stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's all good stuff, but like, ooh! Vestige is getting tasty. Yeah! I'm really excited for the stuff you guys are about to do. This is going to be a heckin' adventure. Adventure! Adventure! Yes! Oh, that's I'm excited. Don't, don't hit me until I, there we go. I hit you with it. I wonder if that makes it drop a big one. I purposely no. avoided most of the spoilers on what the other side did. That was not what I wanted to do. Ah. You know, when you're... When you're panicking, these guys are a big deal, but like when you have time to sit and wait for them, they're very like, mm -hmm. nah, you're, you're very slow and stupid. Oh, wow, Aki. A lot has yep. happened. Quite a bit. Woo! Hey there. Come How many over. months ago was that? Come over here, big boy. About four months. They said they're four, about four months behind. Yeah, that tracks. Damn. That's a lot of time, and it feels like it's been longer. Keep in mind, just these split guest games have been two months, just on their own. Oh my god. Okay. Blacksmith. Let's upgrade these things. Wooden sword? Yes. The Gorian flail? Yes. Nice. It is upgraded to maximum. Uh, Hooray! Shop. Gonna buy some your shuriken. I already have flying swallow. Okay. Um, gonna buy this just to have it. Be going for that sweet, sweet full shop sweet. Can only buy ten of these. Blacksmith, wooden sword, second level. It's 10,000 now. I'm gonna save the rest. How does one upgrade a wooden sword? Hmm. Well, he is a demon smith, so I imagine he has demon ways. Oh. What was that? Oh, oh there's people, are there? Oh! Oh, that's what's happening. <laughs> 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 well then. That was not as successful as I had dreamed of it being. Ow. Okay. Alright. I kinda see what we're doing here. Alright. I see what I, they're I doing. I see what the game here is. I get them! I Get them. Fuck I'm them. picking up what you're putting down. Fuck these things in particular, but I get it. I see what they're doing. Ow. And down Ooh. I go. Oh no, I'm running out of steam. Oh no. I can feel my body. It's okay. Boiling water. water. Does another? Did another one spawn? I think it did. I think it just run. Ah, like I take no damage from falling, but I'm just wondering because they give health. So mm. I, I want to kill at least like one of them. Mm. Yeah, I think that every time I come no. up here, I think they're spawning again. I will go to bed soon, but not now. Let's do this. It's 2.17, I can't go to bed. No. You know what? That's fine. I got a bit of health. I'm just going to try to get past him. If I block, do you think it... Prevents them from knocking me back. Do you think I can block these guys? It might oh, push you back a little bit if you block. Oh, the problem is they they fire in a kind of syncopated method. Okay. Okay. I. All right. This has instantly become a more difficult escapade than intended. All right. Here I come. Do 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 It's an odd number. I can't do it. 
I'll have to wait until later. Oh, thank you. You knocked me forward. 3 a.m., but then it'll be an odd hour. So basically, 4 a.m. But, but an odd hour is still whole, in the sense that it's not. Your rules are arbitrary. I defy <laughs> Listen. them. Rogue Renegade Cap, we don't play by the rules. Some things just have to be the way they need to be. Arbitrary means it doesn't need to be that way. Ridiculous. Um. Like, arbitrary to you. Life changing for me. Some people don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Damn. Emerald, you've never said truer words. Mm-hmm. I, like I, I feel like I could find some truer words. Those, that's some real, real stuff, man. I know man thinks. Sounds like the soundtrack saying what 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 what. what. <laughs> Boss ones have a lot going on. Do 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 do. I know what I this don't boy's think any about. Of the, any of the sessions of Vestige were just a fight. Have they been? Um... In Vestige? There's been sessions that have been more combat is. heavy, but I think that they all have mm. stuff in them. Yeah, I was about to say. I mean, I'm, oh. I'm there for the minutia, so... Like, mm. I, I wouldn't skip stuff. Yeah. You'll miss out on some great stuff if you um. skip around too much. I wasn't expecting dinosaurs. I mean, everything in here got animated. The dinosaur. Oh. And you mean those things from Jurassic Park? Is that it? Is that it? Oh, I enjoy them. They have a good energy. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. That was very nice. Ow. I appreciate your friendship. I'll kick your ass. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but that'll only make me appreciate kindness more. I'll have I'll roundhouse you. You oh, gotta. Oh. You know oh, what I that means? I can... That means Good. we're hanging out in person. Oh, didn't expect that to hit. <laughs> I don't you like this smack me. talk. <laughs> this is just pure slander at this point. Almost got you, Dino. Give me that one leggy. You got one leggy left, and I'm coming for it. Give me that leggy. You got the leggy. I got that leggy. Are you streaming on Discord too? Is this why I'm behind you guys? You are. Well, I'm just figuring this out. Oh, I'm watching it on Discord. Yeah. Crackety, wall goes blackety. I was like, how is Emerald agreeing with Logan when we haven't even seen it yet? Hmm? Oh, because I'm watching the stream and the stream has lag. She was watching the, the stream stream, you were watching the Discord stream. She was wondering why you were ahead of uh, her. I was like, what's going on? Near the fallen bones of the T-Rex, cool. And then to the right before stepping onto the bridge. So I gotta watch it for a bridge. Got it. Master Ninja. <laughs> a bridge. Nice. Oh. Logan, do you think you can find a bridge? I don't know, man. There was a time when I was all about a heckin' finding a bridge. 
But as I've as time's gone on, I've realized that crossing a bridge isn't necessarily taking me anywhere quickly, so I only cross a bridge whenever it feels totally necessary. I still enjoy, you know, bridges. However, they aren't all I think about. I'm Rachel again! Woohoo! <laughs> you know what's really sad? What? The fact that little Karibo's bridge rant in Naruto abridged, which was itself commenting on how everyone does abridging and that the, it, you know, it was the, the, the medium had aged, is itself now about a decade old. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me feel old. First, there were only a few bridges. Bridges everywhere. Now it seems like everyone's making a bridge. My controller has stopped responding. Oh no, it hasn't. I'm just getting shot. That's that's how unresponsive Rachel is whenever she's being hit. Is I feel like my controller stopped working. I was worried I ran out of batteries. I remember when I was near a bridge. You've never been near a bridge in your life. I've... Describe <laughs> one. Describe a bridge. Sure. I like my friend's a bridge. What? I like my friend's bridge. Describe a bridge. Name one. Name one defining feature of a bridge. Short. Oh. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Forgot she has that yeah. weapon. Am I going the right way? I mean, I probably am. Yeah, it's Drawbridge Hill. You're finding a bridge. Oh, nice. I can only carry ten of those, though, so that's kind of wasted. See that, that's a bridge. Right there. That's a bridge. That is a bridge. That's a majestic as bridge. Intended, as it's intended to be. Short. A bridge doesn't always end up that way though. Sometimes they gotta be long. Usually because they're getting you somewhere good. Ow. Some a bridge are going nowhere. And some are going nowhere. The fact that this whole time I've been thinking about your joke in um, Fate, where Archer asks for the abridged I'll version. For me. Yeah, that just that episode was fucking. You want the fantastic. short version or the long version? Abridge it for me. <laughs> the, <laughs> part of the joke, part of the meta joke there that I don't think people get the follow up to is the fact that he says abridge it for me. She gives the short version. And then he proceeds to say he wants the long version anyways, because that is basically what our UBW abridge does on the whole. Just be like, here's the short version, but also, um, a little bit not. Not really. But then, but then even in the long version, she does speed it up. That whole scene was one big joke about the weird, not abridged, abridged way we do UBW. Some people tell me my bridge feels as long as my original script. Even though my bridge cuts off several sections of road, that would be three times the length of my bridge. <laughs> Why? Well, they seem to forget that. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to Alejandro about that, where he was like, a bridge series are like 20 minutes these days. And I was like, in my defense, or he's like, they, they're longer than the episodes are usually. I was like, in defensive ones like ours, it's multiple episodes. And he had some interesting points to make about it. What did I just get? Sorcery. Oh. She has sorcery. Nice. To, he You're was like, wizard, Logan. he was like, his his response was like, you shouldn't expect a viewer to know that. To which I was like, I don't make my content for people to think the way that you just insinuated. So I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. That was. It's interesting though. I've said it before though. I'm also. I don't like a bridge series. I like making them. Mm. I don't really like them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, any comment I make on a bridging as a whole shouldn't be taken seriously. This. She's so bad at deflecting fucking bullets. 
She's so bad at it. With Ryu, I can like run along the wall. I can't do that with her. Rachel, you are so stunnable. Ow. And you gotta stop letting people hit you in the face. Can you at least hit that wall with a hammer and it break? Yes, I believe I can. Oh, good cake design. Good cake design. <laughs> I think. We're gonna find out in a sec. Yes. Good game design. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, Ninja Gaiden. Thank you. I do like her weapon, too. You're surprised a few episodes mm -hmm. we have left? Yeah. Fate of, uh, UBW yeah. Abridged has maybe four or five left, and then it's done. It's got, of the abridged episodes, or is episodes two abridged? Abridged. We've got... Mm. I know I've counted this before, but going through it again. Next episode, the one that we're working on now, is... Uh, it is all of the uh, Berserker Heracles stuff. Uh, but, well, the, the Heracles Gilgamesh stuff. And then the one after that is everything at the church, right up to Archer using UBW for the first time. And then the one after that is everything right up until Archer and Shiro charge at each other to fight. And the next episode is their entire fight and Gilgamesh coming in and being a big butthole. And then the next episode might be the finale, or it might be two from there, but that's... And then there's the epilogue, which I'm not kind of... I'm kind of not counting, but I do plan to do, but there's the epilogue episode. Which I still need to give David Vincent a heads up about. So I need to give him warning. Because mm -hmm. I want him to do it. Mm -hmm. See what her sorcery does. Lightning! Oh, it it just That's a little bit lazy mechanically. Her sorcery just hits everything, which is fine, but it's clearly not a lot of thought was put into it. Like it wasn't made for certain situations. It was made as a like, you're playing as Rachel, here's magic that will work. Which is fine, but it's like it's a clear screen spell. Surprisingly, she's really good against this guy, like these big boys, because she can stun people easily if she hits. So it's like really easy to knock them around. Ah! I do like the animation whenever she like rises up though. Whenever she rises up. When you're playing as Rachel, you gotta rise up. I wonder if any of the ninjas around here are holding anything for her. Ooh. Now it holds arrows, but I wonder, normally the arrow ones hold something different for her. Ah, oh, yeah, neat. Let's clear the screen! Ow! I didn't kill you. That nah, did. I find myself wondering if there is an end to them. Ow. I always find myself wanting to save my potions, and then a room like this happens. Stream is disconnected. Reconnecting. Uh-oh. 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 I hope it reconnects. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, did I... What happened? Did I, like... Did I lose connection? Completely. What? Hold on. 
Oh, Discord just... Um... Hello, guys? Oh, guys, hello? We're back. Yeah, we're back. Hello. Hi, am I back now? Could you hear me before? No. Oh, I, I guess everything disconnected. Oh, sorry about that. Whoops. Um, stream's still going, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it wasn't for a sec? I mean, the Discord yeah. one. Yeah. It's back now. It did cut, though. Okay, well, as long as you guys are back. The, the recording kept going. My internet just cut. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. I'm good now, though, so I'm just gonna keep going. Right. Stranger and stranger. Ow. Curiouser and, and curious. Oh, fuck! Give me that. Okay, when is, when is, are you guys gonna come to an end at some point? Is there an end? Is there an end? I guess that's the question right now. I remember that area pretty well. It feels like no. But then it does. I think so. Wonder if there's a reward for doing all this. I know there's like a big boss thing for you when you come back here later. It's like the, uh, the plane. That one also feels like forever. The plane, if I recall. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> okay, I'm almost dead. This is bad. Ah, oh, I died! Damn it! Oh, gosh. That was intense. That took forever. Whew. Is it gonna make me go all the way back to the start? Alma, Greater Fiend. No, it just takes me back to here. Okay. That, this is upsetting. I hate it when that happens. I know oh, that's- a ball barrage? Yeah, well, it just, I mean, it never feels good when, like, a game just stun locks you, you know? Mm -hmm. Hi, Carrie. What the, what's up? No, it just, it happened to you too? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's back. It's a whole okay. flicker. Yeah, it happened to me too. You're gonna come hug me? Yeah! We didn't do Aww. we didn't do princess today. I Instead, know, I've been streaming. Ninja, I've been streaming Ninja Gaiden all day. Aww. I'm still doing it. I know. I saw. Oh, like, Shit, they're still streaming. Emerald says moi. <gasps> Emerald. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I was well. talking about. Have you thought recently? You know, um, little Karibos, uh, abridge rant and the like early Naruto abridge stuff. Yeah. Have you thought about the fact that that rant, which itself is about how abridging is getting old and everyone's doing it, is itself about a decade old now? Oh my god, shut the fuck up. No. How dare you yeah, say man. these things to me. Listen, I've been abridging for ten years this year, and I don't like to think about it. Nah, youngin'. It's true, <laughs> thank god. Have you guys, uh, have you guys heard about those crazy, uh, Bye. crazy Bye. summertime Bye. camping orgies? No, what? No. Yeah, they're fucking intense. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I I, I fell should... for it. I'll beat you I up for that for one. We God all. Damn it. I fell for it. You idiot! We all fell for it. <laughs> Ow! I feel like I dealt with these guys better last time around. Give me that. Ow. Give me health, please. Thank you. My sorcery. Ah. 
fine. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Give me this. Great spirit elixir. Nice. This time, uh, I know this sounds obvious, but this time, focus on getting hit less. Now that's a concept. Fight smarter, because that fight goes on for goddamn ever. Yeah. Get hit less and hit them more. You're right. You're right, easily board gamer. I can only find myself agreeing. Play better. <gasps> ah, I didn't think that fire would hit me. Okay, I'm not off to a great start. Well, that was. Tell me that hit the dinosaur. Please tell me he was not invincible when he came in. Okay, in 20 minutes I'm going to bed. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Someone has to. Give me that health. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the sorcery. Watch out! Oh my god. What? Oh, I'm looking at this Dimension 20 clip. And I don't know necessarily what's going on, but basically Brennan's playing an NPC who's telling a PC, like, Oh, you should concede, because, like, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, like, yeah. And at the end of it, he says, like, You've got 60 seconds to concede, and if you're not, I have to ask you, What do you want me to tell your family? Intense. Oh, yeah, because he's just going on and on and on, and then it gets to that, and he stops. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh -wee. That's. Intense. reach over there.
Sorry that I'm so quiet, I am hardcore concentrating. Okay. Well, also good. Your, your internet's going in and out. What? And maybe no, it can't be my internet because I'm No, I, I think it's internet. I think it's me. We have a household one here. Yeah, Something's going on in the house. Yeah, the the stream ended. Yep. I know. It's just these guys left. I can do that. Give me that health. Oh, that means whatever's going on here is hacking YouTube side exclusive. Yeah, see? What enticing yeah. content. What, what sparkling secrets. Yes. Oh. Yeah, good. What's this? Spirit of the Devils. I'm going to hold on to that, I guess. Oh, I didn't even come over here and use these. Oh, did I not even need to come oh. this way? Oh, I remember. We're back. Oh, I remember. We're back-ish. Mm. There we go. Let's get a little more smooth. Wonder why we're having trouble. Yeah, I need to go to the... Yeah. I need to go... I need to go to the drawbridge. That's where I need to go. I remember. Really fun. Hmm? I just did a speed test on mine to see if we had like an upload issue. But it's no, it's clear and just about regular. Yeah, I think when it's strong, it's strong. It's just having because like whenever we're connected, it's fine. Mm hmm. Save here. You know what? I'm gonna use that. Yeah. Oh, didn't mean to. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Hi, right, Sam Sony. Hey, Alma. How you doing? Good night. Cool, but if you don't want to, I understand. Let's see. of the devil ways it only cost that much and give me <laughs> items supplies equipment wait accessories earrings earrings of the moon my god her boobs are just oh my god they're just going every which way independently of each other <laughs> jiggle 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 <laughs> do you offer glasses Nope, just earrings. 
Good God. Team Ninja. Good God. Good cowly, Miss Mowley. Like, that's, that's barely a bathing suit. The earrings are cute, but that's barely... Oh my God. <laughs> That plus the gra the gravity. Oh, I mean that's like a dominatrix kit. Yeah. If someone walked in my room wearing that, I'm assuming they're they're either they were in the middle of doing something with someone else, or they're here to do something to me. Like <laughs> one of the other. Like... And then the boy shows up, and he's like, Hello there. I've taken time out of my busy villain schedule to come antagonize you, even though you're no closer to your sister than you were before, and I really don't need to worry about you. Are you making progress? No. Well, I'd better intervene. I'd better stop that. You bastard! God, the acting is I should probably switch it over to the J. Enjoy this. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh yeah, I forgot he's ridiculous. Power is gun. He's actually quite annoying as a boss. Took us quite a few tries to beat him whenever we fought him before. I don't even remember if we did. Might have been where we stopped. Fuck. Beat him on the first try. Woo! Heck. Took ten potions though. Mm. Yes. Hey, Alma. Flying up in the sky up there. Yeah, the fight does seem like it's just waiting for it to be like, and now he's hittable. Like, there's no real discernible difference between him, like dodging in such a way that you won't hit him and when it allows you to hit him so you just gotta kind of randomly swing what did i get veteran hunter nice <laughs> nice cock nice cock colonel nice cock <laughs> colonel nice cock hmm Yup. Oh my god. Metal cock. <laughs> that. Nope. I couldn't not say it. I'm sorry. Alright, well, putting it in chat. There you go. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? It's in call chat. Oh, cool. Health up. 
supplies, items. <laughs> God damn it, Aaron. <laughs> you think you're better than me just because you're better than me? <laughs> oh, Eagle. <laughs> you wonderful soul. <laughs> Gotta go back down there now. The dragon will have burst open the area. My day's going wrong, and I pull out this book and read as many phrases as I can as fast as possible. <laughs> Favorite part of the woman is the boobies. <laughs> you know, he's not wrong. <laughs> that's the fact that you think that's romantic when he says it. <laughs> I hope someday I get to record more for my boy from Schmucks. But as they're too busy doing a thousand different shows, I don't know if I ever will. Well, which which boy? I'm hacking the fucking. Oh my god, his name is slipping my mind. Even though I love him so much. The one from fucking Bamboy. Uh... Yes! Yes? I hate that I'm not remembering his name. Hauser? Hauser, thank you. Yes! Oh. Yeah, I hope that is continued. He also doesn't come back for a while. <gasps> I can upgrade the Lunar again to its maximum level! I'm doing it! Oh, it's all gold now! Maximum Whoa. stick. Does that mean the wooden sword becomes gold? Uh, the wooden mm. sword becomes a big old giant sword. Yeah, you can use, like runes and shit on the it's side. Kind of, it's kind of a bit of a parody item. Ah, uh, I see. It's the, you spent way too much effort increasing this. Here you go. Have a ridiculously powerful weapon sort of thing. Because <laughs> mm. uh, you have to end fun. up spending like hundreds of thousands, if I recall correctly, on it. Oh, jeez. Yep. I did it pretty early in the game whenever I did it. I actually did it here uh, before fighting Alma. Where is the scarab? Scarab. There you are. All right, after this one. On the floor beneath a pair of archers, and then sitting at the bottom near the elevator. Okay. I'm looking for archers. Story of my life. <laughs> Call it a drop. Okay. All right. Cat hands around the hospital for a year, ends up getting hired as security cat. <laughs> Said it's under the platform here. Is there an under here? Hold on. Under what? On the floor beneath the pair of archers. Okay, so I'm looking for a pair of archers. That's that's the that's the rub here. Ah, you found more scarabs. Give me them. Hmm. He eats them. What else would you do with golden Let's scarabs? See. <laughs> it's really upsetting. What? I <laughs> know it's unrelated. Um, so, Blizzard getting sued. Of yes. course. Ac yes. Activision Blizzard getting sued. Yeah, we all know uh, about that. Some guy. Wait. No, guy, I don't. Uh, oh, explain it to Brad. Harassment. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, in, in the wake of 
years and years of uh, a harassment of females, including passing around nude photos and a general quote unquote frat boy attitude at the studio. Uh, one employee ended up um, uh, committing suicide after uh, being harassed on a workplace vacation. Um, and uh, the California's uh, uh, board of what is it, housing and uh, employment is suing the company for doing nothing to really fix that environment. Yeah, um, holy shit. And so everyone's talking about boycotting them and all the other regular stuff. But this, this is funny and upsetting. Some guy tweeted, made up a guy, guy who sees the uh, Blizzard of the California lawsuit and gets excited. So it means there's going to be Overwatch 2 day, uh, more Overwatch 2 details coming extremely soon. And then like hours later, <laughs> Overwatch reveals a new map. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, no, they did it again. Do they typically oh, no. do that? Do they cover up bad news with, like, here's some stuff? Here's a crazy new thing. Here's good publicity. Be happy about our company. Yeah, a lot of companies do that. Bad. On that note, That's before gross. it becomes 301, I think I'm going to 301. Oh, no, it's going to be our <laughs> number oh, no. red. No, stop. Stop it. Let me say goodbye. Stay for 30 I'll more stay seconds. a little bit. A little bit. So we can make you break your arbitrary rules instead of sleeping as a regular human being. But I like hanging out with you guys. Oh, you do. Okay, the struggle bus. If I could, I would well, hang out with y'all so much we more. We are who we choose to be, now choose. Why the man? But my whole thing is that I'm bad at making choices. I, 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 well, Four, you're easy to three, you know, dissuade. Two, why? Oh, nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you had it pulled up, you <laughs> fucking butthole. Thanks, <laughs> You oh. suck for that, Emma. I know. But you know what that means? See for nine more minutes. That means so that we get more time to hang out with Brad. I'm. Bias, because I also want to see this all the way through, and I don't know when you guys are going to stop streaming. Honestly, I'm having fun. I don't know when I'm going to stop. It could be very soon. I remember soon. four missions ago, you were like, if I don't pass this, I'm going to stop streaming. Yep, that's been the vibe. Yeah, for forever and a half ago. It's all good. I'll, I'll go to bed soon. Yeah. I do have to do some stuff. I found tomorrow. a picture of bread. Like something. Oh no! It's gonna be something calling me out or yep. dragging me. Uh, let me see. Logan, uh, it's like choppy on our end. <laughs> it's really uh, cute though. I'll take that. Choppy on your end? Yeah. Uh, you think you could start it? Start again? There you go. Not fixed. It. <laughs> Given that we're having internet troubles, if that doesn't fix it, then I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, it might be better if you weren't streaming on Discord in the first place. That might help your connection. Switch. Makes the whole house though. Both Discord and Twitch at the same time is going to be pretty strenuous. Oh, I was like, again, when you disconnected, I was in the middle of a raid. Like, I popped into Tarkov and was just casually walking around. I had no issues. But Carrie disconnected. Did we had that first drop. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I think oh. the issue is still prevailing mostly on your end, though, because you're definitely pushing your connection specifically. Hmm. When you said the stream, Emerald, did you mean the Twitch stream, or did you mean uh, uh, the I Discord meant, one? Uh, your Discord one. Yeah, your stream one looks fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. I'm pretty sure I gotta hit that boy. Or not? Do I gotta use arrows? Yes, I definitely do. Our upload is spiking. It's dropping and then dropping back up. Okay. We have Spencer internet right now. Stranger, 
light bridge. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's what's buffering. Nah. That one's gonna be a bitch. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Well, I see. If I fall, I think it goes away. I don't think it's actually on a time limit. Well, it might be, but the time limit is less important than getting knocked off. Hey. There we go. Ah. Ah. Stop it. That is irritating. I was very close. I got this. Better the stuff's happening now, not during Princess. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be happening during Princess. We wouldn't have multiple things streaming at once. Ah, all right. Mm. Archers, you're going to have to chill. Yeah? Yeah. They really don't want to. But they need to. Ah, oh, this room. This is an old-fashioned video game. Fucking, it's not a skill thing. It's mostly just... Sudden punishment. Ow. Ow. Okay, that one was me. That was me. That was nobody but me. I did that one. I'm tempted to shoot at them with arrows and see if I can kill them from here. But I also feel like if I do, they'll just respawn. Yeah, they definitely feel like a, when you hit the button, they'll respawn. That's what it's gonna mean. You're running how we uploaded to YouTube with disconnections? It, well, the recording side is fine. Recording happens on my computer. Mm -hmm. Ow. Aha! What now, archers? Oh, all right, you still have bows, that's fair. They are still archers. Hmm. I hate, the oh my God, they're so fast. Chunka, Shadugandunka. All right. Now I go back, and I gotta go into the red eye room. Might we'll grab some arrows for the road, and then switch off of my arrows, cause fuck arrows. Windmill Shuriken. Windmill Shuriken. Oh, hey, boys. What's up? Didn't realize I was gonna have company in here. I know the Naruto talk happened a while ago, but I've been thinking on it a bit. And what I think is probably the dumbest thing they've ever done in the show is probably one of those mundane things about it, where they throw a shurik they, th they throw two shurikens so that one can bounce off the other to angle around shit. But that's so cool! 
Yeah, it's cool, that is... but it's also dumb. It, yeah, well, yeah. But it's also That's so cool. cool. But they're ninjas. Yeah. That would definitely I just, know. they would definitely just knock each other out of the air. Absolutely. But it's so cool. It is cool, but it's dumb, but it's cool. That's why I was debating bringing it I up. I hate these archers so much because they fucking all they do is knock you back repeatedly. Mm -hmm. No one likes feeling stalled in video games. Ah, that should be all right. Come a bit closer, dear. Now give me your life. Yeah. Oh, another one of you, huh? Come a bit closer, dear. Thank you. All right, what trial awaits me in the red room? Oh, hey. When underwater, pay close attention to your breath gauge. Did I seriously... All right, of course, sure. there'd be an archer. Oh, I see the challenge here. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, there, I saw I that. A... I saw it. I saw it. Is that is this room that it was talking about then? Um, yeah, though I felt like I got one in the other room. Check the list. Check, check it twice. Oh, INA reminding Ryu to breathe. <laughs> chamber of the Blue Eye on the floor beneath a pair of arches. Yeah, I got that one. And then Junction Chamber. Right. Oh, weird. This one's not listed, I guess. Huh. That's it. I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Okay. okay. The one underwater okay. under the ocean. I got Good night. <laughs> Good night. It's really fun streaming with y'all. Yeah. Hey, I can feel night. better, Aaron, or I'll like punch you. I don't know. Stomach probably. I'll, I'll, make you feel better. I'll fracture your rib allegedly. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. Night night. Goodbye. Weird that that one wasn't listed. Mm. Oh well. I got it. You That's the point. I could never gotten it if you didn't see it. Yeah. And you wouldn't have gotten the cool thing at the end. Nope. Oh. What's this? What's this nonsense? You again? Okay, you may have just answered the question as to how you got in that space. <laughs> it it may be what Emerald thought. We have just now confirmed that it can happen. <laughs> Why do you have to fight this thing of all possible bosses that could have been behind that door? Like, I was thinking, oh, is it gonna be like, like a, a core cool presentation, like a two bosses sort of thing. or something? Oh. But no, it's just the tentacle thing again. Showing how I was indeed correct. Incorrect? I was indeed correct. Oh, I thought you said how I wasn't de correct. <laughs> I was like, oh. No. <laughs> Ow. Come back here. Stop moving your tentacle away from me while simultaneously hitting me with it. Ow. And I took too long and the other one recovered. Great. There we go. Oh no, it's the goo face. It is. Be 
meet ya. Goodbye. Oh, another Lives of a Thousand Gods. Cool. Mm -hmm. Items. Lives of a Thousand Gods. Kaboom. I'm gonna turn off the karma display. There we go. Alrighty. Where was that? It was outside the door. Was it outside the door? Yeah. Oh. Alrighty, let's do this. <laughs> Jewel of the Demon Seal. Increase the potency of certain Ninpo. Yes? Mm. Ah, I increased the power of the Ninpo I have. I'm going to save it until a time comes when I feel like I need it. Hey, archers. Makes sense. boys in here and they're very clustered. Come on closer boys. Come on. Come yeah. on. Come on! Zombies! Pizza going out! Come on! What are you holding on to? The art of the ice storm. I'm gonna switch to Ooh. that and have some fun with it. Alright. My god, it's 1217. I do not feel like that much time has passed. I know the stream's almost been seven hours, but I, like, just do not feel like that has happened. Yeah, man, time flies when you're having heckin' fun. Ah, uh, yes, we killed the bat. How many bats are there? At least they're not bees. Or you would be in trouble. That can only mean one thing. Dr. B. How dare you? Oh, yeah, man got stopped by a grizzly bear for like days in Alaska. Mega what? A man got stalked by a grizzly bear for the day. Oh my god. I had to send an SOS. He was getting attacked attack by it, and uh, and then it would like leave, he'd fight it off, and then it would come back the next night to try and kill him again. Me thinks that was a hungry grizzle boy. Yeah. They're, uh, they, uh, they talked to like behaviorists. I read a couple of the articles. A lot of it's New York Times where they lock you up unless you give them money. Uh, but yep. some of the other ones I read. Talk about how uh, like they talk to experts and they're like, yeah, bears don't do that normally. Fuck. Like, normally if if you get a bear to leave you alone once, you're probably never gonna see it again. But that one was like, no, that's food. Now fuck this guy in particular. 
I got whatever this is! You got the dog statues! Ah-woo. Oh. Ah-woo. Cool. And I got this key! Gold key. Ah, uh, they, they could have just called it a skeleton key, but they... Heckin... Skeleton key's a different kind of key. But if it was a skeleton key, it would have to open all the doors. Again. Foolish bats, you think I fear you? I fear no man. You are, however, annoying. Oop, and then the place got flooded. A lot of rats down here. In a place where there's not a lot of food for rats. Ah! And so all of those rats are now dead. Yep. They, they tried to run, but they couldn't They didn't escape. stand a chance. Chances. There's a scarab. Oh no, Ryu, you have to get out now. Is that torch still? Dabilaharo, thank you very much. A two-handed sword used by ancient Vig uh, Vigurian berserkers. Nice. Is that the reward for the scarabs? Uh, for the 20 I got, yeah. Oh, so there are more. It's 50. Ah, you get a reward every five. Every five? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, just a quick check. We got that one. Where's the next one? Uh, just inside the skull gate. The thing is, now it's listing like the next one should be the 20th, and I'm like, mm, but I just got the 20th. So, I don't know about that one, Chief. It's because it didn't list off the other one. I, I know why it is. Yeah. Alright. Gotta go through there. You think I can make it through this tunnel? Yeah. Certain about that? Yeah. Yeah. I have all the confidence in the world that you can. Because look, you did. Give some to someone else, man. Other people need confidence. <laughs> Don't be a confidence stealer. Am I good at appearing to have confidence? I guess I could go up on this. But like... Where'd that other thing go then? The elevator I was just at, where does that go? Also, equipment, melee weapons, just for fun. Oh. But given the height of the chamber, it's possible some. Right now, it is not moving. Ah, can't use it yet. And that makes sense. I'm underwater. Into the underwater elevator. Yes, good. Now up before I lose my breath. <laughs> You need to take me up before I lose my breath. Casually combat rolls out of the elevator. <laughs> Hello, ninjas, my old friends. Ow. 
come to spar with you again. With your explosive shuriken, I hate. You're the meanest thing this game created. <laughs> but I'll deal. And I'll kill you as many as you come. It is kind of fun. While playing Neem, Jagaiden. When there's one, you're not so bad. I got you. I'm done singing now. I beat him. <laughs> Song's over. <laughs> That's how bards do. <laughs> ah! Hi, honey! A powerful fiend. Do not let it overcome you. Be careful. Well, I will be careful. If I jump down there, I'm pretty sure Alma's gonna come fight me. Let's do it. Yeah. Yep, here we go. Alma, let's do it. I hated this fight when I was young. I'm gonna hate it now. I expect now to when, be no different. When games are like scaled up like this, like whenever they're remastered, old FMVs always suffer for it because like they're not willing to re-render them or they can't re-render them. So like, this looks bad compared to everything else in the game, like, compared to the normal gameplay. That was quite the butt you had. Mm -hmm. And boy, do those boobs uh, move. Those are some really spread out boobs with tiny nip coverings, you're right. Oh, alright. Okay, what's okay, alright. Ah, you don't need to do that. My god, oh. yes, you're terrible. I hate you. Oh my god, I was not expecting that sequence of attacks to happen. You weren't expecting a murder to take place? I wasn't expecting a uh, explosive energy kunai followed by pillars. Yeah, well, alright. This hurts a lot. Ow. That's my healing items. They're gone. I'm surprised it worked as well as it did. Usually when things charge at you, they ignore it. That's me. <sighs> goodness, 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 goodness. Okay. Take me back to where I say... A porn company's bought a regular video hosting site uh, that a lot of news uh, websites used to host videos that they would put on their articles. Since those websites are now under the domain of this porn website, a lot of these new websites' embeds are now just showing hardcore pornography. Oh. Oh. That's a big old whoops. Apparently, it's supposed to be the Huffington Post. Um, or the Washington Post. New York Magazine and the Huffington Post and apparently a bunch of other websites. Is there a place to save down there? So I don't have to do this every time. I'm trying to remember if there's a save spot anywhere around there. I know there's one out front of that place, but I don't know if it'll let me go out there. Maybe it will. But first I gotta deal with these ninja! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Didn't expect me to stick you with one, did- Fuck. Why? 
why do you gotta be this way? They got me. Be this way. Boom, 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 boom. Insert just the sound effect of incendiary, incendiary <laughs> shuriken stabbing <laughs> into me with one. Are they shuriken or kunai? Uh, the one they're using, probably kunai. Um, not that it. Really it is different. It is. Uh, it could also be bow shuriken, which is throwing needles. No, they these I are. They're ku um, they are kunai, but they call them yeah. shuriken. Uh -huh. My weep sensibilities are offended. Kunai were tools care. used to help plant crops. <laughs> like most ninja tools. Yep. Shuriken were used to help remove nails. Oh, really? Yep, they're usually flat pieces of metal you'd use to pry underneath the nail and then use leverage to pull it out of the wood. Huh. That's why they had a ton of them, because they were fairly disposable. You can just keep them around on you, and they're easy to have. They're also usually square, not like pointy. Okay. We're gonna see if they let me walk out the front door. I'm gonna go down the normal way. All my healing items, Dylan. We need to get out of here. And get more. Although this room may actually be a good place to farm for them.
took out the final big guy. No, I didn't. He was just hiding. These might, in fact, be infinite. In which case, I might want to just get out of this room. Yeah, I do. I do want to just get out of this room. There we go. Did it. Okay, well, I certainly hope it lets me leave the, to the front door. Otherwise, I'm going to have some problems. Come on. Doors being held closed by a mysterious force. There's no place to save, huh? I need to go back. I need to go back to that statue. Buy more healing items. Oh boy. That means I gotta brave this entire room. Put the teleporty boy on my ass. But I did it! But I did it! But he did it! He only went and gone and done it. Oh man, I gotta get not get hit. I really gotta not get hit by anything. Don't be any ninjas. No ninjas. No ninjas. No ninjas. No ninjas. No ninjas. Thank ninjas. God. No ninjas. Oh my lord, thank God. I need to go down. I need to go to the shop. I need to buy maximum potion. I do enjoy that its torch is still lit, but only <laughs> when you're under the water looking at it. Fool, his magic flame needs no explanation. Go ahead, I can get a great spirit elixir for 5,000. Get me up to maximum health, and the rest is on me. Oh. So, are we gonna go back and fight those other guys, or are you gonna go for the boss straight away? Um, it might behoove me to get more of those potions, more of those, uh, the big ones, but I'm gonna try to fight the boss with like full health and this many healing items. I'm gonna try to fight all of them. All my maters. Charge me! <laughs> no! I hate that. Goddamn tractor beam attack. Said no. I certainly did. strategy what I'm currently trying to do. She doesn't care about projectile weapons. Oh. 
that's like... Fuck, man. She is merciless. Wait for her to charge me and then dodge. And then see if I can hit her. That's me. Ah, oh, goodness. I'm gonna give it one more go. And then I'm gonna pack it in for the night. That's fair. Rolling up okay. at 1 a.m. Yep. Ooh. My ears are hurting. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just weird. I wish I didn't have to swim back through here. I wonder what the best weapon to use against her is. Actually, I'm gonna look up if there's a trick, because when I was young, heckin', I just beat my head against it till it worked. Ninja Gaiden. Oh my. Fight. The attacks that allow for her to be stunned. Okay. People suggest flying, swallowing her back. Whenever she charges at you. So that's what I'll try. times when you can stun her is when she's like walking around and when she's mid pillar attack so maybe I need to learn to get at her during those I need you guys to not run me ragged please collectively the worst, you know that? I hate you all. So much. There we go. Okay. I'm fighting a boss that as a kid I fucking hated I and I you still guys hate. Still fucking broke. Yeah, man. I can't neither. Did the stream die briefly? 
at one point. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Cause I, I like popped out. I was like, oh, I need to see these motherfuckers. So hard to get the timing for it right. Took about seven, eight hours now, give or take. No. Ah. Can I stun her like my big old boys grenades? She's a whole thing. A tough one. Yeah, she's very tough. Oh, goodness. Big heckin' tough one. I think that's me for tonight. <laughs> okay. Really? <sighs> All right. People at home, I think we're going to end off. It's pretty late, so I don't know if we're going to bother trying to raid anybody. <sighs> Uh, Maggie, you still going? Uh, back yeah. in. I mean, Tosh is also streaming, apparently. Oh, I'm gonna stop the recording. YouTube side, we're gonna hit a raid. Uh, gosh darn, mm -hmm. sorry there was no princess today. Bye. Tune in next time for heckin' more princes. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye.